Go do it, Platy. All right, we're gonna go. Hello, YouTube. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. We're just about to jump on heckin' in to RimWorld. Let's go. Exactly. Tea time. We're spinning. We're not actually, but yeah. Oh, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. That's awesome. Blank Coda. That's that's a cool that's such a cool thing that you can do that to make like things that he can use. That's amazing. But yes, welcome YouTube. We are starting a brand new colony because we died yesterday. Very badly. Very slowly. It was a very, very, very slow death spiral. Um, I have added a couple of mods. Only don't stop the music and no force slowdown. No force slowdown does need harmony. So technically three mods, but just because no force slowdown needs harmony and uh, so nothing gameplay changing or anything like that it's just so i don't have to deal with it forcing me to play at 1x speed and we'll have to wait for a raider to walk from one end of the tile to the other and so we have no silence hi rigiri hello we are spinning through space and time yes mm -hmm. we are doing that we are doing that yes the pool is uh the pool is open and uh we're just uh i'm gonna set a new one we are not gonna start well we could do with anomaly let's go with we start with the anomaly start so two people and a ghoul but we're we're gonna start with a different ideologian also hi gv wolf hi captain brody good morning hello we're gonna do strive to survive again again i'm gonna get my butt kicked oh boy uh we're gonna do uh a nom 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 normally there we go that's gonna be our seed perfect 100 percent generate and let's go mm -hmm. yeah and then we will be picky about things meow 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 hello bin bin how's it going good to see you yes uh the name pool resets every stream so you have to jump in again it's just because it's a little bit fairer to people who are actually there so uh they can you know people have a higher chance of getting picked if they're actually work, uh, working pale that doesn't work because it's necklace sound commands yep uh hello pr fella how do we die revenant it was a very, very, very slow death to a revenant. It was ho oh, it was not not fun. It was not fun. But uh we did it. Zax Viserasi. Okay, I feel like we kinda have to go there. That's very that's very anomaly. <laughs> uh zach's viscerous oh my god let's go to let's 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 go near the near zach's viscerous sea and the choco mountains i mean what could possibly go wrong right limestone sandstone granite pixie thank you so much and gv as well let's grab the next six months in advance d F Stoot. F Stoot. Pixie, thank you so much for subbing six months in advance. You advance and your five month resub. I really heck and appreciate it. Thank you. And um GV Wolf, thank you so much for your prime sub and three heckin months. I really appreciate that as well. Thank you both so much for the support. Uh hi Blan! Somebody got this game. He's not enjoying it because his peeps can't won't eat. As if they have permission to go to the room. Basic things that are viewer like you can think of uh i don't think it's broken you should make breakfast yes ccp i mean what happened to german tts we switched that out a while ago you know sometimes change is good um i mean there's a lot of things that can go that can be wrong has he allowed the food like is the is the food x'd out um did he change like food permissions or anything like that it's 100 not broken but he's gonna quit well i mean i i really can't do much from here um but yeah i i presume he allowed the food right so they can grab it because otherwise they won't he could also click on the pass and then force them on right click on the food and force them to eat to try and see what happens you know 
But anyways, uh, yeah. Hi, Dragon of Frost. Good to see you. How are you? Three stream, is three stream, what streak? Let's go. Thanks so much for that as well. Appreciate it. Enjoy your extra channel points. The Chocobo Mountains. Sort of, yeah. He, him sight again, clearly didn't ask for the boss today because he's just had to go chase them. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Holy! That you My got him, started. him again. And he realized what's happening. That's good, Platy. That's good. Uh, ben, Ben, thank you so much for paying forward the gift that's up and gifting us up to the community to Borealis. Kicking up a heckin' hype train. Thank you so much for the choo-choo. Hi, Buddha Lilium. You were in pain from yesterday. What you do? I hope you're okay. It's good to see you, Buddha Lilium. Hello. Uh, Pixie makes me speak German. Change is good because variety is the spice of life. No, wait. Spice is the spice of life. Um, 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 Vandal is good. Then, uh, Varietät is das Gewürz des Lebens. Uh, nee, warte. Uh, Gewürz is das Gewürz des Lebens. There you go. That makes no sense in German, but, because, you know, variety is the spice of life. That expression doesn't exist, but, uh, that's, that's, yeah. Does that body of water look like South America? A little bit. A little bit. Thank you so heck and much for the hype train chat. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for the subs and the gifted and everything. Also, apparently my stream elements is just being stupid again. Oh, had your two broken wisdom teeth removed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. That that is, yeah. Yeah. That's a bit that's a bit painful. But hopefully now stuff will get much better and you'll feel better i need to fix something real quick give me give me one second because my stream elements is being a silly but and it's not seeing the okay i'm gonna log out i'm gonna log back in because it's not seeing the gifted subs come through Yes, we are, PR fella. Yeah. You ate half the bag of pretzels. Your sub's not coming through. Refresh, Dunpeel. I see it. I see it. Refresh. Um, okay. Stream Elements is not seeing gifted subs today, apparently. All right. I need to keep it in tension then. Because you... Um, I see that you resubbed and you need to refresh so your share button comes up. And then you click the share button. Yeah. So he knows what's happening when people don't ask for ones. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you have somebody who keeps track of that now. And then, you know, hopefully yells at the people not doing their job properly. More spoopy. Yes. More spoopy. Uh, oh, you are Marksmas. That's awesome. That's cool. What are you learning with? Um, yeah, I am actually German. <laughs> I just live in the UK and sorry, I speak like weird accented English. All right, we're going to go here. Limestone, granite yes um there you go there you go Danfield, thank you so much as well ah damn less than three more than two actually almost four because <laughs> that's 47 months that's incredible thank you so much for the resub 47 months that's almost uh that's almost four years in total and almost three years streaking hot damn thank you so much and um uh thanks for jumping on the train the is doing thing where the stop doesn't appear until you refresh ah gotcha hi Tryon. yes we died very slowly to a revenant attack duolingo gotcha trying to at least get to elon level because your wife is dual citizen oh Oh, that's so funny. I didn't know that. Gotcha, Marximus. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're going to go with uh, Custom Fluid. Custom Fluid. And I, I do want to do like a Void stuff. 47 Monate. Yeah. But, oh, intense. Naked man eaters. She's a man eater. Um, what? No. Um. But we're going to go with Custom Fluid. Hi, Zamona. 
Uh, you wish you'd found Twitch sooner and been able to catch me sooner because that made it the last several years much more enjoyable. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. That is really kind of you to say, Lennox. But at least you're here now. So you've got that going for you. And you're, you're hanging out here now. How are you doing today, Zamona? It's good to see you. Thank you so thank you very much for the train as well. Also, Bin Bin, are you, are you, is your butt on the train? Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. So we're going to go with architect stuff. Um, I do want to do ritualists. So we, because, you know, that's what we're going to do. But hanging in there, that's good. We're going to, yeah, because it's slow. I'm going to go, I'm, oh gosh, I'm okay with slow, which is 75%. But I'm definitely not going to go with 25% again, because that is just ridiculous. Hi, Dark Fire Phoenix. Very cheeky, literally. Hey, Commander UD, good one. Uh, hi, Cody. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, you're living in your fields right now because you feel quite stable, even with work situation and stuff like that. So just that focus on you. No, Lennox, that's amazing. That's great. It's so good if once you get to, like, one of the points, like, a point in your life where you are like that, like, where you feel like that. That's really, really, really nice. Honestly. Um, I, yeah. Oh, I feel that. Mm hmm. Uh, is there a touch in German? No, there's other languages that say the single digit first as well. I can't quite think about them right now, but they are. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove the um, clothing because I you know, it just annoys me. Um, so we're just gonna get everything ready. Pants and shirts, horrible. No harvest. No harvest. Acceptable uh despise disgusting spouse only uh spouse only strict three there we go mm -hmm. also thank you so much chat for for the support and everything i really appreciate it hi Ca crazy bolt man good morning uh i hope you are doing well it's good to see you Cardi with a 20 stream streak. Thank you, Cardi. Enjoy extra channel points. We have a funeral and a dance party. Let the love be free. Yes. Let's have a Sky Lantern festival as well. The Archic logo. That is, that is creepy as heck. We'll go with that. Uh, we'll go with that and that and that. No vap weapons. Venerated animals. Obviously the thrombos. And uh, posture check. I'm sitting up as straight as I can. I will. Okay, I will put my feet flat on the ground though. There we go. We're gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. Fresh run. Hi, cool Maka. Good to see you. I'm gonna save it just so we can like jump into this quickly again in case we need to uh, reload. Also, thank you again so heck much for that hype train. Hi, Bolero. Choo choo coming through in just a second. Thank you so much, chat. You're awesome sauce thanks for the subies and the gifted and everything very much appreciate it it's very creepy yeah no crazy bolt man b and v sound very similar though uh if you mumble a little bit mm -hmm. check check let's go choo choo thank you so much bye train <laughs> um but uh anyhow it's um it's interesting to say the least i started with a very um harsh setting last time and that made it really difficult so this is why we're going custom this time around because it's going to be a bit easier but i like the I like the um the framework it's put into the game. Like it's because it's it added a lot of depth to certain systems, and I really like that a lot. Um Wow. 69, fast walker nimble, but frail. Oof. How far did you do monolith stuff? Uh Revenance is tier two. So I advanced. Yeah, I, I did advanced. Oh my gosh. Great memory. 
Intellectual social animals. Bit of mining, bit of shooting. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get coal in there. Uh, and then we have tater. You tune someone then? Yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely want to wait a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna re-roll Henderson as well though, because I want somebody who can shoot. Steadfast and sickly. Ugh, no. Industrious, ascetic, and ugly. Oh, this is your grandfather. Your grandfather is 16 years older because crypto sleep. <laughs> Shooting melee construction and animals. We can also have somebody with, for plants, but we don't have anybody for cooking. Uh, that's not ideal. Slothful chemical fast. Oh my lord. That's a lot of that's a lot of relations. Um your cooking is three, but you do have great memory. That's called properly grandfathered in, I see. Hmm. I mean, we have some, we'd have a crafter. We can work with that. Yeah, we can work with this. Uh, there. Now we want somebody, we want a ghoul that's good at, as, uh, at melee. Well, I say good, but. That can do something. Slothful doesn't matter, like... Whatever. Yeah, we want to go with melee of 10. That's good. Because then they can actually punch things. Because they only punch things anyways, right? They don't shoot, so... There we go. That's going to be our ghoul. Hi, Mahoris! Good to see you. You had a chronologically 5,400-year-old yesterday. Dang! Uh, yes, you can, Cormacker. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've not gotten to that yesterday uh, yet because uh, our research is so slow and you need to research prosthetics before you can start making ghoul prosthetics to upgrade them. But you can upgrade them, yes. And you can also make like resurrection serums and that sort of stuff. Well, yeah, but you can resurrect them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get resurrection serums and you can get them back. Uh... Hi, Archduke. Can you be the ghoul? Uh, exclamation mark join. We randomly roll names for uh, everybody here. You don't need to be uh, a sub or a follower or anything like that. Just type exclamation mark join in the chat. And then if you're lucky, you're lucky. Like PR fella just did. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. And then we name people. You got a, someone got a kid at 16 years old and they had a kid at 16. Yes, you can. That, that's, that, that's happened. Hi, Valero. And then, will you be a work again? So far, we don't have a work, but we'll say, I refresh every day, Mahoris. Hi, Roboron. Good to see you. I refresh every day. So uh, the people who are actually watching that day have like a higher chance of getting in. That's, that only feels fair, to be quite honest. So yeah, I refresh or I, I empty the pool every morning before we start the stream. Uh, all right. The ancient monolith unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pod. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the monolith, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down. It's interesting. When we were starting and everybody was like, you know, dropping in. For some reason, the ghoul was not showing up at the top for our, you know, he wasn't showing up. But the other two were. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. But, oh well. All right. Uh, equip the pump shotgun on you. You get the knife. And uh, yeah, we are actually playing with a couple of mods. I did indeed add a couple of mods nothing ground breaking though we're just playing with two mods um quality of life stuff hi to be um don't stop the music so there's no pause between the songs because that just really annoys me when i'm trying to stream the game when there is suddenly quiet and um 
then uh, no force slowdown. So if there is a, a bad event or something, we're not stuck at 1x speed for like forever. And that's the only things uh, that I've added. It exploded yesterday. Yeah, we got um, we got Cassandra and a normal lead at the same time. And it was very, very, very nasty. It was very, very, very nasty. <laughs> um, the 1.5 update broke the multiplayer mods. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It changed so much. Yeah. Hopefully they can fix stuff eventually. So yeah, ultimately what we're doing now is we're just starting over and we made a custom fluid ideology so we can switch things around a little bit better. Hi Shane, how are you? Good evening, hello. Hello, hello. Have you seen the May the 4th events? I have seen some of the sets, yeah, yeah. I definitely may have to grab some sets eventually but maybe we'll see i i've not um yeah maybe maybe hi shen hello are you good to see you i might i might need some more sets even though i still have sets to build uh all right make a grand box you're not overly fast with the gifts so fair fair there. All right, do until we have 400. And then limestone as well. And then let's name our people. We're going to roll the ghoul for first. All right, pick a random. It's Rawl. Oh, God. Okay, we're doomed, chat. We are doomed. Rawl is back in the colony. We are doomed. All right, pick a random. It's Sleepy P. Oh my god. If we get Stabby Platy as well, we can literally just start over again because we're doomed. If our, if our melee fighter actually turns into Stabby Platy, then I don't even know what to do. We just have to start over, I swear. Pick random. It's Mahoras. Okay. Okay, Mahoras. Welcome to the colony. Because, yeah, you definitely doomed us yesterday. Gosh. <laughs> uh hopefully Raw won't turn on us again exactly but he may very well do that he may very well do that would that be a duck build stab it <laughs> yes yes i think sorry yeah i think sorry that sounds about right and that sounds just about right okay you are making blocks and you're constructing slash deconstructing. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We are gonna just start with a wooden wall though. Just so we're in sight. Saved, right. Nah, I'm not so sure about that. We'll see, we'll see, Salicia. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Yeah, that can stay like that for now. And then I'll make some beds and some end tables, bloop bloop. And you immediately get dresses because that gives you very nice sleep. All right. 10 tag less, yes. That, that, that we are. Sam the sniper, dead for 2.7 years. You're learning from the pro, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Um. Okay, we don't have any harbinger. Um, trees yet, so can't do that. Can't do that just yet. What is the red beeping thing? The red thing. This is from biotech. Basically, you interact with it. It's not going to harm you or anything like that. You interact with it. You basically destroy it, and then you get. The Mechanita headset, which is, it's basically a way for you to get started on the Mechanita stuff. Um, so you will be able to make and control your own mechanoids uh, with that. Oh, you're not, you're the plant cutter. Yeah. Build a sealable wall around your stomach will protect against revenants. Yeah, apparently so. 
apparently sorry. Also just walling yourself in. Which is kind of silly, but yeah. Apparently that does work. Which is uh, kind of very, very strange. Is this still modless? No, we have two mods enabled. Nothing that changes the gameplay well, significantly though. Oh, poor, really? Okay. We have, um, so we're gonna rebuild this. We have, don't stop the music and no force slowdown. That's it though. But I did update the command, so there you go. Yeah. Cause I hate, I hate the stop, the break in the music when, you know, when you're streaming the game. I hate when it's quiet. I need continuous music. Uh, your mods! Yeah, that's how it goes, Flavanosh. Good to see you. How are you doing today? All right, uh, put the rebuilding thing on. Perfect. Did we start over? We did, Hazonku. Yeah, we died. We we got a normal lead and Cassie'd hard yesterday. Like, Cassie was just like, this colony must die. Oof is correct. Oof is very, very, very correct. Yeah, it was, it was rough. It was rough, honestly. It was very, very rough. Which is why we uh, started with a custom ideology this time. A fluid one that we can change. We are still void followers and architects, architectnics. We do ritualistic stuff, so we do have a little bit of a hit to research, but not too much. Not the 25%. We're only doing the 75% because, gosh darn it. That was just insane. Now we're just going to haul all of these things inside. There we go. Cassandra do be like that sometimes, yes. Indeed. Okay. End tables. Yeah, we'll own an awful dresser. How good is your construction? Four. Okay, fair. That's not actually that good. Yeah, pretty much Commander UD. At 25%, you might as well just rely on books at that point. It's faster. Because, like, you just don't progress at all. <laughs> you just don't progress at all. And then Rawls just running around. Mmm, twisted mead. Yummy. My favorite. I see how it is. I see how it is, Rawl. Mm-hmm. I see how it is. <laughs> okay. Let's get a table as well. And some chairs. We have a monster that adds chocobos. Are the um, alpha animals or actual chocobos? Because alpha animals also has um, chocobo-like <laughs> creatures. Let's say it that way. Birds. They're really good though. And they're so fast as well. And they're really cute. Actual chocobos. Gotcha. All right. That needs to go. That needs to go. That needs to go. Yeah. The meadow aves from alpha animals. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Construction boss botched. Yeah, do you have any? No, you don't actually have any health issues. Okay. You're just a level, well, level five now, actually. And industrious. I didn't even. That's good. That's why you're, even though you're level four slash five, you are pretty fast. You made lots of poor things, though. But we'll train you up, CCP. Don't worry. We got you. We're going to get you. We're going to get you and you'll be a good constructor. Mm-hmm. Sooner or later, you will be a good constructor. Hey, normal dining chair. How good is this one, actually? Aaron's... Oh, Final Fantasy Animals. Gotcha. Waves the hammer about. Ah, what were you hitting with that thing? Hi, Shulel. Good evening. How are you today? Yeah, we died. We died very much not gloriously at all so we're starting over all right mahores trade with maker uh, da, 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 da. uh cough parker tech print jump pack really that's what you're bringing with you 
I mean, that's nice. Don't get me wrong. Another. Another bad one. But I guess it's that bed actually connected to the good one. Sorry. It is pretty comfy, isn't it? Hi, Pyronites. New player here. Don't know how to play this game. Um, I'll gladly answer some questions. I highly recommend when you're starting up first. Play on like the easiest difficulty with the learning helper because there is a lot to learn. Definitely. It's very, um, there is a lot. There is a lot. It can be quite overwhelming when you're, when you're just starting out, uh, out for sure. For sure. But yeah, what should you prioritize? Um, you should make sure that your starting colonists cover basically get people that are incapable of nothing for the start make sure you have somebody who can cook somebody who can do plants and doctoring that's like your most important just for survival you want cooking and plants and medical and then play along with the learning helper very slowly and learn from there and uh yeah, because the learning helper will set you up to to kind of get you started with things. How can you get more people? Over time, people will just ask to join you. You can recruit from raiders that you can capture. But you'll also get quests that let you get new colonists as well over time. So the game will give you um, new colonists over time. Because the storytellers actually all have like sort of a base amount of colonists that they want you to be at so yeah there's also rituals yeah exactly exactly so there's a there's a lot of options over time but i would take it slow um i would definitely save often and don't be afraid to reload if you feel a situation so for example a raid or something reload and try again with a different strategy because that's how you learn okay as a visitor, a wave of dread passes over your colonists. The fallen monolith has begun to stir. It begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Within a matter of days, the process will be complete. Yes, because we are starting the whole anomaly start. Sorry, that's what's why it's doing that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. Like, especially if you're starting off with, like, some of the DLCs on, it's, there's a lot. Yeah yeah that's that's uh kids and pregnancy is only if you've got the biotech dlc there's a lot in room world for sure mad squirrel goo oh are you okay girl it's so early oh wonky interweb okay yeah gotcha hi goo hi raiders sorry about the internet hi roar hi ruta hi cast love hi fritz lark hi infinity hello Sorry about your internet. Oh gosh, Blen. Oh no. Oh, because interwebs hamster was having hiccups. Oh, I'm sorry. That's frustrating. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm sorry that your internet is being stupid. Is that right away in the morning? Oh, bummer. Thanks for the raid though. I heckin' appreciate it. But yeah, sorry that your internet is being dumb dumb. Is there a good Discord server that you can join with active people to learn about RimWorld? Yes, the actual RimWorld. Um, RimWorld has a Discord server, yeah. I mean, we also, obviously, I also have my own Discord. And uh, we have a RimWorld segment and stuff like that. But the actual RimWorld game also has a Discord server. Hi, have, hi Verdina. Good to see you as well. Cheers. Thanks for the hydration reminder. I'm sorry, Goo. That really sucks. But yeah, thank you so much for raiding on over. I do very much appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. We have a second time to work out where it's going. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And thanks everybody for coming over. Hi, Zion! Yes, yes. I reset the name pool every stream. Just so it's fair. Um, because then the people who are actually here get prioritized. Then you go, jump on in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jump on in. Get your name in there. You're just hanging out. Wonderful. 
What tool do I use for the pool? Uh, a tool that ma one of my moderators, Kalusita, has made. Um, because I used to use a, a different bot that had that functionality, but Firebot does not, so Kalusita. Well, Kalusita made me a hello queue as well as um, she put in a uh, um, the drawing queue functionality. Yeah, yeah. It's on, um, it is on GitHub though. Let me get you a link. So you can grab that too. Oop, there you go. All right, what should our faction be called? Uh, definitely not the cults. This is separate. This is a separate thing. Yeah, and we live at uh, the monolith. Monolith, there we go. Uh, it's this, it's that tool. So there's hello mode, which is my hello queue. Which I, which I, of which I stole the idea from Kokanich. And then there's join mode, which is the name pool type thing. And whatnot. It's very good. Another hydrate. You're gonna just make me go to the bathroom. Cheers. I'm not smart enough to like develop those things for firebots. <laughs> My brain just doesn't compute. Um python and stuff like that sorry i need to recruit people to help me with it oh yeah we do the table as well because we want good quality well at least normal quality items actually um wait wasn't there a dead sorry that's already been eaten i see because we need to make sure that Rawl can eat of course the so Rawl. Just takes care of that himself. Just punches some things here and there. The small, the smaller animals, and then we get food for him. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, all right. Uh, we want herbal medicine, and then please carry that as well. Can you technically? You can technically doctor. You're not good, but you can technically doctor. That is lovely. Wonder, want to harvest some of that? You probably already army nommy nommed. Yeah, you already army nommy nommed the snow hair. Normal, perfect. Normal, normal, normal. Good, good, excellent. And normal. What's the first art that we got? Attempt with Mahoras. What are we attempting with Mahoras? An engraving on his furniture resembles Mahoris sitting in quiet contemplation, reflecting on the profound truth within Whip's analysis of char charisma with a cup of tea by his side. Mahoris' eyes sparkle with newfound wisdom. The work seems to represent cruelty. Provocatively, the whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of a thousand bakers. I mean, I was going to say, okay, the cup of tea, that checks out CPP, but, but then... Then it went, got sort of, kind of a bit creepy there. <laughs> 1,000 bakers. Yeah, isn't that oppressive? Hi, Cybertras. Good morning. I am doing great. How are you today? Wonderful to see you. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well as well. The garbage team is raiding. Quick chat. They're after our bins. It's Dampus. Great memory, teetotaler. teetotaler. You made some puff pastry norms just now. Nice. The game knows. It knows. Yes. Protect you. Oh, yeah. They have to have been. <laughs> Hi, Marcus. Oh, no force slowdown is so nice. I love it. No force slowdown for the heck and win. I did install two mods. I was. I. Yeah. So for six hours, got up 10.30 today, and you're going to say some orcs in Shadow of War. Sounds good. Noise. Hmm. Uh, I do like the construction and the mining undone. Great memory is nice, too, and then passion. About but normally, I don't like wasters, but honestly... 
that person might actually be kind of worth it. TBH. That person might actually be kind of worth it. A tea time long waste that sounds a bit contradicting. It's contradicting in a way, right? Comes back to double FG. Yeah, apparently Goo was having um, internet issues. Mm. Uh, hi, Korami. It's good to see you. How are you doing today? Uh, mm -mm -mm. If you look at things enough, you stop seeing until you're specifically looking for them. Yes, absolutely. What kind of group is this? No, we ch Oh, you died. Dang it. Okay. No, we changed it up a little bit. So we made... We are ritualistic. We made it fluid, though. Um, we set our research to slow, not extremely slow. So it's 75% instead of 25%. Um, we took out the scarification and we made physical love free. We took away the clothing requirements for our roles. And besides that, everything that no, we changed it we changed nothing oh no we also we can also harvest organs we allowed that too well i guess you are not gonna be a prisoner then but i guess we have a prisoner room now if we need to that's very hot in there you have met yay let's go platy i'm glad i'm glad that's good to hear That is very good. Why was Mohoris building that? Why do they keep hiding the Prime Sutton button more and more? I don't know, Luxel. I feel it has to do with the fact that maybe eventually it'll go away. But it's very annoying. Also, thank you so heckin' much for your Prime! Why do they keep hiding the prime sub button more and more FGS rude and so yay more ox FGS hype? Let's go! Luxo, thank you so much for 20 months. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for spending it here yet again and nowhere else on Twitch. Enjoy your emotes. And yes, I I don't know. It's 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 like, well, it's kind of like they don't want people to use it in a way. Like they do, but they also don't because it they technically lose money. So that's why. Rude Tomba! Sneaks in and steals the foobs. FGS cult. But my foob. Tomba, thank you so much for 34 months and 33 of streaking. I really heckin' appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you both so much for the resubs. Very, very, very much appreciated. Thank you for the continued support. She even apologized. Okay, that's good. That's good. That is a win. Yes. Hopefully, that means that next time she'll remember. Right? 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 Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Maybe they hide it, you stop using it and spend real Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, don't think it was her fault. She never delivered that on time. Somebody else screwed up. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh that maybe, yeah. Yeah, right. Feels sus. Mm-hmm. It does. Right. Oh, yeah. Thank you both so heckin' much. I really appreciate that. Tongue in cheek. Oh, absolutely. No, I get it. I get it. I, I, and I agree. Mm-hmm. You're in hunting three. Good. Because I need you to hunt a little bit. Oh, you were, you were cutting the thing because you were working on... Ah, you were working on supplying the wall. Mm-hmm. There we go. Let's set a research. We'll do... Microelectronics, as per usual. Also, what books did we get this time? We've got The Fragments of Nightmares. Void provocation. Oh, lovely. In these well-organized... Uh, is it annals? Right. The author reports a tribal myth of an ancient god of rage whose influence touches all people and the heroes who seal it away inside a tiny stone prison. 
One section describes different archetype hyperintelligences and the varying nature of their emotional and psychic emanations. Where some are regarded as neutral or even benevolent, others are entities of pure rage. The book is decent, if thoroughly corrupted. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to read a thoroughly corrupted book. We've got the uh, analysis of charisma by Whip. An early, that get, teaches you social up to a level of eight. An early edition of the author's school book on charisma. It takes you through the subject step by step. According to the last pa page, Whip was known for being a master of many subjects. The abstract says that this was printed by hand on a thylacine. This book has had many artists, but the pages are legible if crumpled. Have a good look, Pixie. Enjoy your coffee. And we have a re Rex analysis of fabrication. Teaches us crafting up to a level of eight. Those seeking scholarship and fabrication head to this simple compendium. The press is focused on the most skilled aspects of the subject. According to the first page, Rec Keffi was known for being a master of many subjects. A note says that, that, says that a subscription of the booksellers of Nova Roma produced the first edition of the workbook. This textbook has seen better days, but the pages are in decent condition. Have a wonderful look as well, Chrissy. Thanks for being here. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we've got some meat. Raw. The monolith is doing monolith things. Uh, let's get some spike traps. Just a little bit of defense. I put that one in the wrong spot again as well. I'm a professional. And now a timber wolf is hunting Mahoris. How rude. Have you made more delicious art? Not so far. Not yet. Sorry. Okay, you shoot it. Roll. Get in there. Protect the sleepy pee. Okay. All right. More food for Roll. <laughs> No, I don't think we've had we have had any more art. Oh, we need to replace these chairs eventually. No, no art so far. No cup of tea yet. <laughs> Maybe later. Spacecraft chunks. Let's get those as well. Oh, more stuff chunks over there. And apparently we need more wood. Again. The rice is ricing. Uh, how good is our growing? Four. So uh, definitely no herbal meds for us just yet. Okay, we'll harvest some more of that if we can. Because I think you've tried and failed. So there's that. Content slept in the heat. Oh, yeah. It's quite hot in here. The monolith has shifted into a void monolith. Well, not quite. Almost. Well, now it has. As the monolith twisted and changed, Mahoris was overcome with a horrifying whiz, uh, vision. In an instant, he understood. The monolith is a doorway just barely cracked open. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Mahoris is convinced he can learn more if given the time to study. The monolith. Grey pal, a blanket of gritty fog has descended on the air. The fog smells ancient somehow and stings the skin. And it makes people unhappy. Hi, Mupin! Good morning! How's it going, Moves? Hello! I hope you're doing well. Banana! Yes, indeed. How's it going? It's good to see you. All right, CPP, and then work on the passive cooler, please. Holding platforms needed. But we don't have any entities to capture just yet. Ah, it's still pretty hot in here. It's too... It's because we've got two torches going in there. Harbinger tree! I guess we want to start that. Yay! All right. Harbinger trees are ready to rock and roll. Uh, we'll do allow rotten and fresh. We'll not do these just yet. No animals there and no colonists. 
There we go. You are perfect. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Ooh, you're already construction level seven now. Okay, so hopefully with two passive coolers. Well, it's 39 degrees outside. Oof, okay. We might need another. That might not be quite uh, enough just yet. Are we feeding the trees? Mmm, feed the trees. Very good. Feed the trees. There we go. Get all the components so they don't waste away out there. Still 26. And now the creepy music is creeping. Okay, we just have to chop some more trees down. Still a wee bit too hot in there. Actually, wait, 22 ah, for daytime. Now, now it might get too cold. We'll see. Great pal, unsightly the environment. Saw a rotten corpse. Yeah, okay, fair. But at least we're extremely comfortable. Sorry. Very nice. Boopin' the moopin' on the snoot. Oh my. Haha, <laughs> I got you. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Ah, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. You wouldn't just do that. Please don't do that, CPP. Why would you eat that first? We have packaged survival meals right there. That warranted several face palms. Oh, a side stealer. Right over there. Get them. Run. Go right there. Roll, get them. You were saving the good one for later. That's true, Commander Honk. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. All of your rudest setting had reset. Oh, no. I know, I know we can study them and stuff, but I don't have my containment platform set up yet. So we're just gonna end them for a second. That's true. You were saving the good stuff for later. Yeah, somebody brought up a good point yesterday, Shen. Maybe it was supposed to come out last October. And they just couldn't get it out in time. Because uh, they also said, or like reminded us, that we did actually get an update in October. You know? I'm not gonna actually do I'm not gonna do all of it yet I'm also gonna just use hidden conduits now I know they cost more but like no chance of a zit event so hidden conduits for the win so yeah exactly exactly Rol can you like just omi nomi nom that real quick just so you're full because that's gonna rot away as well soon so maybe, maybe it was just not ready yet. I don't know, of course. It's just um, speculation. Hey, Bacon Eater. Good to see you. But that might explain it. Right, we should probably do single cooking for now. Because our cook is not very good. So we lower the chance of... Um, we lower the chance of food poisoning there just a wee bit. Hide the conduits, yeah. Hide your wives, hide your conduits. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> oh, sorry. I just I just have a silly brain. Have I nommed enough of them? No, actually not. I haven't even seen all of them yet. Uh, mostly because we died yesterday, Rochelle. It's good to see you. Sorry, rat. But there we go. We just need to make sure 
that Rawl doesn't run out of food. You saw that. I know. I know. I'm the worst. I am the worst. Meow Carmel, thank you. Thank you so heckin' much for your Prime sub. I really freaking appreciate that. Thank you so much for spending that here and nowhere else on Twitch this month. Enjoy your emotes. Make sure to refresh so you get ads. And thank you so heckin' much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Very, very, very kind of you. Yeah, we, we are kind of making a wrap burger. I'm sorry. I don't feel good about it, mind you, but, but it's basically like, what tiny, uh, Tiger Smith, hello, hi, the, hi there over YouTube, uh, over on YouTube, how's it going, good to see you, it's kind of like, what, um, small animals are in the vicinity of my colony that I can, um, you know, melee punch with the ghoul. Hi, Pikachu K. How did I die yesterday? I saw... I came out of the cave adventure, yeah. Um, we kind of spiraled after the cave adventure. A cave adventure, to be quite honest. And then we got a revenant. And we just could not deal. We had no effective weapons against the revenant at all. And we just... We just spiraled. And all of them got hypnotized and died. Due to malnutrition. Because we had no more fire weapons. We had no fire weapons, no explosives, no EMPs, no fire farm, no nothing. It was very bad. Yes, I will put my feet flat on the ground. Thank you, Ruta. Also, cheers. Thanks for the hydration reminder. I was not shrimping, but I was crossing my legs, which is also not ideal. So I will put my feet flat on the ground. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Mm hmm I'll do it. All right, we got some herbal medicine. Good, good, good. You are just doing your thing after shrimp. I'm not, though. I'm not, though. <laughs> well, at least I'm not trying to shrimp. I'm trying to not shrimp. There we go. Uh, I guess we want the proximity detector running. With shrimpy whiskers. Oh, you don't need to imagine that. I grow, I grow my own. You just can't see them on camera. Oh, uh, gosh. See, Mahoris just sat on that chair, so he was doing a Riker. Yeah, Mahoris was doing a Riker because he was sat on this chair to eat on the table. Just having that conversation about pawns not needing the chairs to face the actual bench. See, see, CPP was doing it as well. They both like doing the Riker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Getting the first rice harvest in. That's awesome. Your plant is already five now. You were shrimping. Got it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Porches. Yeah, we got, we got, we got Revenant. It was, it was bad. Yeah, we got, we got, got by a revenant. It was, I was just, I was already death spiraling anyways. And there was just nothing I could do. Ultimately, there was nothing I could do, unfortunately. Sorry. There was death and destruction. And you, okay, at least get, pick up both of those. Thank you. Just need to make sure that we have at least a smallish stack of herbal medicine for now. Um, all right, there's a tortoise. Get the tortoise roll. No, let the tortoise get you. Okay, well done. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, because he was urgently hungry. What? Relations with the um, uh, Amto, um, um, Toll Royal Union have changed because the member died. All right. Grizzly bear revenge. Well, I mean, I mean, that's not my fault. Technically, we hey, can you? meeting done and then cave up run. Let's go, mine gonna nice, very good, very, very, very good. Also, the doorbell is gonna ring in just a moment, chat. 
Well, that person also died. No one knows it was on my turf. Well, apparently they do now. No, they do know somehow magically. Magically, they do know. Okay. It was neat and not my fault. Yeah. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. It's a bit silly. Doorbell. One second. Be right back. I'm back. I'm back. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, your real name is Mark, so you keep getting confused. Oh, I'm sorry. Mark 3186. <laughs> I can I can be very specific if necessary. But yeah, anyways, I have returned. Weekly challenges and BF2042 suck. It forces you to win two rounds in the current temporary game mode. But you can totally be put just on a losing side three times in a row. Ugh. Yeah, that's not fun. That sounds frustrating. Join us. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't think that's going to fit, Mark, but I'll try my best. <laughs> also, yes. Oh, hi, Mark. Thank you, Shine V. And hi, Shine V. Good morning. How are you? But yeah, I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> to make it fit if you get selected. <laughs> now all the marks and will, will, will all the marks in chat please stand up quest active saving beach tokos the high selic of the empire of priority says that a friend has been wounded while traveling a victim is beach a 19 year old herb world urchin if nobody to spare to rescue them but since that you can make it to their location and rescue her she will join you uh where is this that is so far away <laughs> hey marcus yeah you just forced through it yeah blight on my rice Woof. all right blight got it and then ancient danger that's fine sorry sleepy p you need to deal with this right meow There we go. Uh, uh, FG in the Ed Easter, they had a hot cross bun life. It was popular since then. It's been renamed the Spice Bull. Have I tried it? No. No. The, ma the bot knows. No, I have not. I have not, actually. Yeah. I uh, haven't been to Lidl in a while, actually. And I've not really been eating too much bread recently. So no, I haven't tried it. Do you like it? Sorry, I'm just wiggling my chair. Because I turned it and I don't like it when... You know how you're in a desk chair you have at the bottom, you you know, where the wheels are? The spokes. I don't like having the spoke like up the middle. I have them like 
I prefer if they are like go outwards. Yeah, what is? They like the taste. Nom nom nom. And you know it's not good for you. I mean, bread is fine. Bread is fine. Bread is totally fine. Um, all food is fine. In moderation. Um, I've just not been eating it mostly because it's hard to fit it in my budget. You need to stop buying it. Also, also, I can eat just so much bread because bread is delicious and tasty and glorious. A paramedic named Wynn has arrived. Yes. We will accept you. A misandrist. Well, at least you have a double passion in cooking and medical, so you're going to be our new cook. So that's nice. And we have a backup. We have a, we have another doctor, so that's good. And then you're going to be our cook. And I guess you're going to be our hauler. There we go. Rye bread for the win. Oh, rye bread is very nice. Sorry. But, like, even rye bread, I can, like... I, I can... <laughs> I can consume bread. <laughs> very, 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 very well. <laughs> All right. Good bed. Good end table. Excellent dresser. Title is Sleepy Pea by Purple. Oh, absolutely. Hey, Yida Dodi. Good to see ya. Fresh loaf of bread right of the oven with some butter on it. Oh. I quipped the night. Um, so yeah, it's just been really hard to fit bread into the budget, really. Because I've been, like, you know, eating at a deficit to lose weight. So bread is just really hard. Also, I try to focus on having enough protein and fiber and all of that sort of stuff. So it's just been really hard to fit in bread. Though I did have some bread on Monday. Because that was part of Monday's meal. Because we had, like, a soup that was mostly vegetables and minced beef. And then we had some bread to dip into it. It was very, very nice. Fresh bread is soft. The bread is soft, but the crust is not. All right. Sleepy Pea by Purple. This furniture bears a representation of Sleepy Pea turning the pages of Rex analysis of fabrication. Absorbing the knowledge within under the soft glow of a reading lamp. You like making art about reading, apparently. Sleepy Pea is forever changed by the teachings of Rex analysis of fabrication. The work is shaded in hues of green and gray. The image relates to Sleepy Pea finishing Rex analysis of fabrication. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you have a small board of overnight oatmeal with mango sauce and fruit. Oh, that sounds delicious. That actually sounds delicious. There's a matte muffalo. Uh, we also need a name win. So if you haven't yet gotten into the name pool, exclamation mark join. Because win needs a name. You posted a picture in the Discord. It's your breakfast. Mmm. That does look tasty. That does look tasty. Enjoy. There's some bread you can make out of lentils and stuff. Yeah, no, you can. I mean, there's there is definitely options. But I've also not been feeling like I've been missing out on bread. And once I have more budget, I can totally I will totally have bread again. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> Just right now it's a bit difficult to fit it in, but I will have bread. Just you wait. Alright. Pick random. This is now Shane. Oh, no. We're getting all the people. We're getting all the people that uh, were in the colony yesterday and that caused it to just crash and burn, basically. Oh, boy. Uh, you made some sandwich toast yesterday and your star son got half of it. Oh. It's a trap. It is a trap. Tonight for food, you having breakfast? Oh, Brenna is a winner. Heck yeah. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna up this a little bit. Since we have a dedicated cook. So we can do that. We're getting the band back together? Yeah, I think so.
Transport pod crash into my... We have a transport pod crash crashing into my room with a hostile ghoul. Oh yeah, there is going to be a hole in the roof now. A transport pod carrying a ravenous hostile ghoul has landed nearby. The ghoul is currently in shock, but will soon recover and attack anyone it sees. Well, I don't have a holding platform yet, so... Sorry! Another harbinger tree has sprouted. Yeah, I, I don't have a holding platform right now, so off you go. Good night, Lanik! Thanks again so heckin' much for the gifted sub. Take care, have a wonderful sleep. Thanks for being here. Yeah, there is a... He made a hole in my roof. Very mean. Very, very mean. Also, my hair is tickling my chin again. Silly hair. Tasted apparel. All right, we probably should. I wish it would remember apparel policy. I know, I know there's a mod for that. I know, I know. You will see me soon. I will see you tomorrow. And thank you again so heckin' much. All right. Uh, 53%. Think of those quotes. Because I presume it's you, right? Yeah, it's your button-down shirt. You like how you see my logic puzzle under the plate? How you distract your brain? We're trying to think of a solution for work. Oh, that's clever. Nice. Poor revolver. Uh, Shane, actually clean in here real quick before you start cookering away. Thanks. And just have some. Uh, is there a new skin for the table? Uh, this is um, based on our ideal religion, which is ritualist. So our uh, tables look different. Yeah. So that's our that's our um, that's the ritualist style. So it comes. Yeah. That that ideology that's from Anomaly comes with its own style. PPP is having a heat strike. How hot is it at? 54 degrees. Our oh, lordy. That is a uh, hot. It's a ritual table. Yeah, in a way. In a way. Very hot, yeah. That is too hot. Honestly. Also, bonk, 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 bonk. The good thing is I can just have Rald keep doing this until it's gone. Because Rald, I, I don't have to worry about Rald's mood. As long as Rald is fed, it's like fine. It's fine. What are you doing right now? Doing that. You, no tree, no virile style surroundings. Oh gosh. Trees ravaged. Oh no. Chain. We might have to arrest Chain. We're being raided by the Itakin. Uh, the egg thing in the middle is a proximity detector because uh, the anomaly DLC introduced invisible enemies and a proximity detector can detect the invisible enemies. Mm-hmm. There we go. Go roll. You can help. Nice. Well done. There's breakfast, second breakfast, 11 seats, lunch and afternoon tea, dinner, supper, second supper, midnight snack. Jari is like, I'm a hobbit and I like it. So to be fair, if I could be a hobbit, I would also be a hobbit. Sorry. Yeah, I feel that. Um, yeah, yo. Uh, don't use these just yet. You booked a holiday for October 2025. Oh, dang, where you going? What you doing? Yeah, yo. It is the death song, indeed. Going to Orlando with Matthew's parents. Ooh, nice. Like Disney or like just in general? 
Florida. Your holiday's in September. Ooh, what you going? Are you going anywhere or just have a time off? Maybe not. Let's go. Wooden dining chair? Normal. Going to his friend's marriage. Going to Darmstadt. Gotcha. Nice. That's awesome. I hope you have a lovely time. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, we might as well all research at the same time. Good wooden dining chair. Yeah, major break rest on Shane. We need a... Yeah. Sorry, Shane. But... Uh, we need to do a convert here because... That's not... Yeah, uh, this is just... This is just horrid. That's just not going to work out otherwise. I drive specifically, but probably Disney. Matthew wants to go to Universal. You do not want to go. You should just sort it out. Well, so the thing is, you... I know what you're talking about. And you probably would have to buy extra tickets for that area anyways. So you could go, just not go there. Have a have a good lurk, Marnie. Enjoy. We'll see you later. Thanks for the lurking. But I get it. We did also not go there. Oh, in California, didn't have to buy extra tickets. Gotcha. Crisis of Belief. Very nice. You went years ago, though. Gotcha. What was that? Oh, all right. So that's Shane's. That's Shane's current ideologian. Rita. And, uh, yeah. Their ideologian is like the tree one. Sorry, we, we cut down trees and stuff like that. Sorry. Shane just doesn't vibe with anything that we're doing in our colony right now. So they're like, everything sucks. I hate my life. So we need to convert them. <laughs> That's why we're converting them. So they stop being a silly bad about things. We need to cure Shane of his false beliefs. Exactly. 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 Only doom and gloom allowed. Well, not gloom, but like... You know, Shane. Shane does do the does do the doom quite often. Sorry, only doom allowed. Mhm. Mm it's the Lorex who speaks for the trees, I suppose. So I didn't actually check. Forty out of sixty growing period. Got it. You were about to break. Well, that's fine. We want you actually unhappy, so you convert faster. And then you can rejoin us. And then you can rejoin us. It's just, I don't want to have to deal with that ideology stuff, because it's annoying. Not really. We are, we're ritualistic and we're like doing void. We like finding out about the void. But I'm sure that'll get added sooner or later as a mod. Conversion. All right, Shane. Release. There we go. Welcome back. Sorry about that, but we needed to convert you. Just real quick. Where did we put your gun? There it is. Hi, Crazy Cubor. Good to see you. If you're a hobbit, you will be going to Isengard. They take it, the hobbits to Isengard. To Isengard. And it immediately starts playing in my head. <laughs> oh, the mod thing? All right. Um, I know there already is a mod for it. I just don't have it installed. Basically, just... Um, for a way to, for the game to remember clothing and food policies and that sort of stuff. 
rather than you having to um, having to reset it every 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 time you play. But uh, I know there's already a mod for it. You think you've done it? What have you done? What have we done? Yeah, I didn't add a cleaning zone. That's true. I should have. I I I want it. I want it to be mostly vanilla though. Yeah. I want I want stuff to be quite mostly vanilla though to learn how the DLC stuff works and whatnot. So yeah, we 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 for now only very low key mods. Oh, audio edit mix. Ah, I see, I see. Very good, very good, very good. So yeah, we only have don't stop the music on. So the music just plays continuously because I hate it when it's quiet and I'm trying trying to stream and talk and it just throws me off. And then, um, no force to slow down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but threat mods, half of them are broken. Well, I mean, if you go into the mod manager, you can see which ones are not for 1.5. And then you can just kick those out for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna start replacing the walls with story now though. Well, apparently I'm taking down too many walls at one time. There goes our table. We didn't need that table anyways. Also, apparently the door. Apparently we also don't need, oh no, we didn't put any doors down here. Um, That's fine. That's fine, it's good. We didn't, we didn't need that table anyways. Um, or anything else uh, okay so you do that I okay, will just do a few here and there at a time because I don't have the replace mod in uh, and then we want a talent party all right get your dance emotes out hi it was Madam's good to see you hello I hope you're doing well so far so good knock on wood I've made it a little bit easier by starting with a different ideologian. Sorry, that that helps a lot. That helps a lot. So, so far so good. Knock on wood. We'll see how it progresses. Half of the colonists, the names, were in yesterday's colony as well, which did not work out so well because they all got up to a lot of shenanigans. So, uh, I expect death and destruction sooner rather than later but first we're gonna have a tavern party let's go chat let's do it go roll you got this all right eat the tortoise there we go because we don't want the ghoul to starve we don't want the ghoul to starve yeah let's have a let's have a little dance party let's do it Hi, Medic Blue. Good to see you. Nope. Not that. Yeah. Yeah, we're just working on replacing the walls with stone. Alright, and then we can work on the rest of them. There we go. Luckily, Sleepy P is like, with the industrious, is super fast. Very, very nice. Nope, oh, not that. And then you skip the last one over there. All right, fair, I guess, for now. How are you? Wandering. All right. Uh, get the turkey. CPP is CCP. I mean, it's basic. It is CCP, right? So that checks out. Mm 
Hey, Meow Calm, we'll get to see you. Hello. Thanks for hanging out. Welcome, welcome. All right. Very nice. That is done. Yeah, just, just actually finish this, though. That would be lovely. And then you've already redone the, the roof. Wonderful. Because then we are actually indoors and they're not going to complain about, I have to sleep outdoors. This sucks. Oh, apparently. No, never mind. Well, yours went away. And then you... Okay. Well, that's not too bad. The curse of the programmer? Yes. Apparently so. Uh, you touch the things. You think you already had an update. That uh, reset stuff. No, put the things as they were. It seems stable. But yeah, you probably jinxed it. Ugh, that's annoying though that it defaulted, like that it reset it all to basic. Goo. I'm sorry. That is stupid. Well, hope hopefully, hopefully that fixed your issues. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that fixed your issues. Um, let's get a yak because we do need to make clothes. It changed it all to 5G again. Ugh. How annoying. I'm sorry. How heckin' annoying. Hi, ads! 115. Ah, damn. You're number heckin' three with 115 today. That is incredible. Thank you. Thank you, ads. That's a lot. That's a long streak. Thanks for watching so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, nope. Not one. There we go. GG. Also, please actually, you know, kind of put some clothes on, please. Please. All of you that are shrieking naked in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You're working on... Okay. Trousers. You're... Yeah, your crafting is not that good, but... We'll get you there. We'll get you there. Hmm. Rise harvest time again already, I guess. Yeah, there's streakers in the chat, so... Mm-hmm. Exactly. Wibbly wobbly internet magic. It is. Oh, there we go. Hi, Passion Crash. Hello. You're back from more shenanigans. Let's go. Thanks for watching and hanging out. Yeah, we started over because yesterday was just... Oh, God. But I went with a custom ideology this time. So hopefully not quite as punishing as, as the last one that we did. And we will last a bit longer. I will try my best quest available the extreme guinea pigs all right um posky a duke of the empire of priopy recently lost a scouting party to a pack of two man hunting guinea pigs he wants to draw the beast towards you to be killed to uphold his honor the guinea pigs will arrive 20 hours a breakthrough in hydroponics okay that teaches hydroponics and pemmican and we can get a book uh, called Chess by Murder. Yes, Ruta. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, it did. It was a very, 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 very slow and dire um, death. Try the last icy flavor, raspberry and vanilla hibiscus. I like the hibiscus flavors because they're not overly sweet. Um, I like the ones that are based on hibiscus. I hope you like it too, Kalidia. And I feel like you can't really taste the sweetness. I can't taste the sweetness with those. Like, I can't taste the sweetener with those, but maybe maybe you can. Maybe you're more sensitive to it. I hope you like it, though. Fingers crossed. Also, hashtag ad. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do... Right, yeah, exactly, exactly. It would be a shame. Hi, Bluffing Through. Good morning. How are you liking Anomaly? Um, 
I think it needs a bit more balancing. Some stuff is really, really, really heckin' difficult. Um, I do like a lot of the base systems that it adds, though. And, like, I like the, the things that you can do with it. Um... It's growing on me more and more, even though I'm there's also a lot of really gross stuff in it. <laughs> but it's growing on me more and more. Mm -hmm. Monolith study progress. Shane has had a breakthrough while studying the monolith. She believes the monolith is a conduit for psychic energy connecting to some distant location. However, she's unsure where or what it connects to. We can study more in, uh, entities and learn more. Let's go uh it gr it's growing on me like a fungus yes correct <laughs> you're experiencing the same gotcha hi sham the eye how are you okay we finished biofair right uh don't allow fresh only rotten everything no mechanoids no colonist corpses like a flesh tentacle yeah like a flesh whip and then I whip it, whip it back and forth. All right. There are the manhunting guinea pigs from the quest. They will get us some books. I like books. And I cannot lie. Why are you running down there? Okay, these were not very smart guinea pigs. But our pods have arrived. Chest by murder. As well as... Uh, an, uh, a breakthrough in hydroponics. No, 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 no. Hold the book. Save the book. And then you may sleep. Thank you so much, Captain of Industry. Hey, Captain of Industry is great as well. Especially because it just had a big update too. So that's, yeah, fun. Fun game too. This well-written well novel is written from the point of, a, point of view of a drunkard as he embarks on a quest for love in a world full of hate. It is somewhat humorous from time to time, but the world is unoriginal and dull. The text was first printed on the 11th of September, 5314. Gotcha. All right, we need an anomaly project. Let's do entity containment. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Are you meditating? Fair, I suppose. Was imprisoned. Yeah, I know. I had to convert you, mate. I had to convert you. I had to do that. That was... Yeah, but honestly, honestly, I think PR fella, that is that is exactly the right thing. Yeah, it's growing on me like a flesh tentacle. Grows on mutated colonists. <laughs> so, there we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, another quest. Constantina, a dame of the empire, is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She is also being followed by a man hunting guinea pigs. Jeez. For some reason, uh, the mini the guinea pigs on this world seem to be very, very, very wish vicious. Hello, Dasme. How are you? There is a man hunting guinea pig. All right, let's go. Loop. Let's go. And it's gone. And sorted. Done and dusted. Tierman, hi. Good to see you. Flesh eating guinea pigs. Yeah. Man hunting flesh eating guinea pigs. Indeed. All right, off in your shuttle you go. Off you go. All right, quest completed. Easy peasy lemon re re squeezy. Yes, I restarted. We died. We died horribly. A very horrible, slow, frustrating death yesterday due to a revenant. So I restarted with a slightly easier ideologian. That's more easily to manage because it's fluid, so we can adjust it as 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 needed. We an emote of me fighting a guinea pig now. Let's go uh so yeah it was it was rough it was rough it was rough af <laughs> oh goodness okay 
All right, we're gonna build more traps. And then we'll go from there. It was pretty, pretty, pretty tough. You like big books and you cannot lie. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's get limestone flagstone. Or we'll just make it, we'll just make it a growing zone. Or we just cut everything. But then they're not going to cut. They're not going to cut the trees when they're not. Yeah, they're not going to cut the trees, are they? They're going to wait until the trees are fully grown. We don't want that. Because we want... Uh, there we go. We'll just do that. You try to crash your internet. Okay, which you know the way to do. It doesn't appear to crash anymore. Okay, that's good. Maybe, maybe, even though it reset it now, like on the on the firmware update, or on the update, maybe the new update is now better because it's more stable and stuff. You see a wibble. A wibble where? Seems suspicious though. <laughs> where is there a wibble? I have no wibble. Oh no, there is no. There is no. There is no wibble command like that. You just have to press wibble. You download like a big file. Wibble hit your boat earlier though. I see. I see, I see, I see. No, we haven't. We've only seen a sight sealer so far and a ghoul, I suppose, in this particular one. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, I guess Shane can also technically hunt. Yeah, you can also hunt. But I definitely need... Please... Oh, no empty spot. That is on me. So let's get that quickly set up. Um, earn the fresh animal corpses. Will I get a new hell hellhole? Is it random? It is random, yes. Though so that is a tier 2 anomaly event. Sorry, that's not going to happen until we progress the void monolith till tier 2. Sorry. It's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a bit. Because I'm gonna prepare better this time. I'm definitely gonna prepare better this time because hot damn. That's true. That is true. Also, hi, Lady Yolana. True. There are smaller holes. But you can't go down those. Because the one that started my downfall was the one that you can go into. So yeah, that was definitely not ideal. But But we... We did survive, and it would have it would have been all right if not for that pesky raw storage that had gone hostile when we accidentally hit him with a bit of fire. Mm-hmm. But he went absolutely bloomin' mad and very angry. And then we had to fight on two different fronts, and that was very bad. That was not good at all for us, actually. Accident. It was on accident, I promise. Yeah, it was. It was. It was an accident. I swear. It was. It was an accident. Yes, yes, it was. Mm hmm. It was. Man, we had a lot of steel, apparently. Hot damn. Hot damn. Okay. Oh, I didn't line this up well. I should have moved it over by one. Well, too late now. It's too late now. Yeah, it's just going to be wonky then. We can use it for additional storage for other things. It was an accident, I swear on me, mum. Exactly. 
Yeah, it'll just be storage. But I'm gonna put a wall around it, so our raiders don't run in there and be like, Hey, I'm gonna set your steel on fire! Ha 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 Because they're totally gonna do that, because they're mini butts. Mm-hmm. And then... Hidden conduits. Let's go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Exactly that. Never thought about putting non-deteriorating things outside. It saves a lot of space. Mm-hmm. That's good though, Goo. That's very good. Also, we are actually currently in an outbreak. I'm super duper 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 quickly gonna pop to the bathroom chat because I actually need to pee. So I'm gonna use this outbreak real quick to pop to the bathroom. I will be super duper right back. Um just need to pee real quick. All right, all right, I have returned. Thanks everybody for sticking around. I just needed to really quickly pop to the bathroom. Thank you, Dasme. Am I not doing shelf management? No, not as much as I should, actually. Mahoris, not as much as I should. Thank you, Rita. Yeah, I'm actually really bad about um, managing my shelves. <laughs> But to be fair, like steel and stone blocks and stuff like that uh, deteriorate, do not deteriorate outside without shelves. So, uh, yeah, with, so you can just check them outside. Yeah, just throw stuff on shelves randomly. That's usually what I do, yeah. I should really like make proper like weapon storage shelves and stuff like that. I tend to mostly not do that though. But look at this. Look at this smarter construction though. That's pretty good. Like our hauler just supplied all of our construction sites with the resources already needed. That is pretty heckin' good. To be quite honest. Like that is that is a very neat thing. That is a very, very neat thing. Like very 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 good 
But yeah, we can just leave this outside for now. The only thing, of course, with steel is that it is flammable. So you want to wall it in. So it doesn't get set on fire by raiders. Because they will do that if they have the chance. All right. Uh, do we? We do. Steel is flammable in RimWorld. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wait, why does it say 0% here now? Are we using jet fuel? Why does it say 0% there? Can they no longer set steel that's lying on, on the floor on fire? Wait, was that changed? Because I know that steel flooring is definitely still flammable. Like paved tile for example wait what wait yeah it was burning yesterday why does it say zero percent flammability no i've definitely had steel lumps what wait Hi, Jay. That is what? We need it. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? All right. Uh, where was, where was Insta builds? Where's the, that's music. Where was the, oh gosh. Uh, is it here? Oh, is it the person out oh, there? Yeah. Toggle got more. Thank you. What does it say about steel tile then? Wait. Uh. Excuse me? Steel things in RimWorld don't burn anymore? This changes everything. My blown. No, no, no. I didn't summon shamblers. No, no, no. The sh shamblers happened before. Steel tile wasn't flammable either. Yes, it was. No, it totally was. What about steel wall? The building's yes, floor nor. Yeah, the wall still is. No, it was nor, wasn't it? I was tartly. Tartly. Convinced it was. Only wooden carpet. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Well, I I was convinced it was. Okay. Well. Never mind then. No, I I swear I've built stu st uh No, no, no. Metal floor stone, but I was conf I was certain that metal floors used to burn. But apparently they don't. So, there you go. Apparently they don't. Today I relearned. I was literally convinced that they would. Does the steel burn? No, it doesn't. Hi, Death. Not my birthday. Still have 34 days. Uh, do ghouls fight only? They don't do other work. Correct. Yes, they're only for fighting. Yeah. They're only for fighting, really. Nope, not my birthday. Not yet. I still have time. I still have time. Just a little bit longer. FGFG, what is time? Dude, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. That. That is what time is. But no, I have 34 more days. Mm-hmm. 
But no, uh, ghouls, ghouls really only fight. You can turn them into quite um, tough fighting monsters, though. Once you get a little bit further down the uh, research line. Uh, 34 days till birthday, that means FG abandonment is in 50 days. Well, that clearly means it's time to panic. Mm hmm. Are the shamblers still shambling or have they died? Uh, they are in the process of falling over. Oh, wait. There we go. No kitties. No, I'm sorry. You bought a DLC actually, right? But you're waiting for mods to catch on. Well, a lot of stuff has been updated. Uh, since I last checked. So, I gotcha. Yeah. How you bring light in? What game is this? Is this really cool? New colony builder thing? Like you basically have to like keep your people alive. I think. It's really cool you bring light in you should check it out you should buy it mm-hmm totally should yeah go get some norms goo we'll see you in a bit void curiosity oh my chat are you void curious as well all right we're gonna get a bookcase over here my horse has begun to fixate on the void and wishes to investigate it using the void provocation ritual. It is... At first, I was kind of, hmm. Because the whole Lovecraftian thing is not quite my thing. Uh, but as Chad has put it, it is growing on me like a fleshy tentacle. Oh, I'm also not great at the game, always with the, with the weirder, but I don't think it's about being great at the game. It's about having fun. Hi, Chris. Hi, Arrow. Good to see you. A poor child named Green is approaching looking for help. Green is begging for three mats. Green wants the message to save his loyal pets. Oh, 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 save the doggo. Save the doggo. Save the dog. Here, go save your dog, please. Void fix it. Now it's just a hobby. Right? I'm sorry, it's just my it's just my ADHD hyperfixation recently. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Well, we'll get we'll get to that when we get there. You can go have a squirrel. Roll. Enjoy your squirrel. Does void in the sips like the darkness and dredge? Yes. You were expecting a guinea pig. No, guinea pig are evil clearly on this world. So hopefully, hopefully we helped green save a doggo. Or maybe a kitty. And not an evil, evil. We're going to murderize you. Um. Uh, what's the words? I, my brain will catch up. Uh, guinea pig. Hey, Spock. Three streams. Looking for cats. Thanks for the watch trick. I appreciate that. Hello. Really passion crunch. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to keep the realism out of my rim world. Ideally. It's good to see you, Spock. Thanks for the watch streak. I hope you're doing well. All right. You work on that. Yeah, no cats. I know. It's very sad. It's very, very sad indeed. Shamblers again. Jeez, we literally just had them. Cassie, please. Cassie, please. A bit of, a bit of patience here. Cassie is like, I don't do patience. Do it now. Are there squirrels outside? Sometimes, yes. Mm-hmm. 
What do you mean in in a rim world or in my brain? I mean, you know, all of those are valid things to question. Also, I just realized I put all these down and then that's not actually going to work because um, we're actually going to sort of compound mine it this time around. Because anomaly has hurt me a lot. And hmm, that doesn't quite line up. A chat squirrels. I'm not gonna answer that. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. But I have decided I know what I'm gonna do. I know how we're going to do this. We're just going to put a crafting room or a chill room or something down, uh, something else down here. Aha! Perfect. Uh, hey, Major Neza. Yeah, we died. We died. We died. Hi, Diorach. New save. Yeah, we died very slowly and sadly to a revenant yesterday. It was very bad. So, yeah, new run. New run indeed. It was it was a very slow and silly death yesterday, to be quite honest. So we're starting over, correct? Join as a squirrel. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, because it was it was quite 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 bad. Sorry, we're, we're trying again, but differently this time. We basically, we, to, because we, we kind of just, um, started ourselves off with the super duper base ideology that you get in RimWorld, right? Like with the new DLC that you get. And, um, that one's pretty rough because if the minus 25, um, because of the 25% like research speed, which is really slow. It is really slow. Like that 25% and that kind of messed us up a lot. So we're going, we're going with, um, we made a custom ideology. We still have the ritualistic ideology thing in, but we just went with a not quite so debilitating um, research penalty this time instead. I'm also going to redesign my base building a little bit because revenants and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, how am I doing otherwise, Dark Princess? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you? No, we've got, we've got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, we probably have uh, a new, well, we have a new sponsor announcement soon, TM. And then we are doing Planet Crafter with Lex on Friday afternoon. And we're gonna play Frostpunk 2 tomorrow because I got a key for the beta. And then we have a sponsorship and then a sponsorship thing. And then we're gonna do Mana Lords on Friday and then Planet Crafter and all the cool things. Yeah, no, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well too. And we're already on 170 heckin uh partner plus points for the month as well. Sorry, like hot damn, you're just keeping keeping on, keeping on, carrying that forward, and I really heckin appreciate it. Because that is extremely generous and it helps so 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 much that extra um the the 70 30 split helps so much it's ridiculous so thanks for that lots of stuff yeah let's go all the things all right uh the shamblers are Oh, they're shambling close. Uh, the third variety of FG is out of her onesie. I mean, onesie is out of my hands, Death. As I've said before, the onesie, onesie is out of my hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can... I'm going to reinstall these because they keep walking through here and I'm 
kind of terrified that they'll step into these traps sooner rather than later. So uh, let's do that. But we're actually not like, I mean, we're doing okay on onesie, to be fair. I really wish, yeah, we're on 21. I really wish it would show the goals again on my dashboard. I don't know why it stopped showing them. It's very odd. Day 80 hype. Let's go. Heck yeah. Very nice. Oh, the shamblers. There's one here. Where's the other one? All right. There. <laughs> there it is. That is hype indeed, Kalidia. Mm-hmm. Very much so. And then we can work on containment and stuff. Okay, you're getting you're getting too close. Sorry, we're just gonna... Dang, that one was shambling quite fast. Or a shambler. Uh, you hold that one, you hold that one. Because we definitely want to... Clear our stuff. I was also gonna... I was also going to put... A Lao tool... Uh, I was also going to grab a Lao tool, but a Lao tool apparently is actually currently kind of broken. And um, needs an extra patch for like... Because um, apparently Lao, Lao tool breaks ghouls somehow. I don't know how, but it does. So um, I would have I would have grabbed that as well if I... Oh gosh, more chip, chip chunks. If it weren't broken, but currently apparently it breaks the ghoul ai so that's not ideal to say the least so that's why we're currently with without allow tool also can you deliver oh wait how is this a new one you should uninstall it then yeah yeah if you're trying to play it with anomaly yeah yeah, apparently, apparently it breaks ghoul AI. At least that's what my glance, uh, m me glancing at the workshop showed earlier. And that's, of course, not ideal. Ghoul buster. Your ghoul died on like day two. You don't have one right now. Yeah, yeah, my ghoul died qu fairly quickly as well. But then we got it back yesterday. You can get them back. So that's good. And there was like quite a bit of steel over here as well. There are so many ship chunks on this tile. Holy smokes. I guess I shouldn't actually complain about that because that's a good thing. The ghoul walking around doesn't disturb people, right? Uh... We can have a special celebration. We should do that. Boop. All right, we can also totally go with lights, can't we? We can totally get some actual standing lights. Yeah. No, wait, this is not in the... But it's not in the right location there because then we don't have to we can we can toggle the automatic refueling for now and then we can go from there but first of course we it's going to build the walls and whatnot good morning giggles hi how are you today Good to see you. Hello. Mm. Nom 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 nom. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. 
I'm doing great too. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, no, I just need these ones to be hauled. Really? Because they're going to be inside the room. Which we don't want. And then... We'll probably have to bonk in like four coolers for this entire area, but... We'll get that in a bit. <laughs> We'll get that guy in, in a bit. 17 degrees in there, which is actually technically a little bit cold. Good for sleeping, but besides that, a Howdy little bit, partner. a little bit cold. Howdy partner, indeed. Yes, we died horribly. Well, horribly slowly yesterday. Sorry, I opted to um, restart today. Yeah, because uh, we died very, very slowly to the Revenant yesterday, and it was just very nasty. Also, that um, base ideal religion that you get with the new DLC is really, really hard. So we still have the ritualistic. Uh, we still have the ritualistic. Um, I do religion and stuff like that, but we made it a fluid one this time, so it's a bit more flexible and manageable. Yeah, we got Shane um, just as a wanderer join. Shane was just a wanderer join. Yeah. I also tried to get a prisoner, but they died before we could uh, imprison them, unfortunately. Uh, how is that tree, that tree, and that tree? Actually. Then you can actually just build... Oh, I was going to have you build the door, not the hidden conduit, but... Oh, well. So far, so good. Giggly wiggly, nice. That's good. Ooh, Sleepy P tried to flirt with Shane by commending her judgment. Shane was like, nah, -uh. no. <laughs> All right. Not bad, not bad. I like the whole hauling and whatnot. It's very nice. The whole, the, you know, Shane is really good about hauling and supplying like CPP with materials so our CPP doesn't have to constantly run back and forth for building things it's very nice again CPP charmed Shane by telling a tale about human nature Shane was like nah -uh. CPP stop no means no you silly butt ear Aw, oh, look at Sleepy P and Horus. Rebuffed by Shane! Four times! These colonists. More... Whoop. More chunks. This is so many chunks. How many components do we have? 76. Goodness. I feel like Cassie is just trying to butter us up by supplying and like give us lots of lots of wealth by giving us all of these components. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sakun. Good morning. How are you today? Lovely to see you. Hi. Uh, you're back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. They had 10 relationships with each other, while 90 with everyone else. Oh my lord. I did perform necromancy yesterday. Well, Sleepy P still has a plus 54 opinion. Shane, however, thinks minus 7 of her. Uh, failed to romance me. 
Minus 52, physically unsightly, and because they're a man. Guess it was just a drag race to you on your first two tries. You switched to Randy. He's been nicer. Hmm. Interesting. Correct, ads. Yes, this is the new start that comes with anomaly. So two people, one ghoul. Mm -hmm. More 115. Hot damn. Kiggles, put your... That, that's a lot of streams naked, please. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. That's four people. That's four people that have the maximum streak. That's impressive. That's CCP, Platy, Ads, and Giggles, all with 114, uh, 15. That's crazy. Thank you so much. That is, that is incredible, honestly. Cool starvation. Ah, panic, 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 panic. What's your streak at? I don't get a streak. Sorry, it's zero. Yeah, I don't get a streak on my own channel. I've been denied. A streak. Oh, they can eat whatever. They can eat... They eat meat and corpses. It's just I melee attack the smaller ones because they're less likely to actually kill Rawl. Because, um... It's RimWorld. So if you get unlucky... Your, call, your, your ghoul can be defeated by, like, a Dari or whatever. Oh, stake level. Oh, my stake level is at... It was filled. My, my stake level is filled. Also, good catch. I didn't see that. Because I had delicious steak yesterday for foods. Mm-hmm. Nah, my streaking birthday is nah. It's not my birthday today, though. Now you want steak. I had delicious steak yesterday. It was it was very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's taken like five years. Mm-hmm. See if you got the psycho vibe, though. A little bit, a little bit. It's passion crunch. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. By choice, Zamona? Or not by choice? You have to get see what coupons you get. Fair, fair. Steak is pretty pricey. Solar flare, that's fine. Oh yeah, steak is is pretty heckin' pricey. You have pasta. Mm. We're having pasta for dinner today. Yep, we're having pasta for dinner today. Nom nom. Construction 11, not bad. Isn't always by choice? No, because if you just can't afford it, but you really, 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 really want it, I wouldn't say that's a choice. You don't keep red meat in the house because you're the only one who eats it, so to get red meat, you have to eat up. Gotcha. That just means grab a friend and go for steak at some point in time, but got it. Hi, Smexy, good to see you. But yeah, gotcha, 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 Zamona. Gotcha. I mean, there's plenty of other delicious meals that you can have. A slaver from Northwestern Inus is approaching. Hmm. I see how it is. Uh, who was my highest? Did you guys, uh, it's a probe with potatoes or noodles or something else? Oh, we had steak and air fryer chips or air fried chips and a ton of vegetables. We had broccoli, green beans, and peas. It was very yummy. Uh, Piguk, the architect. Lothful trigger, trigger happy misandrist. Ooh. Yeah, okay, no. It was very tasty. It was delicious. And then, for dessert, I had a cookie. Which Lex made on 
No, yesterday. He made cookies yesterday. No, he made them on Monday. Never mind. Yeah. No, no. Uh, cookies were, were Monday. But he made cookies. Yum, yum. Cookies. Yeah. Chat wants cookie. There we go. We'll put some fine limestone tiles in their rooms just to make it a little bit nicer. And then we need all of the limestone. Oh, God. This is going to take forever. You should try the Danish national dish. Big strips of pork belly. With a lot of salt and some potatoes with parsley sauce. I mean, I've been to Denmark quite a few times. Danish food is very tasty, correct? Pork belly is a bit too much for my body because I don't have a gallbladder. So pork belly is tough because it has a lot of fat on it. So my body kind of just goes into like panic mode. <laughs> Hi, Kari. Good to see you. Night, night. Thanks for the watch streak. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Sleep well. Temporary workers, one person, chess for happiness, and a study in psychoid, which is faster research. It is very tasty. Yeah, it's just it's just because of a lack of gallbladder, um, you don't store off enough bile to be able to digest fat very well which does not work out well for your digestive system let me tell you really Torlak? i mean most i can do as well i can do most as well like most stuff is fine but like straight up pork belly is pretty rough yeah that's pretty that's a bit much uh that's a bit much for my body but like 95% of things are totally fine, luckily. Uh, T-bone steak on off I little tomorrow. It's all right. It's all right. It's um, kind of my own fault. Really. So now I have to deal with the consequences of my actions. But luckily, luckily, it's not been affecting me too much overall. But thank you. Appreciate that, Passion Crunch. Why did I call you Passion Crunch? Crush. I think it's because passion ends with an N, so my brain goes, oh, it's crunch, not crush. Duh. Sorry. Passion Crush. There we go. <laughs> ah, reading. Uh, is it the top of a best decision ever made? Mine... Mine wasn't constant. But the last flare-up I had was really bad. And it came with pancreatitis, so they were just like, yeah, no. Out. Sorry. That's not great. <laughs> don't, don't want pancreatitis. Don't recommend. Luckily, luckily that, that went away sort of on its own. Uh, the pancreatitis thing, and they didn't have to do anything about that. But yeah. Well, Danish food would be mostly fishy. Danish food is potatoes. Danish people love potatoes. There's also fish. But uh, definitely. Definitely potatoes. Danish potatoes are great. Also, Danish pastries. Like a Danish bakery is really nice as well. Mm. You're wondering why there's costume stuff going to be on sale. Workers' Day. Why do Finnish people dress up on Workers' Day? Interesting. Potato, pork, beef, and cake. Yeah, and pastries. Mmm. Chat, you're all making me hungry. Why are we talking about food again? Why does it always end up being food? A mad rat. Oh, no. Go, Roll. You deal with the rats. Sorry, Platty. I mean, potatoes are great. Potatoes are actually great. And they make you full as well. Rat sorted. Thank you. Thank you. Potatoes are great. And cheap. They fill you up and they're cheap. Affordable, which is always good. Mm-hmm. It's mostly students who take it as a party day. Ah, gotcha. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's a mead. Ooh. 
The earthy gold nugget. Hey, I mean potato. Potato praise. Potatoes are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Thanks, South America, for your glorious potatoes. <laughs> I keep thinking, like, looking here at this bed and going, like, where's Shane? And I'm like, oh, on a quest. How long are you gone for, actually? Seven days, okay. Mash him, mash him, put him in a shoe, and then put that shoe inside of me, giggity. <sighs> ah, the thing streamer says on stream sometimes. Go funny stuff, get drunk. He does wear your hat that you got from when you graduated from college. Oh, interesting. Shane is also in Japan. That is true. And posting amazing pictures. Oh, my God. Um, I love that you're building so much, actually. But I do need you to actually hunt that alpaca real quick. You need sausages and potato salad. I approve. A visitor. Links, and she has a few items to try. It. Very nice. Swedish propaganda. Our lordy. I see how it is. All right, let's see what Lynx has to try. It. You would buy the recurve bar. They have EMP nades. I sell all of that. And the package survive on me. Can I afford the EMP nades? If I sell one component, I can. Two components. Gosh darn it. Two components. It is. Because after what happened last time, I want those EMPs. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Jack of potatoes with salad cream. Mm. Just potatoes. Just gimme potatoes. Give me potatoes or give me death. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, my horse is making some new clothes. And then everybody is switching their clothes. Very good. And eventually we'll have a floor as well. It's just going to take a little bit. We'll just have to stare at floor blueprints for a while for a while. Just a little bit. Thanks for your MP nades, Links. Actually, like that's like 10 out of 10. Very good. You're making a new phone app at the same time. Oh my. What kind of app are you making? I just presume for work, right? But yeah, I gotcha. Mmm. Gotcha, yeah. Have been able to go through another potato apocalypse? Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah, potato. Light, hopefully not. That would be god. Can you imagine potato blight? That would mean no fries, chips, anything. Like, we could probably compensate, mostly. But, like, we'd have to miss out on a lot of food, yeah. Mm-hmm. Raisin cookies. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. God, do we even have... Alright, what we should do is... A dumping stockpile here. And we're gonna make it critical. We're gonna clear all. We're gonna allow... Granite and limestone chunks. It would be a potat po potato clips. Potato couple Yes. Yes. Potato apocalypse. Correct. Mm-hmm. Omar squirrels. Oh, boy. A seven-year-old child named Omar is calling from nearby. He says a pack of two man-hunting squirrels are hunting him. God, first guinea pigs, now squirrels. Omar joins. Seven years old. Let's see. Hopefully... Hopefully that one trade that they'll show up with is a good trade. We'll see, I suppose. We will see, I suppose. Hopefully it's a good trade. Fingers crossed. 
All right. Insight you go, Omar. Please have a good trade. Psychically sensitive. Doable. Doable. All right. Run. Roll. Uh, roll go there. Run, Omar. Exclamation mark join. By the way, if you would like to put your name into the name pool, because Omar needs a name. Right, we have somebody to name, of course. Hello, Sam Texagon. How are you? Been a hot minute. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Hello, hello. And hi, Quelly. Good to see you. And hi, Pike. Hello. Not my birthday, Semtexagon. But lovely to see you. I hope you're doing well. And it is a new colony. Yeah, we died to a remnant yesterday. We died to a remnant yesterday. Okay, so this is going to be Omar's bed for now. Um, it was a very slow and horrible death. Um, don't recommend uh don't recommend but yeah so we started over we made our ideology a little bit less severe and hopefully now we're doing we're doing all right we'll see all right Quelly, sounds good have fun have fun all right there we go um Hi, Anandor. How are you today? Wonderful to see you. Hello. Good morning. Yes, we died. We died to a remnant yesterday. It was very nasty. What anomalies have I seen? I've seen... All tier 1s, most of tier 2, most of tier 2, none of tier 3. Mm-hmm. Um, let me, let me see real quick. So I've seen all of this. I, I saw almost everything of tier 2. I think I didn't see this and I didn't see that. Yes, I've seen seen the obelisks indeed. Robbie! Thank you so much for the brand new sub. Thank you so much. I really heck can appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Sorry, brand new subs are still like, whoa! Like brand new self playing subs. So thank you so much for the support. Enjoy your emotes. Make sure to refresh so you get ads. And hi, welcome, welcome. Thanks for the sub. Oh, I see Pike. Oh, let's go. I did get teleported. Yes. Yes. I went to the labyrinth once with one pawn that was starving. So we had to like get out ASAP because they were starving and dying. <laughs> uh have seen i've seen several of the obelisks yeah what does it do um there are different ones there are ones that copy there are ones that turn that call flesh beasts and there are ones that um like turn creatures into flesh flesh beasts and that sort of stuff yeah anyone on youtube should want to talk about potatoes thank you thank you my emote artists are amazing i can't take any credit they do all the work um, Faye makes all of our alerts and animated emotes, and Levi makes all of the static emotes. They're both actually, like, amazing. Mm hmm Oh, perfect! Perfect. Well, you'll fit right in then. Enjoy your emotes. Yeah, and thank you. So much. Mm hmm Did I solve the bots driving on the walls thing? The bots driving on the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, Spock. <laughs> Sorry, um, maybe that wasn't me. Shambers are quite a nice rate type. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One of us? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, you need food again. Gosh darn it. Um. 
Like, I want to hunt the, 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 the muffalos. They're, like, staring me in the face. But we all know how it goes when you hunt muffalos. They all aggro. You now want to know. Yeah, same. Kind of. Okay. Uh, we do also need to name Omar. So are we going to do that? Exclamation mark join. Last chance before we pick Omar's name. Well, we rolled randomly. Uh... But if somebody wants to still jump into the name pool. Mm hmm. You fixed up ideology for the main call and you got with baby protein. And now you realize you didn't save. No! Hi, pigs. Good to see you. We have a Gore Hulk assault. Oh, gosh. Okay, everybody inside. New research available. Where is the Gore Hulk? Over there. Okay. Sleepy P into the door. All right. Gave everybody time to jump on in. All right. Pick a random. It's Bacon Eater. Seven year old called Bacon Eater. I approve. Have a wonderful lurk, Ravi. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, Ravidel. Good to see you. Have a wonderful, wonderful lurk. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's. Yeah, that is literally um just changed base game behavior now. Ow. Yeah, that is just changed base game behavior now. That is intentional. Uh so kill hallways don't work anymore. So basically basically you need a different kill box nowadays. Drongo's murder hallway doesn't work anymore. You didn't hate it, but you also didn't love it, Goo. You also didn't love it. Oh, no, wait. Bacon Eater needs to stay inside. I know, I know, I should keep the Gore Hulks, but I still don't have a containment facility. They're very upset with me, though. Oh, my goodness. Ra, 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 ra. Uh, Mahoris. Already fixing up sleep PP. Good. Thank you. Have a good work, Lurk Ruta. Thanks for hanging out. Playing is more fun than watching it. I think once you understand what's going on, watching it can be very, very fun. But if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't quite understand what's going on, it's very easy to get super duper duper lost. Um, yeah, Gore Hulks. So basically, Gore Hulks. We can read the description real quick. Oh, wait. We can read the description in the Entity Cardex. A monstrous creature that resembles a massive, painfully swollen human with randomly reconfigured body parts. Near its top is a stretched face that watches its victim with dead eyes. Hundreds of sharp keratin spines protrude from the Gore Hulk's skin. It can launch these spines to spear its victims at a distance. However, its awkward fleshy body is less effective at causing harm up close. It's hard to know whether this is a human that was horribly distorted by the influence of the void or a poor imitation of humanity created from scratch by some evil intelligence. Uh, some watching some people play is really fun, especially the really silly things that happen. Yeah, yes, yes. All right, I need to put you on child care, Mahoris. So poor Baconator gets an education. Welcome back, Marnie. Welcome back. Okay, what's your learning at? Ninety-two percent. All right, ninety-three. Good. You're getting you're getting educated. That's very good. Baconator is set to hunting. Let's not make the child hunt shall we uh should normally knowledge be persistent you mean for like the player um i don't think it needs to be because you discover it really quickly while you're playing it Sorry. No, I don't think it needs to be. Because you don't have to do anything about um, the entity knowledge, right? Like, th this just literally gets filled in as soon as they appear. Like, you don't need to study anything or whatever. Sorry. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome. 
Adventure mode is coming out today. Yep. So I think, I think it doesn't need to be. Because it's not like it's locked behind extra research or anything like that. But yeah. It's planning on just not like the tech tree. Oh no, it is though. Oh, you mean like the stuff in the in the in the in the research screen? Because that the the research screen is yeah, it's not visible. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't think it needs to be revealed at all times. Because it's always a different run. You might do things a bit differently. I'm going to sell the, clo uh, the cloth shirts because they're not that great. Uh, you hope that brings a slider. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit... I mean, to be fair, if you don't do the ritualistic start, you don't get as many... You don't get as many... Anomaly events quite that quickly. Right, there is there like you don't get some of them quite as quickly. Mahoris is starving. Because we send our cook off. I'm a smart person. Um that's that's quickly fire up some food here. Um Yeah, if you don't do the ritualistic start, which is where or if you don't do the the anomaly start where this activates automatically, you can kind of control a little like you'll get less anomaly events because you don't get all of the monolith events um quite as much so yeah it's a bit it's a bit more chill but i agree uh they they do fire fairly quickly they really do it's like bam 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 also tx hi tx good morning three is a good start Let's get that streak out. Thank you for the watch streak. I really appreciate it. It's good to see you, TX. Good morning. Or rather, good day, considering it's also 12 o'clock for me now. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. There we go. Oh, shoot. It's very cold in here. Um, Let's see. We'll put one here and one here. We probably need more than that. Uh, clean in here real quick. Yeah, please build the heaters. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Whatever you're talking about, I have not encountered it, so thanks not for spoiling. Yeah. But something that you might want to refresh on some of the concepts if you don't have the uh, stuff. I see what you mean. Yeah, I don't. Mm, I don't think it's necessary, but. I would also not be opposed to adding a toggle for it. That just lets people switch between things, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to a toggle. How thriving is this colony? We're actually doing okay at the moment. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would be okay with a toggle, so to speak. And I'm, uh, to be fair, I'm pretty sure we'll get a mod that reveals them sooner rather than later anyways. <laughs> Strider! More streaking. Ugh. No, put your clothes back on. Go on. Uh, did a few mistakes this morning, but you're in a good mood. So you're sure you're going to fix them? Let's go. Also, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if you can think of it, there's a mod for it. Usually, yeah. Or there will be. Sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. Okay, how warm is it in here now? 17. Okay, that's a bit better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Do we actually have... We don't actually have rough living. I might add rough living in eventually. We'll see. Do you still have food poisoning? Yeah, okay, but you're recovering. That's good. Poor Rawl. You're over here. Deer, lynx, horses, there. Get the bunny. Uh, 
Uh, you have different calendar groups in Outlook office, but teams only share the personal ones. So appointments from team department have to be joined manually. Uh, that sounds like such a Windows slash like Microsoft Office thing. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Oh yeah, we need to convert the child as well but i don't want to arrest the child because children can't learn if they were like prisoners sorry we're gonna do that bye shule i'll take care thank you so much for hanging out sleep well have a wonderful rest of your evening and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for being here take care tomorrow by the way chat we're going to be playing the frostpunk 2 beta because because i got a key for that overnight so we're gonna check that out tomorrow My colonist is back. Shane has returned. Let's go. Very nice. Shane needs his back bed back. All right. So let's get that going. A party. Bacon eater. The seven-year-old is throwing a party. Oh cute very cute a horse tried to convert beaten baconator yes keep converting them please do it do it do it keep doing that okay our party has finished poor shane gets to sleep on the floor we don't have enough wood. Sorry, Shane. But it's fine. It's fine. You're currently in Japan anyway. Sorry, sorry. You're used to sleeping on the floor. It's fine. It's fine. And no, it's not, you know, tatami mats and then, you know, a futon. But but it's fine. It's the same. It works. Hey, Joy. Hi. And thank you. Oh, boy. Chat, get ready. Thanks for the super chat. Let's do it. Avodaco, 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 Avodaco. A lot of Avodacos. Avodaco. PJ, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. And thank you. A Vodago. Yeah, for some reason, that one says a Vodago instead of a Vodago. Also, a Vodago is also what I keep hearing. Which I have no idea what that is supposed to mean, but, you know, it's Brian. Brian no makes sense. We also need more power. We don't have enough power. Uh... Eco there, are you? Yeah, exactly. It's like, hmm? I we're gonna switch to solar panel for a little bit because we need more power. It's because of. Well, we can turn the electric tailoring bench off. Brian has had enough. You, the quest you just got. It is called Prisoner Cummings. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Room wealth never change. Never change. Okay, we're gonna. Since we're not using this, we're going to toggle all of these lights off over here. Because we're not using the bedrooms yet, so... Yep. Yep, yep. I mean, it's just randomly generated, right, from a... Because, I mean, to be fair, Cummings is a very common last name, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's definitely... Um, Sometimes the random things it comes up with are kind of uh, very interesting. Basto is needing help. Turtle, the green chief of the um, Toro Union, is requesting a favor. His friend Braga Basto is interested in learning about other cultures. Host him for 19 days. Will not do any... Okay, work. Ed. The no Ooh, neurotic teeter. I like neurotic because of the global work speed. Good plants, shooting, and melee. Yes. Come on in. 
Basto. Good dresser. Excellent bed. All right, what's the art on the bed, CCP? This furniture bears a representation of a town. At the edge of the image are nine corn cobs. Why are there nine corn cobs on the bed? But okay, sure. Uh, am I making swords yet? No, not yet. Hi, Keith. Good to see ya. Hello. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Brian also has a pro problem pronunciation. The pro pro I have a problem pronoun pronouncing. Wow, words. The emote name for elephant. Really? I did not know that. I know about. I, I knew about a vertigo, but he also feels an elephant. Really? I've never. I didn't realize. And you made another another excellent bed. Love number RA seventy five. This furniture bears an illustration of a solitary guard bot near a hamlet. The surrealistic style of the central scene clashes with the Rococo depiction of the background. Oh, Rococo is new. I don't think Rococo... I've never had a Rococo thing. Also, is that Rococo misspelled? Doesn't it have... Isn't it two C's and none one C? Or am I mistaken? Oh no, I'm mistaken. Never mind. I am mistaken. Never mind. Never mind. My bad. Ghoul? Oh no! I forgot about... I got distracted by Rocco Car and I forgot about... Rawl and his need for meat. Oh no! I think a lickens. Yeah, I pay. I didn't. I did. I. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna just attack? Oh no! You're gonna eat. Oh no! I'm sorry. Nobody reminded me. I'm sorry. It's revenge for yesterday. Hartley. Please don't kill him. Well, that goes wrong. Uh, that goes wrong. Well. There goes our ghoul, I guess. <clears throat> it's fine. You'll become one with the tree. Yeah, I just don't have a freezer yet. I just don't have a freezer yet. And I was really good about keeping up with it, but then I also didn't. We're getting good at killing. Yeah. Deserves it. <clears throat> he turned feral because I forgot to uh, get meat. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, ritualist. Yes, Mahoris will become the ritualist. Hi, own souls. Hot damn. 25 streak watch stream watch streak. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Enjoy your extra channel points. All right. Successful role change. Because now we can convert Baconator. Okay, 45%. Good, good, good. And then Bastar is just bustling around. Doing things. All right. Mark! Thank you, Mark, as well, for trying it. Thanks for the, thanks for the super chat as well. Oh, gosh. Constant. Elephant, 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 elephant. Wait! What? How did he fail six times in the last three? He said correctly. But I. Brian, please! Mark, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the support as well. 
elephant, 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 elephant. <laughs> oh, Brian, never change. Never change. Mm-hmm. Never change. Exactly. Uh, you were, yeah, it's, it's very funny. For sure. But I only converse in a real challenge. The cooldown is slower than the time it takes them to regain their belief. Yeah, if they if they regain it faster, then I can use the convert on them. Honestly, just arrest them and convert them that way. I just don't want to do it to Baconator because they're a child. So if you arrest children, they don't learn while they're a prisoner. So that's annoying. Yeah. Uh, that's a good gear. And thank you so much again, Mark, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thanks for trying the elephants. <laughs> much, much, much appreciate it. Okay. Um, good. Baconator's doing that. We're working on more flooring. We're also being raided by the Leak Covenant. A group of Neanderthal... Well, one person. One person. No, I don't. Exactly. I don't. That's the thing, Shine B. I don't because they do silly things. Like not learn. And that is annoying. <laughs> Trida! Oh, damn, thank you. Then just send them to their room without dinner. Yes. Unless they convert. I like it. Right up. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk about arrested development. Yeah, if you arrest them, their development does indeed get arrested. Correct. But I don't think he gains super duper quickly. So that's good. And our social person is pretty good at social. Sorry. Hopefully that will work out for us. Thank you so much, Strider. That's really, really kind of you. All right. Learning fully satisfied. Attended party. Yeah. Yes, we died to a revenant yesterday. Very slowly and painfully. Sorry, we started over with a slightly easier ideology that's fluid so we can adjust we can adjust it if need be yeah to in school suspension well we don't have it well we we're doing homeschooling though so yeah that just means we have to we still have to deal with them <laughs> It's always bad if the converted... Yeah, like Iron Will, Steadfast, like all of the ones that reduce their conversion rate and their change and that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, very much so. Very, very much so. Yep, yep, yep. Agreed. Agreed. uh how do books work you had a book that said geothermal 30 an hour so there are three different types of books there are books that they read solely for recreation so they get you know recreation from it and it fills their recreation bar there are books that teach them a skill like for example we have uh which one do we have this one for example whips analysis analysis of charisma um while they're reading it per hour reading they gain 250 xp in social up to a max level of eight and then there is another type of book that teaches research sorry for example we've got this one a breakthrough in hydroponics while somebody is reading it we're ge they are generating 40 research uh per hour in 30 research points per hour in hydroponics and pemmican so they unlock um, basically research for you so you don't need to research it here but you can see for example we've got progress in psycho brewing pemmican and hydroponics simply from them reading the book as a they do it as a recreation they still read those skill books and the research books as recreation 
but you get the bonus of them either learning the skill or them unlocking research, which is really, really cool. Books are amazing. Stone-faced rats. Caravans are being over the empire, being harassed by a pack of four man-hunting rats. I am sorry. I am sorry, party. The vampire's roulette and a study in water mill generators. No, I'm going to go for the legendary nerf spiker. Heck yeah. Legendary nerf spiker for the win. Mm-hmm. We're going to go for that one. Absolutely. Also, I'm actually going to take this horseshoe pin and put this over here. So that to interact with it, they go outside so they can fill their outside bar a little bit and they don't go, eh, I haven't been outside in forever. Everything sucks. Because they do care about that as well. Unless they're an undergrounder, of course. Sorry. Sorry about the rat. Okay, let's go deal with it, maybe. Okay, that's one dead, two dead, three dead, four dead. There we go. And there comes our delivery. All that legendary nerf spiker inside, please. Yeah, manhunting rats. And they all actually rotted immediately. Wow. That is... Kind of unfortunate, actually. Crazy. Okay, we have lots of rice, though. So we're not gonna... Not gonna run out of food. Now that we don't have to feed our ghoul anymore. How's the tree? The trees are doing well. Oh, yeah, that was the Neanderthal. I was like, who was that? The Neanderthal that raided. Mm, there goes the body. Splooch. How cold is it going to get? Oh, one degree. Ah, we'll be fine. We do need dusters, though. Mm. I guess we'll hunt a little bit because we need the dusters they're playing the first pullout game again hey that's a great game mm -hmm. uh you can chop them down for wood and twisted meat you need twisted meat to make certain serums um later down the anomaly research yeah so they let you make serums and stuff like that because you need the twisted meat for um for the for as a crafting material you're welcome you're welcome mm -hmm. sorry quite useful also you definitely want to get rid of the bodies on your map oh my god a larian fallout game would be amazing mm-hmm I'm just uh, clearing the map a little bit to see if there's any forbidden items around, but we're good. We are good. You was butchered your shift stock. Ah, yeah, that too. Or the side stalkers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that too. Yeah, that is also a way to get it. Correct. Correct. Reading the fragments of nightmares. Oh, gosh. That's wonderful. I don't think I want our seven-year-old to read a book called The Fragments of Nightmares. You're missing your trees. Yeah, now you're in a daze. Well, they're in a daze because of the book. Because they were reading a freaking void study book, which gives you... Um, uh there is a chance they have a mental break when when they're reading it sorry that happened wonderful 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 gg good job bacon meter 
You don't need to learn for a game. You'll take a normal Bethesda Fallout. Mmm. CPP emits a uh, progress studying the monolith. The structure connects normal space to the void, a dimension hidden in the substructure of space time. Some powerful might in the void is leaking influence into our reality. I mean, technically, technically, we could potentially get a uh get an obsidian fallout game because technically they're both microsoft now will it actually happen eh, we don't know but technically it could uh you're hunting shane run shane that's a very hungry lynx we also need to protect Baconator. Oh god. Ooh. Hi, Peter. FG is actually there. Yeah, living six actually. Shot in the brain, and we're to blame more spacecraft junks what the heck bethesda isn't really involved in the show though picks they don't they don't really they don't do anything for the show hello again yes we learned something new today uh p jar apparently brian does not only have problems pronouncing the uh emoticon code for avocado apparently brian also has the problem pronouncing the emoticon card for elephants not how it is yeah yeah but like it's not like he the day-to-day -day stuff for fallout is not really handled by him right that you figured it out you got your stuff sorted nice you were just here yeah you were uh the show is very good yeah people really like it a hammer gets to see you so yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, Bethesda is busy, not with Ashari, Bethesda is busy with Elder Scrolls 6. Because that's what they're working on now. It would not eat the pizza emote on the super chat. Really? Wow, YouTube is biased against pizza. Wow. Wow. That is rude yeah that too they're they're doing post-launch support on starfield um they were part of working on fallout 76 and then they're working on other scrolls because the next fallout isn't slated until after for, uh, the next elder scrolls exactly at least on twitch we can pizza praise exactly let's sell the poor clothing items Yeah, but that's um that's mods. That's all mods. Yeah. Oh, character limitations because you have a card in there and it bugged out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's probably yeah. There's probably a maximum character limit, which I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. The new DLC type stuff. That's all mods, pigs. That's not. That's not Bethesda. Yeah. 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 Like London and all that sort of stuff. That's all a mod. That's so far. Bastard. That's fine. Whatever. It's a mental break because here's a gourmand. Enjoy. They're getting a next-gen graphics update. Yes. Yes. That's true. They are doing that. They left me a steel spear. They are doing that. Again. Yeah. Which is probably more of a smaller amount of death star so yeah the the big amount they will have a small group on that they'll have a small group on starfield stuff they'll have a bigger group doing fallout 76 and then a big chunk will be elder scrolls right now run cpp oh shoot 
Get in there. You're a bit too close. Oh. And then it's already down. Alright. Uh, tent. You clean. There's a lot of dirt in here. That's pretty good tens, actually. Not too bad. Yeah. Um, uh, they added a microtransaction. They paid content currency to buy furniture items. Really now? Oh. Like creation top, uh, creation club type stuff. Ugh. I see. I see. Shamblers. Okay. I mean, it's just going to be cosmetics, right? Not great, because who's going to buy that, like, nine years after launch, but... It, brought, it was so great over there, yeah. I mean... As long as it's just cosmetics... Hmm... But at the same time, there's going to be people who are like, I must have them, of course. And yeah, most overpowered stuff. I mean, if it's just cosmetics, then that's okay. But I don't know if it's just cosmetics or not. If it's actual functional items that are much stronger than what you get normally in game, then that's blech. Luckily, there are still games that do that. Yeah. True grammar. <laughs> Luckily, there are games that still do that. Pay to win single player game. I mean, I don't need to imagine it. Like Dragon's Dogma 2, for example. I mean, that was just the latest in a long line of pay to win single player games, I'd say. Because it allowed you to buy a lot of the things that you could find on the map as well. So, Genshin is not single player though. Yeah, Genshin isn't single player. Wait, Mohoris, why are you... Oh, Home Zone. Yeah, of course. Because that's Home Zones. New lovers, CPP would Shane by comparing her to a bright flower. Shane has finally given in. It just took forever. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey also had stuff like that. Correct. Finally, they've given in. Mm-hmm. Madden. Madden also has, yep, single player booster packs. True, true, true. A flash storm. Okay, that's fine. In my field! Cassie! Come on. Honkai Star Rail. Mm. Yeah, I know. That's why I said. That's what I said, Kodai Ryu. Exactly. That's what I said. Sorry, I may have mumbled. That's what I said. I was like, but Genshin isn't single player. <laughs> because we were talking about pay to win single player games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly, because... It's it's been multiplayer co-op from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's co-op. Most people don't play it that way. True, true, true. Wow, Cassie, like right in my right rice fields. Diablo Four. I mean, Diablo Four is technically multiplayer co-op. Whatever. You can play it that way if you want to. ARPGs just don't vibe with me, unfortunately. I wish they did. But they just don't. They just don't feed that happy, happy spot in my brain. Oh, there's more. There we go. You just deal with that real quick as well. Not that the monolith can burn, but let's just not have fire around, shall we? It's not true co-op, though. Is it not? 
Lady Alana? Because when I played it, you could hang out and do quests together and stuff like that. I don't know, it felt pretty corrupt to me, but then I haven't I haven't tried it since it very first came out. You can know life so hard in ARPGs, but not Diablo 4. Gotcha, PJ. Alright, TX, have a good lurk. Thanks for hanging out. I have not called Iryo, no. No. You would think so, though, that the constant, like, getting better gear type thing would be perfect for dopamine. Now, you can't open chests. You fight together. The loot is not fair spread. Ah, okay. Gotcha. 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 I did not know that. Good to know. Um, because, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, An MMR is basically you play like that as well, right? To you play to get better gear and stats and run dungeons and raids and all that sort of stuff. And I can know life that pretty hard, but in ARPGs, for some reason, it just doesn't. Hamburger man, hello, welcome. I raise you. You say poo poo farts. I raise you butts. Hello, welcome. You might also be stuck in ads right now, but anyways. <laughs> All right, we're not going to trade with that car trade caravan because they're they're just um, you know, royalty trader type stuff. So they don't have anything for us right now that we want. And then we need more stone blocks. We're going to need so many stone blocks. Uh, it's because you have the chest in your own world, so you have to go and get the chest. Oh, I see, I see. Gotcha. 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 I really like the visuals of Honkai, but I've never, I've not, I've not ever dabbled uh, at all. Though I really like the visuals of it. Still no kitty, no. We had kitty yesterday though. Also, all right, all right, Sakun, take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for being here. So maybe we get kitty. Again, there's a chance, right? Right? More kitty, maybe, 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 maybe. We've had more, we've had more success with kitty in the later afternoons recently. Like around two to three. We've had both neighbor ki kitty cat, both neighbors kitty cats, as well as Odin in the afternoons. So maybe then, maybe then. Mm-hmm. Stupid work ruining streaks, right? Right? How dare it? How dare it? Oh. Yeah, we need to we need to get our um starve out of here. We're getting some food poisoning again here and there. Uh oh. Yeah. Take you off of that and have Shane cook. Because Shane is a level six already at this point. But I guess that checks out. Double passion. Oh, that's adorable that's adorable okay what are you at right now 55 percent all right we'll try no nope. we'll try a conversion ritual on baconator shouldn't be too hard to convert a seven year old right it was bliss very nice we saw when we on our walk yesterday we only saw three cats 55 to 5.7, not bad. All right, Quespy, have a good lurk. Silly uni requiring you to study. Thanks for hanging out. Promised them candy. Unfortunately, apparently that didn't work. When animated emotes on YouTube? I don't think you can have animated emotes on YouTube. I don't think YouTube has animated emotes. Yeah, it doesn't. So, unfortunately, not until YouTube says we will get you those. Or we'll get the ability to have those. Uh, they have Theo's book. Uh, but that's just advanced psychic rituals. We don't need that. Might numb serum. Don't want that. Psychic short lands. Nah, we're good. Eat the loud one. Meow, meow, meow. 
Feed the cats. When I tell the YouTubes that we need them. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people have, but unfortunately I don't really, I don't hold much sway with them. Uh, AKA the YouTube. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think me saying, can we get animated emotes please is going to change anything. Unfortunately. All right, cool. Oh, Shane's like, must clean. Must clean the dirt. Of course, we can just immediately remove this from the home zone again so he doesn't run over there try to clean it. Just wanted to... Um... Make that fire not spiral out of control. Mm-hmm. You're cooking again in a dirty room. Cool. The trade caravan left us a gift. An auto pistol. Well, actually... It's a good quality one. So Shane can get that instead of the poor revolver. Oh yeah, for those who weren't here at the start, we actually do have two mods installed. Um, but they don't change much. Um, it's just, don't stop the music because I hate it when there's a break between songs in RimWorld and no force slowdown. So basically, if there's a raid or like a bad situation, I don't get locked into 1x speed because that annoys me as well. But besides that, we're completely vanilla. Mm-hmm. Shane is now throwing a party. Let's go. That's good. Get all that happiness going. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Suddenly a wi a bear. Oh! Mahorus just randomly converted bacon eater as well during the party. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go. How's it going, Web Barista? Good to see you. Aren't there like totemic poles you can build? You can, yes. But they, yes. It depends on um, your idea of religion though, what you can build. I don't deny it, but I'm because I want to get the vibes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just learn the mechanics and see what's like vanilla now versus you know change with mods and stuff like that exactly let's get the vibe for it exactly uh you fell ill oh i'm sorry we barista i hope you feel better soon i hope you feel better soon and i'll see you later um might they be your columns goo because you can check the ideology tab but it might also just be your columns in structures uh pile word will will be shorter than june ah uh, depends depends you're appearing on force slowdowns oh so when you have a raid for example right mahoris it locks you to 1x speed here on the speed it basically gives you like it takes away the ability to play on 2x and 3x speeds and that annoys me because sometimes you have like a raid spawn here and then the game is like okay you're on 1x speed now until the raid arrives. And it's like a snooze fest, basically. Sarah! Sarah! Heck and thank you! What the? FGS go go. 52. 52 months. That's, that's a long time. That's almost four and a half years. You really need to put some clothes on too, because 52 months of streaking with the sub, that is ridiculous. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Hello, hello. It's good to see you. Oh my god, all the quests. Kitty Salvation. Kitty contacts you and requests help. She's wounded and unable to move. She's a 41-year-old Melindra. Three man-hunting Arctic foxes and a threat that we don't know what it is. Yeah. And... The light nexus of our astro architectonics so that's one of our ar uh, artifacts relics uh so we'll accept that quest so we can work on uh getting relics for our ideal religion 
thank you so much, Sarah. I hope you're doing well. You're doing well, though. You are you older today? Heck yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, you said, of course, it's Wednesday. You mentioned because you went out for dinner and you said for your birthday on Wednesday. Happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Zara. Let's go. I hope it's a great day and I hope you have some cake. And happy heckin' birthday. That's awesome. Happy cake day indeed. Yeah. Alright, you're not sharing yet. Oh no. There we go. CPP and Shay need to share. There you go. Because they are now lovers. Okay. We're getting there. On the research thing. You having KFC right now? Kick after. Let's heck and go. Very nice. Very, very nice. No, no, no. It's not my birthday, Hazonku. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Not my birthday. I still have 34 days. I have a little bit longer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have a little bit longer. Yes, Alcar, because uh, we started over, we made our custom ideology, and we picked research slow instead of extremely slow. Yeah. So we have a 75% reduce, like, uh, our research speed is reduced to 75% of tw instead of 25 because. That was driving me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> we also took out scarification and a couple of other things. Uh, but yeah. Bonkers. It was driving me absolutely mad. Zara, thanks for the watch streak as well. Enjoy your extra channel points. It was, it was just bad. We also, to be fair, we also have dabbled or we're, we're progressing a little bit in hydroponics, pemmican and psychoid brewing because we've got books on that topic. Sorry. We're doing some reading every once in a while. Like uh, Baconator is reading about charisma. Already a social of three. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, we don't need to convert you anymore because you've converted to us already, Baconator. Sorry. I'm not going to bother converting Busto because they're just a temporary visitor. They're leaving eventually. If it's a custom ideology, why would you choose slow research at all? Oh, um, if you do the ri ritualistic, the ritualist um, meme, you need to have one of them. You need to either have slow, very slow, or extremely slow. Otherwise, you can't play with this. And this is obviously the new one. So we've got the new one in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have it on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, typing in emote cards on YouTube doesn't work. It's so annoying. Unless you get BTTV and then it works. Because it opens up an emote list. Which I found out yesterday. It's very nice. <laughs> There we go. Okay. A breakthrough in hydroponics. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's fine then. We still need more clothes. Still haven't actually made any dusters. Mm. Let's go get you for now. I guess we actually want more because we'll need dusters for a few people. No clothes required, just sneaky pawns. No, no, our people get unhappy if they don't get to wear clothes. Actually, they get unhappy. Mm-hmm. It's also also a bit cold. It doesn't get super duper freezing, but it does get a wee bit cold, so. They do want clothes, unfortunately. Lazy buggers. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Also, dusters just offer more protection, right? When we're in combat. 
Oh my goodness, everything. All right, mad wild boar, which is see right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say see right now. Our our time is like slowed. Where is it? Ah, down there. Yeah, it keeps happening so much. How dare they reject baptism? That is a fair question. That is a fair question, Budspot. How dare they? And there it goes. And cargo pods. Ooh, hemogen packs. All right. Don't mind if I do, actually. Can Budspot define buttism? <laughs> Probably. I would presume. Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably. All right. You're quite happy now. Yeah, you are happy, happy. You're also hungry. You're also hungry. Why are we all hungry? Why are we all not eating? Things we knew about Rimbot but forgot, didn't think about and rediscovered. Winter vents don't work if trees or buildings are in the marked area. Caravan spots or buildings. See, uh, I did not know that, that a caravan hitching spot is a building. Well, see, today I learned, Silicia. <laughs> today I learned about that. Didn't know that that is a, that, uh, is a building. Really? A caravan hitching spot is a building. No, it works for me. Yeah, no, no, it's not a cat. No, caravan hitching spot is not it. Must be, must be the trees. Oh God, a distant shriek. Everybody go inside. Something is out there. Yeah, so it's not the caravan hitching spot. A proximity detector has detected an invisible creature. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Eee! Something's coming for us. It was you stubbing your toe. To be fair, to be fair, that is very painful. A stubbed toe is very, very painful. Where though? There it is! And it's just chill standing on top of the thingy. How easy it is to get into it? I'm... Uh, I think very Milo, because I'm pretty sure the monolith will still start... Will still be on your map. And, but instead of it automatically activating, you have to actually interact with it to start it. Mm. Need to ask the... Oh, the AI bot to do it. The buttism thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. True, true. There we go. Get you patched up. So yeah, no, it should be, should be fairly easy to uh, get into it. Okay, you're holding the hemogen packs. Wonderful. Hi, Gapian. Are we training bacon to become a how to become a tasty burger? No, we're training them to become a very, very good colonist. Hopefully, eventually. Cheers, Gapian. Thanks for the hydration reminder. Um, sorry. I reckon what happens is um, it lands on your it just lands on your on your time uh, on your tile because this this one does not it spawns on the map but it doesn't spawn on the map because it's on the map it crashes from space onto the map so I guess it'll just crash onto your map quite honestly. I reckon that's that's what that that's uh what'll what ha will happen or would happen. 
Uh, Barbier lands travelers. Three desert refugees are approaching. Uh, their leader is called Barbier land. They claim to have escaped an organ harvesting operation. They beg you for permission to stay so they can rest and recoup. Okay, regroup, not recoup. Recoup as well, I suppose, but also regroup. Okay, we'll get you sorted then, hopefully. Yeah, we'll get you another bed. There you go. Please tell me you don't believe in the stupid tree. Oh my god, why does everybody, literally everybody that comes in, why do they believe in the tree ideology? Let's say start something that just lands after, even without the void start. There you okay. go. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Okay, let's see. Volatile recluse. Ooh. Cannibal body purist. Ooh. A kind Neanderthal. I, they just believe that trees are amazing. And then if you chop down trees and whatnot, they get really upset. Hi, Miss Nova. Good to see you. So yeah, it's uh, it's this one. It's virilism. They believe in trees and how males are great. So if you chop down trees, they get super duper sad. Like minus 20 moods. It's real bad. <laughs> so it... it affects it quite a bit i would take barga the kind person but the other two no thank you if they want to if they want to stay yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, Hunter likes to do Oh, yeah, because you probably got set to hunting. Uh, where is it? Here. No. We do want you to hunt. And you, but not you. And then you also don't do childcare. Exotic goods trader. All right. Uh, you can you can help some research if you want to. Uh, Mahoris, we do want you. Trade with Lisp. Oh, uh, Lips, not Lisp. Apparently, there's more Ambrosia over here. We'll grab that then as well. They have Glitter Good morning, World. everybody, and welcome to the cult. P.S. It's my birthday. Yay, me! No, no, it's not. It's not my, not my birthday. It's good to see you, though. Sorry, I was just distracted by shaping the future of tree sowing following trauma. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll buy a telescope. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. Sure. How's it going, Keeper of Time? Not my birthday. Good morning. So, good to see you. Hello. How are you doing? I missed the two on the page. Oh, thank you. I did. Oh, Eternus, I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Sending you hugs. I'm very sorry. Not one of your best days, but it's like, yeah, I got that, but I'm sorry to hear that. That really, really heckin' sucks. I hope you are eventually okay. Sending you good thoughts and hugs. Yeah, indeed. What is it with this Cassie and heckin' ship chunks? Mana, mana. What? What is it with this? This is. We have so many components. We have 110 components. Uh, what have I been reading? I. Okay, okay. Because I saw that video, I wanted to read the actual, like, underlying book that most of it referenced. So I just finished reading Ultra, Ultra Processed People. It was very interesting. 
And now I'm looking for a new book to read. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, food poisoning. Boo! Yeah, on you. Is it just you? Yes. Okay. All right. We should also definitely change the medicine on them so they don't accidentally use the glitter world meds that we don't have, but the blue meds still. Same. 133 components. I swear, this Cassie is just trying to make us rich with components and ambrosia. Would I like a book for my birthday? I'm never going to say no to books for birthday, yeah. It is, yeah. It is crazy. Have I read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow? I have not. No, what kind of book is it? Uh, Yeah, it's, it's like, it feels like the cooldown timer has been like lowered by a lot and it kind of just goes bam 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 but Rawl actually mentioned something um very important earlier when i was watching him hi panderific good to see you hello and that is that a lot of the um that a lot of the anomaly events don't show up on the event graph and they don't show up a lot of them don't show up as bad events so maybe they maybe that's an oversight that happens because it's enemy raid enemy raid and then manhunter pack manhunter pack shamblers manhunter pack gore hulk enemy raid manhunter pack no sight of the other three times shamblers have a sh have a shown up nor the side stalker event and all that sort of stuff so either they're like on a different different thing or it was there's an oversight that they don't show up in the um in the in the uh in there maybe it's maybe i don't know if it's an oversight or if it's by default yeah exactly alcar that might be influencing yeah you're going to apply to fg silly books for my birthday oh my okay oh boy now i'm slightly worried <laughs> it's about gaming also kind of a love story about like friendship stuff i see Ooh, shamblers all right i uh, will just go in harm zone and then we'll go from there that should be all right yeah, it must be that, I reckon, that they're not quite considered, like, at least they're not considered normal events, so to speak, that are part of the normal timeline. I'll check it. Excuse me. I'll check it out, Platy. That sounds interesting. Hmm... I see. Ah, sounds cool. Yeah, anomaly events, quite literally. I tip my imaginary hat to you. That's pretty good. Still, still kind of a dad joke, Mahoris. So you go to the pungent, but that's a good one. That's a good one. Begrudgingly, that is a good one. Indeed. <laughs> indeed oh god i just oh no okay wait no we didn't we didn't cut down trees recently so our people are not upset at us good like the visitors that are staying for a little bit not super duper long they're only here for a few days and buster is leaving in 2.3 days as well and then we'll be back down to four mm-hmm okay okay buster is busting out of here yeah but once busto leaves we get a different colonist as a quest reward so actually we'll be back to five because we get ed i believe it was joining us right i believe it was ed mm -hmm. that will be 
coming to hang out, which is very nice. I just need to get my hands on solar panels so we get better um, power supply. A Melindra. What the heck is the Melindra background? They often feign sickness in order to avoid his responsibilities while resting in the sick hat he told stories to the children. Okay. It disables hauling and cleaning but gives you plus five social and plus two intellect. Okay. I just wanted to see what that background does because I feel like I've not encountered that one yet. Sorry. Okay, oh yeah, the shamblers are shambling around. And just squeaking in under the event radar. By default or on accident though, that's the question. Shamblers, yeah. They're shambalambalaming it. They're shambalambalaming around. Oh gosh. Hey, solar panels. All right, microelectronics. Let's go. All right. Mm. I didn't really space this out very well. I can tell you that much because I kind of just chucked things in here. But at least, at least we'll get some more power generation going. So we can hopefully turn those back on. I didn't miss it. No, I just didn't. I just didn't quite engage with it. But, uh, yes. All right, we need more steel. But I guess we're restricted. Where are the shamblers? Are they still around? Yes. Hello, Diavalon. Good to see you. Let's deal with them. Woo, that's a bit close. They did come a bit fast at us there. All right. Ooh, they dropped some biofair right. Very nice. Can they hypnotize turrets? No. No. But turrets also don't do much damage to it. But they cannot. Correct. I receive your latest colony falls to a man hunting bunny. Sounds good. Good luck. Have fun. You need to put food in the oven, then we'll ask me book questions. All right. Sounds good. Let's do that. Orbital space drone hack. Uh, contains info of our, about our, one of our relics. Wasters from garbage team will attack. Let's do it. Infection on alligator. Oh no. Space drone incoming. Wow, that's so far away. Rude. Hi, Woodgar. I have not. No. I have not. I, um... Failed yesterday. We died yesterday. Uh, after there was a revenant, and we couldn't we couldn't deal with it. Ultimately, and so we started over. So no, I have not completed it. I've not seen any tier three things. I've seen almost all of tier two, but not everything of tier three. Hi, Oli. Good to see you. Um, how do I like it? I, I'm i not too much into the whole... Um, in, technically, I'm not too much into the whole... Uh, actually, maybe you're better. Oh, but you're... No, you're here. Into the whole um, Cthulhu-type Lovecraftian thing. Because you're fa Are you faster? Oh, you're also 85%. Okay. Um... But at the same time, I like a lot of the systems behind the, like, in, in the background. And, um, as somebody in chat put it, it's kind of growing on me like a fleshy tentacle. You know what I mean? 
so so yeah it's kind of growing on me do you know a bumblebee is made up of 22 body uh, parts and one of them is the bleeby food binge really oh come on dudes we're busy major break risk on mahoras why low psychic drone lovely you're also hungry there eat that eat that raids are arriving in point three point two point one hours raid ha oh it's one person it's lutzer florian lutzendorf that is a very german name oh my goodness that is a very 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 german name No, because Lovecraftian stuff is not SCP, though. Death. That is not SCP. I, SCP, I actually vibe with a lot more than Lovecraftian things. Funnily enough. Uh, yeah, because Cosmic Horror is not really SCP, but yeah. Mm-hmm. You reckon Lovecraft will love it though? Possibly. Possibly. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna let you go chill for a little bit and then we'll go uh research again when the uh when the sun's out. Cause that'll help. Oh yeah, you're still. Um I should be able to draft you though, and then tend you at least. So it stops yelling at me. How's your infection? Not bad. Oh. It didn't say that more would be coming, but apparently more are arriving. Lovecraft also uh, definitely... I mean... Obviously, obviously character of their time. They're also not the most unproblematic character. Let's say it that way as well. Also not a good writer. <laughs> Fair. Okay. No. Why are you... No. Eat here. And then go. And hack the space drone. Oh, you were doing that. You can haul... The writer yeah he also wasn't a nice guy exactly exactly yeah we need to finish this before the next raid comes and it gets to check yeah hit the vampire attack event for the first time it was like what do i do what do i do remember it was like hey you know they're weak to fire on uv and yet an imp join nice very good very good mm-hmm you're a bit salty. You can never put your balcony rubbish in the plant stuff recycling bin because your railings just shed the varnish. For oh, most people got hired to paint those sucked. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, fair. Ah! That's annoying. Uh, what kind of books are my favorite? Oh, gosh. Do you mean like fiction type stuff? Um... I read a lot of sci-fi and fantasy type stuff. Really? Why are you not attacking? Because you couldn't see him. All right, fair. Yeah, that is sort of my... my. I read a lot of that. And then I kind of just scroll through Kindle Unlimited and check what's like... Included and in what doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> All right, Busto gets in the shuttle, right? This is for Busto, yeah, okay. And you finish this because it's almost done. Oh, yeah, I, I do, I do kind of do that. I don't tend to read much like. Like detective crime stuff. I don't really do that. Uh, romance can be very hit or miss. For me personally. 
Um, yeah, kind of that. Overall, quite a lot of fantasy type things, sorry. Jane is trying to leave, but being scared by the space drone. There we go. Is CSC based on SCP? No, no, it's not. I mean, SCP also has... SCP is more... Horror than cosmic horror. No, I have no idea what that who that is. <laughs> Actually, Platy. <laughs> no. I don't tend to raid super high fantasy. That can be very hit or miss. If 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 it's fantasy where it's like you open up the book and it's like here is a hundred page exposition that you need to read before you understand the world, it's uh a bit a bit stuff also hi calico um it has plenty of cosmic horror yeah it's yeah but you wouldn't call scp lovecraftian though welcome back rita no lord of the rings does not have 100 pages of exposition i know you don't like it but it doesn't have 100 pages of exposition There is a lot of descriptiveness in it, but it doesn't have like a hundred where it's like the realm was divided into four states and these four states were called blah, 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 blah. They were all very different, blah, 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 you know. Oh, shoot. Basto needs to go. Go. Sorry. Sorry, Basto. I forgot to send you. But uh, yeah, if world building is done well, I like it. But if it's like hundred pages of exposition just vomited onto the page. That's a bit difficult. That's that can be very annoying. Um, all right. Lies on the rice plants again, of course. Uh, all right. Sorry, we've done that quest. We've done that quest. The refugees are gone, and now we have a blight. All right. When we got Ed, we got Ed as a reward for having Basto stay here. They are a neurotic teetotaler. And they're pretty decent. Yeah, but I'm talking about page uh, words on a page, not people. Yeah, I'm talking about words on a page, not people doing that. Here, could you, like, maybe just deal with that? Hey, blame chat. It's not my responsibility, Omrid, as I've said. Blame chat for that. They have stuff that can be considered cosmic horror. Yeah, some of th that that I would say. Some of the creatures in SCP can have cosmic horror descriptions and tendencies, but overall the entire premise is not cosmic horror. Not like Lovecraft's idea of it. The long way to a small angry planet. Aww. That sounds like a cute description. There we go. Just do that. And then you can go back to building. All right. There we go. There we go. Seven me stuff and names and such. I expect you to read through pages and pages of lore. Yeah. Hi, Pumo. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Also, also stuff like... Um, Where it's just like, okay, I'm going to describe the world to you. Here's a map. And it's like, the fell woods near the, I don't know, autumn, spring, blah, 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 blah. But that, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's, uh, some of the descriptions can just be kind of just, oh, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, oh, tell me, get me interested in the story first and the people in the story before you tell me where everything is which is important i get that but like pacing pacing is important no 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 maps no 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 i'm i'm not saying that maps are bad maps are good but the way it's done 
sometimes can be very bad. Like, when you get the whole, um... You know, if you have no connection to the world and the characters in the world yet, don't tell me where everything is because I'll forget. Yeah. And I don't care. Until you've engaged me, I don't care. Right? And the engaging is uh, what's going to take a while. But yeah, we're very much going... This is totally not how I normally play RimWorld, but this DLC is making me play and built my base this way, by the way. Normally, I don't build my bases like this. I like open bases, but um, this DLC, I'm traumatized from yesterday. So we're going inside and hiding things. Okay, you're a shooter of 10. I'll give you the legendary nerf spiker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Accuracy close and short, 100%. Let's go. Security bunker style. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, exclamation mark join if you haven't yet because we need to get a name for ed ed needs a name are you the, our best miner no you're not okay there we go get you like that there you go jumping on in let's go hey starbuck and boomer hello sanderson mistborn is a pretty great world builder oh like, for example, I love, like, Lord of the Rings. I love it. It's just, yeah. It can be very hit or miss for me if I get into a thing. Okay. Mmm. Ooh, that does sound interesting. All right, all right, all right. You've piqued my interest. That does sound interesting, yeah. Your list is long, gotcha. Okay, so they lock themselves inside. GG. <laughs> That's fine. We will put a door here. Do I have a pawn in RimWorld? Technically. Practically no. So what that means is I bought the name in game pack years ago. Submitted a name which got denied. And then I never resubmitted a different name. So I could, or maybe I, I could also have resubmitted a game name, but I forgot which one it is. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember if I did or not. And I don't know if you can check if you did it or not. Oh, we didn't actually need that wall there. So yeah, uh, da, 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 a solid maybe. <laughs> Yeah, uh, very early someone was a uh... well what is very early there are you tell yeah you think platy will get tonight i don't think so because platypus as a first name would totally flow with tribal naming conventions because a lot of tribals are um named after animals so i think that would work oh yeah okay yeah yeah i did it pre-royalty true yes i did yeah have a look at the honor uh honor and harrington books from david uh weber great character development i have to i have to check it out yeah it's it's i'm i can never tell whether or not something will pique my interest once i read it so, but I'll check it out. Mm hmm They told you yours was approved a couple months ago, but it's not in the game yet. Anyone know how often? I knew every few months, but it's random. I guess they've probably been busy with the DLC, so maybe with the next... batch in a couple of months, I reckon? But I don't know when that would be. CVP has completed the study of the monolith. The structure is a conduit that links to the void, a reality hidden under every point in space-time. The void is inhabited by a vast machine intelligence of a terrifying complexity that surges with nightmarish, inhuman rage. Its influence creates horrors in our world. Awakening the monolith will fully open the conduit. 
With the channel open, CPP believes he could reach through the link to permanently close it or find a way to harness the dark power. Uh, hi, Alana! Good morning! I tried the Dresden Files and the first kind of... The first, the first um, page already put me off. The uh, the description just put me off. Because there are some... Some of the stuff that's like in the literally on the very first page is kind of like me. Yeah, somebody just... Re um, Recommended that to me as well, Kalidi on YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, there there's dress and files I tried because I was like, so many people love these, but the first page description is just like, ugh. Just icky. Kinda icky. Just kinda ugh. like the way the character is painted is kinda icky. Hi Rico, good to see you. Gets better towards book three. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. And, like, the opinions of the character that get, like, displayed, so to speak, or talked about. Mm -hmm. Your name was accepted first try. What is your name? Is your name, is your nickname an actual reference to Alana Orama? Because I tried FG and FG got denied. Like, like, FG just straight up got denied. Yeah, 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 yeah. That too, Calico Cobalt. Yeah. Which I can understand. Like, I went, like, with a first name. Just normal first name. Normal last name. And then as a nickname, FG. And that got denied. You went with Alana... Okay, yeah. Because I went with, like, normal first name. Normal last name. And then just FG as the nickname. And that was denied. But this was... Maybe even... That was just after Steam release. So a long time ago. Sleepy P has got the flu. Oh boy. Alright, we already got you, apparently. Uh, if you see, I gotta tell Silver Kafka, that's you. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, maybe I just have to try again. The same problem with Dexter. Books are more fantasy. She was just kind of charming, but awkward. Ah. Uh. Why, Rico? Ew! Why? No! Bad Rico. No, we started over. We died to a revenant yesterday that we could do nothing against. No, no, we had to start over. Don't be confused that we have c people that are named the same. It's just they rejoined the colony. Like, they joined our same colony. Like, they just got randomly pulled again from the bots because hacksering and all sorts of things. Rico, no! That's the best reason to stop, not buy more. Don't do it, Rico. Oh, well, you're not mining because there's some cultist hand ch hate chanters. Chat, please don't do it. The dusty compound. Okay. I like the computers you can collect. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll accept that, but we don't have to go there just yet. <laughs> don't do it, chat. You always die to a revenant. Yeah. My problem is that I had zero fire. I had zero weapons against the revenants. Zero. I had, I had no fire, no EMP, no fire form, no nothing. Because, like... Um, my research was so slow. So slow. I could just not get anything done. This is ridiculous. So yeah, I, I, we died a very slow death and it was not fun. I actually complained about it a bit. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. But Rico, think about how many shoes you could buy. If you didn't. Okay, they're attacking now. Run! Let's go. Let's go. 
The pack packs are 980 and they're going up to 12 euros. That's that's pricey. <laughs> you don't need shoes, but Rico loves shoes. I know, I know, play Banosh. But but might be a good thing to think about. <laughs> Okay, nerf spikers, pretty good. Shoes is always a valid argument. I mean, I know Rico loves shoes. Anyways, so... Yeah. Every, every time you do, life happens. That's the, that's the problem. Life will always happen. So, I, I know that's really difficult. But... Under Thrall Grunt. Gosh. You kind of have to try to decouple from that because life will always happen, which is really I know. It's Friday, Friday. I get it. Gotta get down on Friday. But ultimately, life will always happen. Yeah. All the smoking aids burnt your throat. So like vaping and stuff. You mean picks? Have you tried? Have you tried patches? I know it's really hard as well. Yeah, I know it's really hard. I get it. I will delicate wimp. Why are they both genies? Oh, odd. Your ADHD doesn't like the vaping. You're allergic to adhesive. Arr. Okay, that's. Gotcha. That that's that makes it difficult. Yeah. You start once before. That just means you can do it again. Okay. Um, anyways, anyways, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that person. You're an adult, you know. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 not here, not here, not here, not here. You are all adults, but, 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 but I encourage you to take care of your health. You're in, you're in Germany, right, Hammer? Mm-hmm. I'm actually amazed that Germany did it before the UK. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. I'm actually amazed that they did it before the UK. The regulation in Germany is stupid. Well, but... It is decriminalized mostly. Sorry. Yeah, it's very, there's a lot of bureaucracy involved. Come on, it's Germany. It's just how Germany works. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's mostly doable for most people. Yeah. It is the most German law since German tax card. It is very German. Yes. Yeah. Do I like hats? No, I don't because uh, I have a very big head. So all hats never fit me right. I should buy. I need to buy a hat for when we go on vacation though, because the sun is going to be brutal. But I don't generally like hats. Because I have a giant head. And it's always really annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's turn the lights on in here. And we'll convert our prisoners. Mm -hmm. And basically you feel closed in. Gotcha. Alright, so what we're going to do is... We're going to... Mm hmm. I feel like you don't have a big head when you try on hats. Yeah, same, same. It's like I try it on, and I'm just like, this should fit. And then it's like, ow, ow, nope. Yes, exactly. We're gonna name Ed. So pick random. Who's this? It's Pike! FG's birthday. It's not my birthday! Hi, Cat Hairs! Good to see you. It's not my birthday. But there we go. We have joins. And then 
I'm gonna go take a quick break because I need a heck and pee. So I'm gonna go pee. And uh, then we'll be back and we'll be playing, we'll play more RimWorld. Thank you all so much for being here and hanging out. Very, very much appreciated. If you're new here, make sure to hit the follow button so you can find your way back here again in the future. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe over there. Also, check out the rest Discord, Instagram, etc., etc., etc. Enjoy the tunes and I will be right back. Thank you so much for watching. Somebody. I never thought it'd be so hard, yeah Even though I'm the one that broke us, broke us apart, yeah Now I'm seeing her, watching you, never felt so lonely, babe I wanna be there next to you I keep missing us, miss your touch, missing your body, babe Closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now I will soon make a move some 
All right, all right, I'm back. Sorry. That uh, took a second longer. But the laundry was almost done, so I was like, I'm gonna wait two more minutes and then just chuck it in the dryer. Because then it's sorted and done and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. And then accidentally forget it, because I would probably forget it, and then it sits in the washing machine for a while, and then you don't want that, right? Sorry. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate it. Hi, Al. Morning. Thanks for the watch streak. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. All right. I am back. Sorry. Yeah, you don't want stinky laundry. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. I just had to put it in there. You just did that with your laundry. Almost the forgetting. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to do that. Exactly. Okay, we are going to dismantle this makeshift prison because we don't need that anymore. Uh, it's very hot. Yeah, see here in the UK, it's usually very wet. Sorry, it usually doesn't <laughs> dry very well unless you live in a windy... If you have a sunny, windy garden, then you can get lucky. All right, Mole has got... An infection in the torso. Okay, we've got that treated. Good. All right. Well, considering we've got these two folks, I reckon we probably immediately want more bedrooms. Because ideally we have both of those join us. Plus all the colors that we already have. So we might as well just get this sorted. Mm -hmm. You have vegetables again. They suck. Oh, I'm sorry you don't like them. But good on you for trying. Good on you for trying. I'm sorry that you're not liking them. Hey, Night Howler. Thank you for the heckin' raid. Appreciate it. Hi. How's it going, Raiders? Thank you so much for coming on over. Sorry that there is no alert, but unfortunately, people abuse one and two Raider rates to get free shoutouts. Um, so I had to turn that off because it's being stupid. Hey, Georgie, welcome. Oh, Supermarket Sim. Nice. That's a very chill, fun game. Thank you so much for the raid for coming on over. I really heckin' appreciate it. I hope you had a wonderful stream. It's lovely to meet you if you're coming on over here for the first time. I'm FG, I tend to play a wide variety of mostly indie games. And we're exploring the new Rimworld DLC. It's our day four. We had one colony that died. Yeah, now we try again. We played it IRL for five and a half years, no thanks. The good thing is, playing something as, like, playing it versus doing it IRL is very different. But thanks for coming over, and hi, Georgie. Lovely to meet you. All right, we're just straight up getting more bedrooms. And I'm also just realizing they don't actually get cool, though, from this side. Hmm... Hi, Nedwella! You can cast them out without, without being fired. True. Yeah, we're gonna need so much steel. We're gonna need all the steel that we don't have. Because our only miner is unfortunately a level 2. So, uh, not very effective. Oh yeah, you've got the flu, of course, as well. Your certainty is 1.1. .1. Your infection is going very well, though. Iron willed. Yeah. Okay. I was like, why? Okay. Iron willed. That's going to take a while. If you're, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Nari, that's all right, Night Howler. All good. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, Nari. Yeah. No, please, Chow. Don't melt it. Please, please don't melt it. Please not. Good to see you, though, Chow. How are you doing today? And thanks for the raid again, Night Howler. Very much appreciate it. 
Not sure if I want you in my colony, Alcor, after what happened yesterday. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Right? Goose the same. It's like, Alcor, no, don't do it. It's not my birthday, Rochella. I have 34 more days. Can you melt the solar? I mean, they would melt. Yeah, they're 70% flammable. So yes, they would melt. They would. Okay, 66% tanning quality. 58. You're almost there. Yeah, you made it. Hi, Scott. Good to see you. Hello. Oh, I didn't see that you were lazy. Wait. Well, actually, you're normal. You're you're just zero because uh, global work speed plus twenty percent for being neurotic, global work speed minus twenty percent for being lazy. So you actually just you're just a little bit more stressed than the average colonist. Fair enough. For a very 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 long time, Alcar. Yeah, they've they've not they. I don't think they've ever done it. Oh yeah, you can you you can build solar panels because they're low on the ground in front of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You would think you would think that they do, but they don't. Okay, recruits. You've converted. Pigskin are attacking. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Uh caravan spots are not. I just tried that out um Scard. Uh no, sorry, blind coder. Hi, 520. They are. I just put a caravan... You mean a caravan hitch... Do we... Okay, question. Do you mean caravan hitching spots? Or what do you mean? Because they're fine. Somebody said that earlier. You think with early morning eye burning sensation? Because you stayed up too late, I see. But they're fine. No, I see. They don't affect it. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said that, but they're actually fine. At least on my end, they don't seem to interact. But maybe there's a mod messing things up, to be fair. That does happen. Wait, where did the... Oh, down here. Piggy, Sausage, and Stub. Some of the pigskin names are very on the nose. Okay, I'm just gonna allow tool the map real quick just to get rid of any extra corpses. And, uh, all right. Let's go get him. Oh, you are Sapis, of course. No, P. Joe, it's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. No, no, no. Okay, got you in melee. You go there. You go here. You go there. You melee them. Hi, sign. Good to see you. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Okay, and you're leaving. On a jet plane. Yeah. I am doing great, actually. Yeah, having a good day. You lost a thumb. Dang it. Uh, gonna get up to some cool shenanigans on stream in the next few days. And just doing right overall. Mm-hmm. Did you know why pigs can act great at track and field? Because every 30 feet they get another go. I don't get it, Elmoran. Sorry. Can someone come by and carry a couple of bags of old potting soil into the bins? They are heavy. Divide them into smaller bags, CCP, so you can carry them. 
Oh, headache. I'm sorry. I hope the headache goes away soon. Could you put them in smaller things? Unfortunately, that doesn't work, Mark. I tried. I can't see random users. So... It's because of the chat over there. Hi, Kazan! How are you? Good to see you. Make another mess. Yeah, but you're not gonna hurt yourself. The bags are not gonna rip. How's it going, Kazad? American foot court footballs are called pigskin. Really? I've never heard that. Okay, fair. Thank you. Thanks for explaining. You've got done with work. Let's work. Let's go. Very good. Very good. Nice. Time to chill. Hi, Alos. Welcome. Uh, vampires. Remember what they're called? Oh, in this game, sanguifages. Yeah, they're sanguifages. Go get some coffee. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. We have hemogen packs. They just dropped in a drop pot. No, we are uh, ritualists. So we're doing all the new... Uh, we're architect architect ritualists. So we're doing all the new creepy crawly stuff. Mm-hmm. They just dropped in a drop pot. Cassie was like, here, have some blood. So you can paint the tile red or something. I don't know. Hey, Great Nash, good to see you. How are you today? Mm-hmm. New blood, blood rain. No, 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 no blood rain just yet. Please, no. 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 Not yet. I'm not ready yet. The new stuff is so wild. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. You have an inspiration on... Okay. Medical inspiration. Very nice. 68. Yeah. Leopard is going to take a while because iron willed. Is Sleepy Pee back? Hi Shane! Thanks for the pictures! Do we know without spoilers if the totally creepy drones have multiple ways the events can go? I don't know, honestly. Sorry, I have a the hair tickling my chin again. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know. But I'd be okay with chat answering that question. If chat knows, I'm totally okay with you answering that question. I don't think that. Yeah, I'm totally fine with you answering that. I don't mind knowing that if they can go different ways. Luckily, they don't really... They are not very common over here, Uli. Sorry. Yeah, all good. Ooh, where'd you get a golden kappa? Nice, let's go. Let's go. Very nice. Ah, we've got enough but oh we do also need to convince fg's birthday to convert the answer is eldritch screaming noises yeah that's true it is you've seen a couple of different variants of the pawn type genius time is try etc seems like they stick around and then wander off okay gotcha gotcha all right convert 78 okay not too bad not too bad now, maybe because the rest hasn't triggered yet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm hmm Also, also, heck, isn't Team Lapse Planets just awesome, Shane? Like, it's so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Yeah, we need to get we need to get defenses going here soon because uh, they'll keep targeting these er this area because of our bedrooms. There are different ways it can go. Okay, cool, got it. Hey, Doctor is hi, hello, Benongos. Oh my goodness, Benongos in the chat. Good to see you. Hi, welcome. Hello. 
You want some nuggies? I don't have any nuggies. I'm sorry. Let's go. There we go. Boop. You have three copies of your moral guide. The obvious you're studying has copied him twice now. <laughs> Apparently, there are ways that you can get to keep the copies around. It didn't work out for us yesterday, but apparently there is a chance, so... Very nice. <laughs> Alright, let's chop wood here. Let's not chop the anima tree, though, please, FG. Maybe if we can avoid that. Best you can get is Huggies. Mm-hmm. Ah, you can replace the organs. Gotcha. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Huggies the diapers. Oh. I mean, depends. Have they been used or not? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Again, eating. <laughs> Rip Platty, no food for you. No food for you today. No vegetables allowed. <laughs> uh, I need somebody who can mine. I really do. Stealing organs is easier when they're in a coma. That checks out, yep. Yeah. Oh, you're also up and up and about now. All right. You need a table and a chair. Bloop. That is quite risky, to be fair, yeah. Sometimes we'll discuss delicious things. Sometimes we don't. Unless it's the brain failing. True. Yeah, absolutely, Shane. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for the pictures. And uh, sleep well. Go get some rest. How many days do you have left? Uh, before you go but yeah thanks again for the pictures and sleep well thanks for being here like left in japan not how many days have you left until whatever thanks for the follower welcome three days oh no has it really been that long already oh no i'll make the best of them make the best of them i'm so jealous enjoy enjoy That sounds dark without context, which is why I clarified off your vacation in Japan. Because <laughs> it does sound very dark. Yes, yes, it does. I may have realized that after setting, uh, set, saying set, said things. Mm-hmm. I love how the child is drawing in the prisoner cell. Oh, Lord. But you're pretty happy overall, so let's go for that. So are you. I think mole 55, 57. All right, it's because of the inhumanization thing that they've gone through. Because these are former cultists, so we're trying to join them, uh, recruit them so they can join our cults in game other than that this is not a cult chat no 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 it's not shush you i guess we don't really need to mark these for harvesting yeah it's because Good of morning everybody no to the cult. no 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 yes. it's my birthday Yay! it's because of this because it affects social interact inter interactions they don't really care Sorry, it takes a very long time to convert them. Can't wait till payday on Friday. Pick up the DLC. Let's go. It's, it's, it is, as said, as chat said it, growing on me like a fleshy tentacle. <laughs> At first, it was kind of a bit eh, because the whole cosmic horror thing is not quite my vibe, but I like a lot of the underlying systems that it adds. So it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's getting there. 
All right, we have a couple more traps over here. We're trapping this up because bedrooms. Sappers will um, target your bedrooms. So we're putting traps there to deter them a little bit. That sounds like a loot if you've ever hurt one. No. I would never. Hi, Wassum. How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, I, I'm not quite such a cosmic horror thing person. Not really, but it's it's definitely added some interesting things. Being ethical, yeah, if you're doing the whole void like study stuff, being you it forces you to be so evil. Oh my god. I'm playing so far out of my comfort zone, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Like overall, I'm playing very much out of my comfort zone for Rim World. But that's not a bad thing necessarily. So, you know, changing it up a little bit is not is not a bad thing. I swear, there is just a ghost hair tickling me. Different it's very different experience, yeah. You're the tired, gotcha. Can you have a nap or no chance? Hi Chicken Ninja, good to see you. How are you today? Good to see you. Splash. Oh, uh, that's fine, sorry. That can burn. That's a I. That's a good question. That is a very good question. <laughs> Do they? Maybe. Started a nap during lunchtime, but got called on the phone. No, that's so unfortunate. Ugh. Whoa. Another? But 106 toxic waste. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's annoying. I'm sorry. That sounds frustrating. Hi, Waima. Thanks for the, uh, for the watch streak. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hopefully after work. Cheers. Uh, with uh, your anomaly owners doing the default. Fluid idio with charity. Gotcha. So probably another day, but still with all the new things. You can do. You can do such horrid things now. Enjoy. <laughs> Once you get it. Um. So we're fluid. Uh. We're archaeotechnical plus ritualist. So we are still doing all of the void stuff um we just we just made it a little bit less harsh ha uh, less harsh less harsh or less harsh in that we lowered the research speed to slow instead of very slow um yeah and obviously we venerate thrombos duh so but we made it fluid so we can adjust it uh you know on the go like as we're playing along so yeah we can do we can do some things yeah and whatnot we're definitely progressing a bit faster with research and stuff like that than last time because 25 percent oh my goodness yeah yeah that is that was a snooze fest in terms of research speed we we played to like 5505 or 5506 or something like that and we got two researches done two three three because one because of a book and everything out yeah it was it was rough it was really rough the golden thrombo yes i hope we get to see the golden cube eventually That'd be cool. Quest available drone data hack. All right. Garbage team will attack every eight hours. Okay. Please don't land super duper duper close. Uh, super duper far, I mean. Okay. That's closer. All right. Shane, let's go. Also, Cassie is sending us more chip chunks because we only have 134 components we need more apparently 
when is the F adventure mode dropping? Sometime today, but I don't know when, Rico. Love playing tribal because it's even slower. Yeah. Tribal research speed plus the research speed lowering because of the ritualistic ideology. You're going to take forever. That's going to take forever. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it, Pix. This Cassie is just trying to butter us up. I'm weary, very, very weary. You found a book that makes Biofarite when you read it. That's heckin' awesome. Does it hurt your colonists while it's doing it? Or is it just making it out of thin air? She is, she is ramping up the attack points. Yep. Cassie? C Cassie, where's the raid? It, there should be a raid right now. Cassie? Where, ha, ca where, how, where's my raid? My raid hasn't arrived. 0.35 biofair power and like a 5% chance of mental break. Okay. Yeah, but this is like a scripted event. Like, we're space drone hacking. There should be raids every eight hours. It's probably two people or less. Ah, <laughs> nice, Oli. Yeah, that should be happening right now. Hi, Bunny Hedger. Where's the kaboom? The kaboom comes... Ah, there it is. You are late! Off. And... Isimiel, you are late. Cassie forgot. Honestly, uh... Yes, I think so. Okay. You've got melee and you've got melee. Nerf spike as a glorious, by the way. Hey, Sir Budsworth. Good to see you. Ancient danger. You can handle that. Uh our Uh our Rip colony, Arnor. Can you reload? Peglek. Fast walker chemical fascination. Eh. Can, can you can you sneakily reload? There we go. I'll take your clothes. Rip. Or colony. But then I lost mine yesterday too, so you know. Oh no, wait, wait, not Shane. Um Oh, you are the one who's hurt. Okay. Um Oh hurt. Oh, you just got bruised. CPP can do that. Yeah, you eat and then hack. Ancient Donga. Raise your donkers in the chat. Wait, what? That's like a throwback to like ancient Twitch culture. Hi, Walk the Void. No, I haven't yet. I will hopefully with this one though. Yesterday I just didn't because we had the Revenant run around our colony and there was nothing I could do about it. So I didn't want to start like with new people over in the same spot because I feel like um I wouldn't have like I wouldn't have been able to um defeat uh the 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 rev uh, the revenant what does it do obviously spoilers for those who haven't encountered it yet it, it hypnotizes your colonists one by one. Every night it hypnotizes one. Um, the crazy thing is that it can just walk through... It can just walk through doors. So you can't hide inside unless you wall up the door. And the only... It's very, 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 very strong. Like it has insane HP. 
The only things that actually work against it are fire, fire farm, EMP, and explosives. And uh, we had none of those. Like, we were just stuck, basically. So, blech. Including security doors, yes. Fight now, but the soil's gone. Hey, GG, CCP, well done. Yeah, go, go be potat. Go make a soup and potat. We'll see you later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go be potat. Mm-hmm. It's also invisible, yes. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. Shane, get over there. We'll see you later. All right. And kaboom. Quest completed. But uh, there is a reason I now, uh, I'm, I, the first EMP nades that I saw this playthrough, I bought. They're very insecure doors, yes. At least when it comes to that. So yeah, yesterday was kind of just really icky. Uh, in the end. Hi, Mike. Good to see you. How are you doing today? All right, how's Baconator doing? Growth tier six. Let's heckin' go. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Cool. Exhaustion. Yeah, probably you. That makes sense because I forced you to work through the night. Sorry, Shane. Also, feed the trees. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. They tried to convert FG birthday. We are doing the pool thing. Always and forever. Yeah. We might have to arrest FG's birthday though. Because it's taken so long. Where do you see growth tier? You click on the child. And then down here in the bottom left corner. Growth tier right there. Thanks for the watch streak. So yeah, they're at uh, growth tier 6, which is pretty good. Enjoy your extra channel points. What's the bit goal for? The bit goal is for Lex to wear a onesie on stream on Friday. Mm-hmm. Because we're playing Planet Crafter with Lex for the second half on Friday. And... Uh, yeah. He'll wear a onesie. Basically, it's to monetize my husband. That's what the goal is for. <laughs> uh, you know, you can you can decide what we wear. It's very very totally normal, right? Mm-hmm. Bobs have arrived. Oh, Bobby Alan has contacted you. 13 days ago, you helped her in desperate circumstances. She got back on her feet and she wants to reward us for a death rest capacity serum. I have a feeling the game wants us to be vampires. Mm-hmm. One day you'll drop the money by the Rumble DLC, but first Mana Lords. It's gotta be a little bit longer though. Mana Lords is the 26th, right? But indeed, indeed. And that is also coming this month. Because everything is releasing this month for some reason. Like everything. Yeah, the annoying thing with the bit goal is you can't actually title it on Twitch. Which I found out after the fact. So unfortunately, I, 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 had to, I made a command rather than the whole, um, like writing it in there, like how we do it with the sub goal, which is onesie goal for FG. Ooh, that does sound interesting. All right. Wow, it was ineffective. He's now more certain in his beliefs than he were before. Ugh. When new sponsor reveal? Um, probably... Maybe Friday or Monday. Depends. It depends on when, because contracts need to be sorted and whatnot. 
you know. The staff needs to be signed, sealed, and not delivered, but decided. <laughs> The one we want to compete against GTA. Oh, later this year? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not not today. Not today just yet. Because I... um. Well, yes. It's like... It will happen. Yes. But I can't officially announce it until I have all my stuff, right? But it will definitely happen. Because... They've said yes, we've said yes, I've said yes. Sorry, it's gonna... Mm -hmm. Yes, we've got a new sponsor deal. It's, it's a limited one for just a month, but... Uh, sponsor hype! <laughs> no, not mugs, sorry. Forex cultists, oh my. They want to use a ritual uh, to abduct a colonist. How cheeky. No, that'd be so hype. That'd be so hype, Rico. Okay, you go get Finch. Jane, move. These ones are hurt. They actually really heck and hurt. Are you like Neanderthals? No. I. Oh, but they probably are. Yeah, they have. Whoa. You have inhumanization, but you have inhumanization and a bliss lobotomy. Hopefully nobody's gonna get kidnapped. Okay. How are we doing? No immediate danger. Shoot, you lost a toe. You lost an eye and your nose. Oh my god. Gladi are uh, kind of ridiculous. Shoot. The ritual looks cool. Yes. 75. Yeah, no. Uh, CPP. Tend to Bohoras. Shane, tend to FG's birthday. Like, right now. Stop. Yeah, we lost a lot of body parts here. Um, Sleepy P... Uh, one moment. Bloop. And pick up all of that. You tent. You. What does it do? Um, so it's a ritual that they... Like it's a thing that you can do. It's like a ritualistic thing. And it affects the colonists. Um, I'll read it out in just a moment for you. So what it does, because the two people that we have in prison also have it. Um, it reduces. So it's uh, this person's mind is dominated by the psychic patterns of the void. They are completely disconnected from human concerns of family, friendship and love. Their experience of reality is distant and muted, guided by the psychic rhythm of a dark hyperintelligence. They feel 50% less pain. They don't really do social. Their minimum comfortable temperature is lowered by minus 16 degrees. They they have minus 12 to animals, social and artistic, and they don't have any needs for beauty or being outdoors. Yes, um, Sleepy P is still bleeding. And you're very slowly starting to bimble on in. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cray cray. All right, we finished Psycho brew, uh, Brewing through reading about it yeah and then cpp is also the horse is like stop it must fix you up 
Okay, we lost a few body parts there because Gladi are ridiculous. If you've got a high level melee fighter. So uh, we're going to heal up for a little bit here. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Your cat got stuck in the blanket. Oh. I. Cute. Mm-hmm. Silly kitty. Alright, Baconator. Clean the barracks. Yeah, that sucks. That eye on our doctor is icky. No, you're not a doctor. No, you are a doctor. Yeah, that sucks. We'll have to replace it. We'll have to replace it. Uh, can you... Yeah, because you can't do wardening. Can you... No. Strip mole. Deliver foods. And foods. Just make sure that our prisoners don't, like, die. Oh, are we out? We are... Out of meals now. Of course. We also have over 200... Ambrosia. Oh my god. I just realized we have 234 Ambrosia. That's ridiculous. Hi, Waffenhorst. Good to see you. You should be banned from Nonogram Picross apps. Why? Because they take over your brain or because you make good ones? Also, it's good to see you. Hi. Hello. Growth tier 7. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Two passions from four options and one trait. You lose days with your life without noticing. Gotcha. You could use like a lockout mechanism where your foreign doesn't let you access those apps for a specific set of hours. Like, I don't know, between like, I don't know, 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. or something like that. You could try that. But I also know you could just download a new one. But yeah. Yeah. You could try it at least. Maybe. Alright. Mahoras. Now nah, consciousness at six, 96%. How's your talking? 96 That's fine. Uh, okay. What'd you bring me? Did you bring me anything good? Uh, all right, have a knife and a club and a knife and a gladius and a mace and a mace and a steel club and a mace and a gladius and a mace and a spear and some short bars, awful revolver, poor revolver, talk snakes. I'm keeping the fragnates, take the terrible clothing items. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it definitely does. Yeah. Hi, Mina! Morning! Good to see you! Hello! How are you today? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Take that. Take the yayo. I'll keep the wake up. For now. I know I could just type in a number, but I'm too lazy to type in a number, so I'm just clicking. There you go. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy your emotes, Mina. I was trying to have seeds that you had to trade for them to get different crops. There's mods for that. Oh god, gore husk. Uh, gore hulk assault. Hide inside. Oh god. Mm. 
Making coffee. Let's go. Coffee hype. Okay. We're just gonna let the uh, trade caravan deal with that. Wow. They murderized those very quickly. Distress signal. We could go and do that, but... Oh, no. Anyways, yeah. Uh... I was really hoping that some of them would fall over so I could get the loot, but apparently not. Apparently no loot for us. So, there is that. No loot for us. We'll just let them have it for now, I guess. We do also need to haul the silver. Yeah, and they're just bleeding out. And then eventually we'll start containment, but not quite just yet. Yeah. A wizard is never late nor early. He has a fractured, torturous relationship with time. He disappears from his friends. He anticipates the distant future, but fails to foresee tomorrow. He explores obscurities at inopportune times. He undermines his own ability to be reliable. He destroys the present for the future and is thus trapped in the past. He's actually late all the time. Or he just has ADHD. Or they are actually so on time that they're always early, but they feel really anxious about it because um, anxiety. Because that's actually me. There's a mat raccoon. Where is it? Because uh, I... Oh, it's dead. Um, I hate being late. And I get super stressed about being late. And because I get so stressed about being late, I'm always early. Like, way too early. And I still get stressed about potentially being late. At that point. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll leave. I'll be 15 minutes early. But until I'm actually standing in front of where my appointment is... Even if I'm two minutes away and 20 minutes early, I'm still stressing out. What if something happens and I don't get there in time? Ah. Oh. Hi, Sprenkov. Sprenkov. Good to see you. Ah. Oh. That's how you are and you're driving trains. Well, at least your trains will hopefully always be on time. Uh, something to be bad for being so early too. But yeah, I'd rather be early. I mean... If it's like, if I'm like meeting somebody, right? I don't expect them to be early. I expect them to arrive on time. But I will definitely show up early. Um, I would not ring somebody's doorbell early to go visit them. I would not do that. I would just loiter about for 15 minutes and then ring the doorbell right on the dots. Oh my gosh. There's no latest before the time always and within five minutes before it's almost too late. Mm, hi, Mithras. You hate when your brain does this, you hate anxiety. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'll just feel constantly stressed about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my goodness. All right, Baconator has reached the biological age of 10. He's feeling enthusiasm for the next few weeks. Baconator, Baconator likes learning about helping helpful mechanoids, but he is happiest while playing backgammon with friends. Two skills to increase his passion for. Let's do double passioning mining and we'll give you social. And then, oh my lord, fast learner, jogger, tortured artist, or sanguine. Uh, do I want a good trade, a good trade, or a good trade? Oh god. Uh, they're all so good. Tortured artist, give or like. Mm. But fast learner, jogger, or sanguine. I'm gonna go with sanguine because it's just plus 12 happiness. We can make him a jogger. And we can also technically make him a fast learner. With implants. So sanguine it is. Just, just be happy. Just be happy all the time. Hi Loch Ness, good to see you. You've packed that local pot for a bit if you're super early before heading to their house. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Fire. Good to see you. Joy Wire? Yeah, but it lowers their consciousness by a lot. 
You decide to be early because it takes you time to adapt to the situation as well. Yes, I need to scope out. I need to scope out my surroundings as well. Absolutely. Yeah, if I'm go if it's a place I've never been to, definitely need to scope out the surroundings. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. Implant the happy gene. True, 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 true. Yeah, see, I was thinking of like technical in in um implants, but yes, you're absolutely right. With gene stuff, we can also do that. New quest: the venerated machine. No, stop it! Mahoras have to convert has converted leopard. That's good. Oh God, stop it! Oh, you silly butts. Wow, they just went for it. Oh, wait. Uh... Happy first. Implants later is the right choice. Yeah, I think so. You at least... Okay, it's just cracks and bruises. Okay. All right, the venerated machine. Oh, it's about Light Nexus, our, our relic. Oh, it's the tribal vis village. Okay, we can go there, but we'd have to fight about them. Okay, got it. We'll accept it for now. You don't know any of these things because we still haven't played the DLCs. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Eventually. <laughs> or not. I mean, you don't have to, right? The world is great without the DLCs. Mm-hmm. There, we'll put this on for you as well. And hopefully he learns a little bit about uh, mining eventually. That would be good. That would be lovely. This is just one of those days. Oh, I'm sorry, TX. Software crashes. You forgot to record. Now we finally got six videos coded and uploaded. The system crashes. You can't add them for your students. Oh, no. Get up. Take a breather, get a cup of coffee, and then, okay, you clocking out quitting for today? Fair. Okay, if you can do that, that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah, just, just put a pin in it for the day and then try again tomorrow. Uh, that is, oh, sorry, it's actually a vegetable garden patch is what you want, uh, Pedro, for the seeds mod. The VGP uh, packs have it all so they're playing room world again recently you have all the dlc except anomaly but only two and a half hours of play time wow that is i am i respect your i respect that <laughs> that is a large amount of time i respect your not getting sucked into it uh that is impressive Mm-hmm. I'm glad you have the opportunity to just be like, okay, done with it for today, though. That's good. That's good. Also, to be fair, the yeah, as Mina said, the platform crashing is not really your problem. Mm-hmm. You have a ton of reward stream watching time compared to actual playtime. Fair. Fair. There. I'm actually gonna like forbid the mining of the compact machinery. Baconator can mine that rock though. And hopefully learn about it. I should probably make this a two actually. Because if Baconator can turn into our new miner, that would be amazing. And yes, I'm aware they're a minor miner. I know. You mentioned it 1k before the first DLC. 500 during royalty ideology. Didn't even buy biotech or play a 10 until Anomaly came out. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, see, I uh, definitely hit a lot more hours than that. But I kind of made it my job for a very long time, right? Because for a very long time, I basically exclusively streamed RimWorld. And then I took quite a long break. 
after Ideology came out. Didn't even really play much when Biotech came out. And then I got sucked back in and now it's like, got its claws back in me. Or as the kids say, it's got me in a chokehold. <laughs> Girls got lost when switched from Derek down on to Steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have probably about a thousand hours in the direct, um, in the download version uh, as well. Stench is shame. A 34-year-old logger named Stench is calling you nearby. He's begging to join you at the monolith. Stench is a relationship with one of your prisoners. She's Leopard's ex-lover. There's some kind of threat following her. I mean, I do need colonists. The kids say that. Yes. 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 They do. The well, Horus is starving. Because we're not cooking. Because our cook is in bed. Stench has joined. Okay. Let's check you out. Optimist, fast learner, misogynist. Asexual. The misogynist is a bit meh, but the rest, let's go, actually. Wow, those kids, they're, they're the ticky tocky. They're the ticky tocky kids. They say that sort of stuff. The ticky tocky kids. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty decent pawn overall. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we'll find out what, uh... Oh, you're, you're trying that again. He's like, Baconator must mine the components. And I'm like, no. Okay, I think your cooking skill is now good enough that we can do four at a time. Without having to worry too much about it. Ticky Toki sounds like an island in a German children's novel. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know Kirbass was as creative as you when naming places. How sorry, Waffenhorst. Yeah, but no, apparently the TikToks say that. Was that? Really? Poland, Paris, London, banana. No, that is that actual real? Is that real? That, that does not... Oh, wait. Okay, there is apparently a banana. Okay, banana is true. London is true. Paris and Poland is also true. Apparently that is actually true. Though Paris is a ghost town, apparently. Fair. I was like at first, is that really? And it is really true. It is actually true. Well, today we learned. Today we learned. Okay, we really, really, really need steel. There's a city called Batman in Turkey. Mm. Yes. Dora, I think. I, I honestly, in my opinion, Newfoundland still wins. I mean, there is just nothing that beats a dildo. For his place name, of course. Right? And that's going to get clipped out of context. <laughs> All right, Baconator, please. Yeah, you heard D dildo. Yeah. We were, we were talking about, um, funny place names. It's a dropout raid! Oh god, hey Zarkis! Oh shh! Fudge. Stench has admitted to what she was doing, what she was fleeing from. She was supposed to marry the child of Reese Clark, the leader of the garbage team. She became drunk before the ceremony and vomited on the altar, a flagrant insult towards Clark's whole family. 
Clarks would have seek revenge on Stench and all those associated with her and sent Wasted to carry out the task. A group of Wasters have dropped right, right on top of you. Well, fudge. And Rimworld is like, boop, boop, Oh my god, that's a freaking imp! That's not a waster! Run, Shane, run! Shane, run! Shane's on fire. Shane's not running. Great. Mm-hmm. Is Jaron? Jaron is the one that can do the impet thing. Dirt mole, waster, okay. Okay, you're down. Oh god, there's still two people in there, but they're also on fire. Mahoris is down. Okay, they're fleeing. Okay. Uh, CPP, go. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad in there. Because it's... Yeah, considering considering this crap is on fire, it's actually okay. Go. Fight the fire. Yeah, yeah, it went through. The bot will not get auto modded because it's the moderator. Oh god, Shane is still on fire. Extinguish that, extinguish that. Mahoris, don't crawl through the fire, oh, you absolute idiot. Oh my lord. Okay. Finally. Uh, and then you rescue Mahoras. You beat out the fires over there. Yeah, apparently crawlers don't avoid fire. Which seems like a bug, to be quite honest. They're a beautiful dirt mole. Animal? A dirt mole incapable of mining. Why? Because you turn into a gigolo. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're unwaveringly loyal. Well, never mind then. That was also part why you call me died through the ancient danger. Oh, the crawling through fire thing. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, both of our doctors are down. That is a problem. How many limbs were burnt? None. Nothing was burnt off. Well, right into fire. Yeah, I feel like that's an oversight. Not a, not a jiggle. Well, a gigolo. Not gigolo. Gigolo. Like Italian. A gigolo, you know? A lover of the... A lover of the people. A Casanova, if you will. Okay. Considering how hurt they are, it's actually surprising. Oh, shoot. Beacon Eater still drafted. Um, how not... Exactly. Yeah, that's really terrible tending though. Oof. We will probably get some infections here. Probably. Well, we'll try our best. But yeah, considering considering that was a dropout raid, that could have gone a lot worse. So 
That could have gone a lot worse. Oh, you tried and failed. You took the shell off your racing snail, thinking it would make him faster, but if anything, it made him more sluggish. Don't, don't take the shell of snails, the poor snails. That's not how you make slugs. Still a good pun, but don't, don't hurt the snails and slugs. Oh crap, I forgot to... Stop having that wall be deconstructed. Sorry, they deconstructed the wall. Just trying to let the super heated air out. But it wasn't actually that hot because it was the entire like big area. Sorry. Not too bad. How has none of that turned into an infection? I am so... Huh. That's wild. But yeah, no, it's definitely, definitely very, very, very strange that crawlers crawl through fire. It, it really shouldn't happen. No, they should have, like, if there, if there were an infection, it would have popped by now. And doctoring wasn't all that great though. Like overall, like look at that. It's quite eh. And Baconator is just happily learning mining. Very nice. Okay, Wanderer join request. Rico. A child named Rico, eight years old. YOLO! I hope. Oh god, a child with a knife. That's sus. A child with just straight up a knife. They do believe in our ideology, though. That's good. Uh, what happens when two snails get into a fight? They slug it out. Oh. Oh, no more pawns. All right, Riku. Let's see. Kind. Okay. Uh, you can build them on both sides, Pumo. You can put them here and here. Yes. Wind turbines do not block... Uh, sorry, solar panels do not block wind turbines. Yeah, that's a good pawn. I am not upset about that one. There was a chance with kits, but that was a good one. That was a good one. We also need to name... Oh, now we have two people to name. Chat. So if you haven't jumped into the name pool yet, we have two people to name. The Child and Stench. Hi, Spikey. Good to see ya. Okay, you can walk. I'm actually going to give you the Gladius now. No, I actually have this Gladius. That one is normal. Even better. Hey, hi, Genfinite. Good to see you. Hello. Yes, jumping in. Let's go. Let's do it. Exclamation mark. Join. Oh, God. The child is cooking. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. How about... We don't. Don't do Don't. Don't. I don't. Please don't kill us. Please don't kill all of us. Thank you. Okay, let's name the child first. Pick random. It's good. This is Ui. Ui the child. And then the newcomer. Stench. Optimist, fast learner, misogynist, and bisexual. This is pick random. It's Rico. This is onesie man. All right. Onesie man. Perfect. All right. Shane still can't walk. Wow, because your legs almost got taken out. Okay, that, that checks out. Hey, thanks for the watch trick, Spikey. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.
Yeah, Baconator is going to be a good, good miner. With that double passion, for sure. Let's go. Very nice. Still can't walk. Holy. Wait, we can do a preach health, can't we? Preach health on Shane. There we go. That'll help. Injury healing factor plus 25%. No, not yet, because we started over. And it's been a bit, it's been a bit less. But not much, but been a little bit less. You know, just a tiny smidgen less crazy. So hopefully Shane will be up back on their feet a little bit faster. I guess we kind of are putting the children in, in the mines. Looking at this. Oops. Not on purpose, I promise. It's not on purpose. Mm-hmm. They're not mining salt yet. Yeah, we're just kind of training them up right now. Every time you say Shane, you look over from work because your brain goes, is she playing Stardew? No, 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 no. It's Shaneism. Mr. Doom themselves. They are minor miners. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, you're unrestricted. Okay, people are able to do stuff now. 41, 53 goodness oh we can actually study them as well because they've been modified i didn't realize that because they're uh underthrow grunts ah interesting okay everybody has a bed right okay everybody at least has a bed Good. Yeah, you Shane almost died. Like, definitely almost died. Okay, Ui, clean the barracks. Shane, cook. Because they're currently eating ambrosia because we have no meals. And we don't want people to just subside, uh, subsist on uh, Ambrosia. Because Ambrosia does have a teeny tiny amount of nutrition. So they're eating that right now because they're allowed. Mole has a medical emergency. Yeah, because they need food. Here. Uh, capture them. And then feed them. And... Also deliver some food for the other prisoner. Yeah. Now you confirm that it was definitely Rimbot named the kid as baby, not a bug, because another baby was born and they got ordinate as Basqua come. That is funny then, yes. That is quite funny. But honestly, Mole is like, you know, overall pretty heckin' happy. So is Leopard. Nice. Very, very good. I love how Baconator is reading chess for happiness and Ui is reading chess by murder. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Look at the kids just learning. Ow. How adorable. No, I need the prisoners, Rico. I need the prisoners. We don't need to nom the prisoners. No, 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 don't that. Uh, clean. There we go. We don't need to eat them. We've got rice. We can make delicious meals. We'll make rice and rice milk and more rice. And rice pudding and other things. Mm hmm. That's what we're doing. There we go. Nope, you can cancel for now. You also should eat, Shane. 
yeah no infections jeez that's i don't know how when or why but that's very lucky that is incredibly lucky that is surprisingly lucky it was a bug how sorry Or did you just not like randomly roll them a name 24 hours in because if you wait more than 24 hours they just get named automatically and there's a shaman merchant there were more ship chunks down here how that is ridiculous all right mahoris trade with karika Mm -mm -mm. You didn't get the prompt to name them last time. All right, okay. Maybe. Hmm. They don't have anything I want. Wow, these children, uh, they definitely read a lot. But honestly, that's not too bad. I don't mind that. Keeping their learning up. Medical emergency. Again. Why are we not feeding mole? Oh, are our wardens down? Yeah, our wardens are down. Here, child. You can feed the, the person as well. Hi, Kevafaya. Good to see you. Hello. How are you? Hi. Are we all just licking, like, chat now? Because... There you go. I will double lick you. You're attempting to recruit Mole. Oh boy. Okay. At least hopefully that means we'll keep feeding them. Fighting over migraine. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. I hope it goes away soon. Migraines just suck. It is so hard, Loch Ness. It is so hard. Yes. Yes. I feel like certain certain things need to be nerfed. You're sorry. For what? I will not lick those, no. I will not. Chat's just licking chat for some reason. All of the licking emotes, yeah. Oh, ocular migraine. Oh, I'm sorry, Kippa Fire. Yeah, that's that sucks. That sucks. It was right there. Yeah, or was it? Hi, Re. Good to see you. Also, chat. How the heck has it been six hours? I just realized it's three. H how is it? what how what time wibbly wobbly timey wimey what the heck how that that seems not legal okay thank you for for your mining service baconator um go go chill again now i just really needed that and I need so much more as well. Goodness. Okay, everybody has healed up. Woohoo! Uh, how long is the Frostpunk thing tomorrow? Um, sorry. You can play the Frostpunk to beta up until a certain amount of time in game. But I don't know how long that takes. So, um, you can only play a certain amount of weeks. It's three hours? Okay. It's in-game time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um... Uh... There is, like, um... Certain amount of weeks in game. Yeah, 300 weeks in game. It's not that long, yeah. 
I'm an addict. Stop calling me out like that. Rude. Uh, Neanderthals have arrived. They're attacking immediately. All right. Uh, let's not use the child. They're going over here. No, I'm not Alana. I don't have these commands. A new law has passed. Sawdust. Sawdust for everyone. Or something like that, right? Shamblers as well. Okay. Jeez. Hmm. Additional fiber in your diet. Fiber is important. Yes. Probably want uh, fiber you can digest. Well, that's soluble, though. Okay, where are you going now? Okay, you go over there. You always go soup. Me too. I don't. I'm actually not horrible to my people in in Frostpunk either. Like I don't. I usually send the children to go to school, and I give them soup instead of you know the horridness and all of that. Yeah. Okay, this is scary. Okay, you disengage. Disengage, Mohoris. Disengage. Because there are... Yeah, I was going to say. It's scary. It's scary to melee. Um, it's so scary to melee. Neanderthals. We lost an arm. Contemplating another cup of coffee. Only if I get one too. You always didn't understand why you can't combine it. Make a nice chew with sawdust. I think that is basically the sawdust option. Uh, the first Frostpunk was fun, but you never tried it. It is good. It's a good game. I would recommend grabbing it, especially if you can get it on a discount. And it does go on extreme discount. It's quite good. There's nothing quite like it. Like other games have tried since then, but they don't quite compare. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, no 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 apparently we've not fixed their medic medicine. No Mahoris, stop it. Mahoris, stop it. Go over here, Shane, you do that. You go sit chill, you tend. The sawdust thing is ick. It's not gonna actually hurt you, to be fair. The sawdust thing. It's gonna give you indigestion. It's not gonna kill you. Mm-hmm. Hey, Serena. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. Emails me a picture of a coffee. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. To be fair, I probably shouldn't have any more caffeine today, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee supply. A shark dumping walrus. No cat luck today. Yes, I also I also switched stuff around a little bit. I went with the fluid ideology and we have a bit faster research. Uh, you wouldn't download a latte. I would so download a latte if I could. I would also download a card to be fair. Well, that three works uh, nicely on Amazon Luna. We don't have Luna over, uh, like I've not tried Luna at all, but nice. You've got vanilla cream pie coffee. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm an adult, I swear. Time for groceries. Am I to be cool? See you later. See you later. Sanguine. Sanguine means they're just constantly happy. 
Basically, Sanguine gives them a plus 12 mood buff all the time. They're very happy. They're just very happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there were shamblers around. Father of Underthrall Grand Leopard. Oh, okay. You wouldn't download a car. I think everybody would download a car if they could. Like, heck yeah. You're also an adult. That's why you got it. Fair. That is fair. Why is it always my doctor slash talking social person that gets hurt? Because they're also your melee fighter FG. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. But still. You've downloaded... Ah! That took a second, Mark. Uh, but thanks for the coffee. <laughs> um, You've downloaded a car with your 3D printer. Noise. Thanks. <laughs> uh, good one. Good one. Thanks for uh, the picture of a coffee. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It has just arrived. Yeah, it took a second. Because uh, it arrives on the phone and then it takes a second to notify me via the watch. But it did arrive. Hi, PM Nutrition. How's it going? Hello. <laughs> GG, well done. You'd already downloaded multiple ones. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody would, right? Like, duh. Um, mm, 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 mm. I think we need, yeah, the Archic Jubilee. We need to do that outside. Uh, let's do that. All right, we need wood. Dang it. Don't have enough wood. Wood need it. It was good. You baked bread and stuff in school. Dang. Oh, fresh bread though. Well, what kind of bread did you make? Because now I'm like, mm, fresh bread though. But today for dinner is pasta. So that's pretty good too. Thanks for the wood and the space wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, PM. Mm -hmm. There probably isn't a direct translation anyways. Hi, Marius. Good to see you. Hello. <clears throat> I made for fun with Dang. All right. You're making all the things. Let's go. Bread party at um, PM's. Let's go. That is nice. Neato. Mmm. Eat the trees. Yummy. Yeah, we're going to need a whole bunch of uh, body parts here. I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay. You're pretty high learning. I don't want to use Baconator like all the time to mine. But a few bits here and there. Definitely want to do that. Because we do need a lot of steel still. First we can actually turn the lights on over here and start migrating people over here into their own bedrooms. I would reckon. There we go. Should we make double bets for everybody? That's just easier usually once they like start getting up to shenanigans with each other. More streakers in the chat. Oh my goodness. Marius, thank you so much for the heck and watch streak. 105. That's impressive as heck. Put some damn clothes on though, will ya? 
Honestly. Honestly. I get some lights in there. Okay, we've got power conduits for now. Yeah, thumb. And you're high. That's why. That's why your manipulation is crap. You just watch while you're working, PM Nutrition. Mm-hmm. Just watch while working. Works out quite nicely. I know that not everybody can. I know. I know. Did you get pressure plates to turn lights on and off when people aren't in the room? That'd be neat. True. True. Though the need for, like, the, the actual power need of lights is not that bad anymore. Especially because once you get um, advanced lights, it lowers even... Uh, the power consumption is even lower. Masterwork, double beds. This furniture is engraved with the representation of a square. The scene takes place inside a hamlet built near an oasis. Well, 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 well. I see how it is. Right, there we go. We'll just make you grab some beds here and there. And then this is Shanism and CPP. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Home office, oh, home office for the win, right? There. And then we need the end tables in there. And this one. And another dresser. And then another end table here as well. There's a kitty in her lap. She's shedding all over the laptop. Kitty cat, no, don't do it. Shoot frenzy on sleepy pee. Okay, are we all happy now that we've got bedrooms? Mostly. Mostly happy. Hey, Cesaro, welcome. All right, and then... We've got that. Oh, yeah, you're hauling the rest of that, of the wood. Kind of want traps along this side as well, honestly. But then... We do also very much run the risk of just dropout raids. Like, that just, what just happened. Those was, that was a pretty mean dropout raid already. Back home, let's go! Got noodles with chicken with vegetables and cheese sauce. <sighs> cheese. Let's go. Pasta hype. We're also doing pasta today. There we go. We'll just go full on traps for now. You do food shop, but people. Mm. I get that. I get that. Sometimes that is too much. Do you live in a country slash area where you can uh, whoosh stuff? They just introduced that here in the in the UK. Where you basically get same day delivery. It is more pricey, but you can just get uh, stuff delivered. Instead of having to go. They obviously charge for it, though. And some coleslaw. Ooh, enjoy. Enjoy. Can order in, it costs more. Yeah, 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 it does. It does. It does, indeed. Wow, Baconator is already social five? Dang. UK here, gotcha. You have... I know! 
you have the rosary robots. They're they're ridiculous, Wolf Norse. I love them. They are trialing that in the UK and places as well. Never going to happen in my area though, because like tiny little area, like you know, um, countryside and stuff like that. I don't think it would be safe for the robot for the robots to uh, to make it here to their destination. No, 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 Mahoras. We're not talking, we're not talking takeout or like junk food delivery. We're talking ordering groceries. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's ordering groceries, not ordering takeout or like pizza or something like that. The lazy shopper method, yeah. Because if you don't want to, if you don't want to people, you know. Oh, you want to in, order in takeout though? <laughs> You're an adult. You can do whatever you want if you can afford it. No, but yeah, you would disappear. I think they would just get hit by cars, honestly. It wouldn't last long. Yeah, but like Waffenhorst is in Finland, the Avalon. Sorry. Sweden ain't that different from Finland. Sorry, it works there apparently. It's funny watching them cross the road. Yeah, because they use crossings, right? Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Sweden is is some is, is different. Sorry. I'm talking like not personality wise. I'm talking like latitude wise. All right. I'm not saying Sweden and Finns are the same people. I'm just saying their weather is pretty similar. Finland has overall better snow removal. Do they? Okay, fair. I suppose. I wouldn't know. They don't have buckets. <laughs> oh, I love how that's just a thing now. It's kind of mostly south of it. Yeah, but it's still, you know, up. And it goes above the Nordic Circle and stuff like that. And winters are long and there is snow, right? Oh, yeah. Also, that, that's true. Finland has buckets. Indeed. The power of buckets. If you ever need to attract a Finn for whatever weird reason, buckets. No, sorry, sorry. Apparently, it's just a thing. Like, for like a promotional thing, right? Um, very often, like in a shop, right? The shops, for example, opening, they have like a promotional thing. It's very often, it's going to be buckets. Like free 10 liter buckets if you go visit there. And apparently, Finns go crazy for it. Yeah, it has to be a free bucket. True. Hi, H2O. Good to see you. Yes, free buckets. Uh, that particular starship is an Estonian company. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yes, three buckets. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's three buckets. As like a promotional item for like a shop opening or apparently um, to encourage people getting vaccinations. Also free bucket. <laughs> also free bucket there. And uh, stuff like that. It's, it's a thing. They just like it. Mm-hmm. Most companies are sold off if they take off. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, your local grocery store sometimes runs buy a bucket of apples. Get the bucket for free. There you go. Hi, Daisuke Kun. Good to see you. Hello. No, no, it's really, it's really a thing. It, this is, this, I'm not joking. Hey, sure. This is, this is a thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is the bucket filled with beer? Potentially. Mm-hmm. Last time you got your free bucket, it cracked when you picked it up. Oh. Ooh. But no, no, no. This is, this is legit. Mm-hmm. Hi, Sentient Cookie. Well, but the whole promotion that, that Buffnos just talked about, that's not an empty bucket. 
We still have snow left from the snowfall 10 hours ago. The road's been cleared, but not the pedestrian walkways. Uh, yeah, they're usually, they're usually, they're very late on this one here as well here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quest available. Royals with enemies. Uh, three raids of this size. Within 20, 20 hours. One drifter, four gunners, one scavenger gunner, one, two scavenger thresher, one waste of grenadier for a person. That is depressive with an annoying voice. I'm sorry, Agnes, you are on your own. Good luck. Early delivered. Earlier, let's go. What did you get? What did you get, Marius? Also, hashtag out because, uh, Fully our sponsor, so I want to know what you got. Uh, but if you want delicious drinks, go check them out. Hint, hint, nunch, nunch, wink, wink. You're awesome. Um, but what did you get? What did you get? What did you get? That's a lot of fire. Yeah, that's why it's raining now. So we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We are okay. All right. We have some steel. Not much, but a little bit. Also, did we do a thing? But up, but up. We did not. For the sentient cookie. There we go. Get that cookie going. Sorry, I just don't want to mine where there's overhead mountain currently. Sorry. That's why we're not using the new... Uh vein mining there uh another day too late either your current box is empty nice you're doing pink grapefruit how do you like it how do you like the red hibiscus one uh kalidia well that's convenient let's go i'm glad you like it marius thank you for the support and thanks for uh, converting your family members as well, potentially. <laughs> All right. Our poor child is, is working the mines because... Oh, shoot. They're gathering to celebrate their marriage. Sleepy Fee and Shane are getting married in the workroom. Well, my horse is just like, must make blocks. Okay, everybody's actually attending. That's perfect. Vanilla has a change. That makes sense. Vanilla, quite often, I find, has a, has an aftertaste. Like, for example, also, like, vanilla Coke and whatnot. Pink grapefruit is okay. Mm. Double lemon honey black tea. Ooh. Very nice. You, you went for the horny lemons, I see. <laughs> Uh, maybe one day you'll do actually another stream. It's been swamping work in life. Ah, stupid life. How dare. Always life, honestly. How dare it interfere. Wow, look at the... Look at our moods, like, across the board. Everybody is a max mood. Chat, you need to take a screenshot of this because the RimWorld, this never happens. I bet you within half an hour, everybody is going to have mental breaks because something is going to happen. Something very, very terrible. No, we had a marriage. Yeah, we had a marriage ceremony. Sorry. People are happy because people got married. And we also need some heaters. It's getting cold in here. He spawned with a knife, all right? Not not my fault. They 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 spawned with a knife. Ui came to us with a knife, and I did not take it away. We predict cheating and a breakup, yeah. Yeah, we had a wedding and people people really 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 Weddings are good for moods. You can call him Shanky. Well, Ui won um Ui won Gui. Goo won the giveaway, so it is. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You're also apparently quite hungry. There you go. Pull that. And then you may do stuff. Voidheim! Hi, Voidheim! Thank you! FGS1, FGS2, 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 FGS3. Thank you for 39 heckin' months of support. I really appreciate it, Voidheim. Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Hi. And thank you so much for the support. Very, very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. You can actually do that now. Yeah, you can actually do that now. I'm gonna slaughter that wild boar. Um, you can do that now. With the new void stuff, just give them a lobotomy and make them happy. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Baconator is pretty good at the whole social stuff. Okay, it's 20 degrees in here now, across the board. Sorry, you should not be complaining about sleeping in the cold anymore. There is, yes. I mean, you can use either genes or like te like mechanical implants to make them happy, yeah. There's the joy wire or you can implant genes as well to make people happy. Comes obviously with a metabolic deficient, like with a mod mod metabolical hit to their, they will basically eat more food, but it is totally doable. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Have you eaten? Yes. Learning a lesson. All right. Seven components. Cassie! Sto 150 components i've not bought any cassie stop trying to get my wealth up by giving me all the components stop it stop it i'm very scared of what you're trying to do ah. uh have i taken my joy yes i'm streaming today so i've taken my joy Okay, like streaming and hanging out is my joy. Get it? Like I was that that just doesn't work. Boost that wealth. R. I always hit the world button instead of the thingy button. Sixty-three thousand. Mm. Help. I'm scared. Me neither, Panderific. That first trailer was so amazing. And then we got what we got, and I never played it. Rest available. The red fox is in Shelton. It took you a joy today. Being medicated means being productive. Yay, let's go. That's good. Meds are good and they are just a tool in the box to make life manageable. So good on you. A three-year-old child named Shelton is calling from nearby. He says a pack of nine man manhunting red foxes. Yes. So a three-year-old I will accept easily because they will not yet have any... You're a high mate. Kind and delicate. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm good with that. Enjoy, Marnie. And then the trade caravan can just deal with the foxes. And we might get some stuff out of it. Like a... Non biocoided charge lance. Oh heck. Let's go. Hi mate, they're Australian. I mean they're uh blue dabba dee dabba die dabba no um no hi mate means they um it's a gene it's a it's a specific xenotype. Alright, uh unrestricted all that charge lance please very nice so uh yeah they're they're they have good social because they're a high mate so high mates are kind of wild 
Uh, high mates are designed companions and concubines with a unique ability to cyclically bond with a mate. High mates are empathetic, beautiful, cheerful, and talented in social matters. They're also inept at manual tasks, physically weak, and mentally incapable of violence. Yeah. They make people very happy, and they are also just very happy, and very attractive, and good at social. And they either have purple, white, or blue skin. Yeah. Genetic joy. And they're very unhappy because we ravaged trees. They're incapable of violence, correct? Um, let's try to convert Shelton. Because that tree ravaging thing, we just chopped down so many trees. They're going to be very upset with us otherwise. No, not quite. Not quite. Hi, Bray! Hi, Gugnir! Effective. 3%. Heck yeah, let's go. Oh no, our Ambrosia just rotted away. Well, there goes our wealth. Our Ambrosia just rotted away, so we're good. <laughs> um, Nothing's on fire. Yet. Also, technically there was a fire. From lightning and thunder, but yeah. Technically nothing's on fire right now, correct? Ah, it's going all right. Thank you for asking. Shelton needs a bedroom. We don't have a bedroom for Shelton. Also a name, exclamation mark, join. If you have not joined yet, you should, because we have a name. We need a name. Well, we have a person to name, so we need a name. I roll it. I'm good on ducks. I'm, I'm good on ducks. But we do need a name, Shelton. But we're doing all right, Bray. Thank you for asking. How are you today? We are doing a okay. A masterwork wooden dresser. This furniture is engraved with an image of an impressive red scorched stone smoking from heat. Eight figures approach from a nearby creek. This depiction tells the story of a meteorite falling. Hi, Crash. Thanks for the 70 streak. A watch streak. Holy smokes. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Mr. Elephant Head. Good to see you both. Hello, hello. All right, let's name the high mate child. Pick random. It's Giggles with Giggly Wiggly. All right, Giggly Wiggly. That's kind of a creepy name for a child that's designed to be a high mate. All right, rigged, always, always rigged. Mm-hmm. Always rigged. It's so funny how it always looks so dark and dreary when I start the stream and then towards the end, like towards the afternoon, it's like, sunshine! Uh, they're a high mate, Moni. So they either have white, blue, or purple skin. Yeah, it's a um, biotech thing. So yeah, they're still human. They just, they are just xenotype uh, high mate. Yeah, it is. It is. It's been very windy. Inspired taming on onesie man. How good are, is your taming? Six. Again, I hit that wrong tap. Uh, that's 10. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's a nine. Sort of sentient cookie, a little bit, yeah. All right, chat. I do need one more quick break to pop to the bathroom because I really need to pee. So I'm going to go take a super duper quick pee break again. I also need to refill my water, actually. So I'm going to do that. So uh, you enjoy the tunes. Thank you all so much for being here and hanging out. I really heckin' appreciate it. If you are new here, make sure to hit the follow button. If you're watching on YouTube and new, make sure to hit the subscribe button over there. Also check out the rest of the socials. Discord, Instagram, all those things. And I will be right back. Thanks for being here.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Appreciate it. All right, let's turn that down and off. And then that back up. And that on. Ta da Bye, Timby. Thanks for hanging out. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. I'll see you. See you then. Take care. Thank you, Platy. Hi, Patsy. Thanks, Jar. How are you doing? How about back, you Patsy? Hi, Patsy. I'm Dad. And back in maybe Daddy. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you, Mina. Thanks, Infinity Simplex. PJ says bye, Timby. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Uh, okay, another hydrate. Okay, I see how you do. I see. I see. You're like, uh, you just went to the bathroom. Here, refill. I see how it is. And my hair is yeah, irritating my chin again. Ticklish. Cheers. You have a migraine. Oh. Sorry about the migraine. Migraines suck. I hope it goes away soon. 11 shambling corpses. See, I knew that Cassie was up to something. Do I play with 100% map? You mean world map, Pedro? Yes. I do. Yes, I play with 100% world map. Mm hmm. Always. I don't know why it doesn't change the game at all, but I like being able to see the entire planet when I pick a place. When I pick a spot, I just like seeing the entire map for some reason. Oh, let's go, PJ! Nice, let's go. Your wife says you cause migraines, roll it. Oh. Poor roll it. Hopefully that's mostly in jest. Uh, CPP. Wow. 
girl. They're not just okay. <gasps> you can't pop out of doors that much anymore. Did you see that? They're also attacking the walls next to the doors. They've changed AI. A lot. Like, hot damn, chat. Yeah, because they're just attacking the wolves now. Dang. That's massive. <laughs> right, right, CCP, right? Nah, we'll be all right. These are just shamblers. Though this man might have been a hazard back in the... Yeah. Back in the day. Are you still actually wearing... You are, but I guess they are. They are rubbish. Interesting. That changes a lot of stuff. Every time you get a make right, there's boss to the walls. You bought this with doors, right? Right? Mm-hmm. You just had a distress call. You know, the ones with the pink walls. Yeah. Walls. The flesh walls. They had a whole room with fermenting barrels. You now could fill a swimming pool with all the beer you have. Well... Cheers, I guess. You just ordered your groceries. Let's go. Nice, spiky. Delivery today or, or a different day? But well done. Well done. I'm glad you're getting some food. That's good. That's very good. I'm glad you're getting some food. I swear, there is just something. I need like a fuzz cleaner for my microphone, honestly. Uh, I'll keep the torch lamps around for reasons. Uh, but I get rid of the coolers. We don't need the swamp coolers anymore. We've got air conditioning. Two days. That's quite a while. Nice. Nice. Did they reduce the ability to cheese things? Yes, very much so. Yeah, murder hallways are also a thing of the past now. Exactly. Drunko, drunko murder halls are a thing of the past. Oh, I didn't know that they do groceries nowadays. Interesting. Blood rain or oh heck. Why do murder hallways no longer work? Uh, because enemies can now stand on top of um, columns and uh, that sort of stuff and still shoot and attack. Mm -hmm. They can now just stand on top of it. Trap hallways still work. Yes. Yes, they do still work. But trap hallways were never like as cheesy as the uh, um, hallway. The murder hallways. You feel like an, we said an hour or so? Yeah, good luck. And yeah, popping out of doors does also not work as much anymore because they will not just attack the doors. At least not humanoid enemies or entities they will also attack walls i don't know how it is with manhunter animals don't know if manhunter animals will attack walls oh we need to we need to haul all of this like away now because otherwise we're gonna get lung rot really interesting spiky huh Okay. They're feeding the trees! Oh my god, there must be so much long rot over here right now. Ew. But the trees shall feast tonight. If they don't see you. Oh yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. If they don't see you, but if you provoke them. I wonder if, because you could 
you used to be able with manhunter animals just to poke out the door shoot them and then they'd attack the door for a while and then they'd stop and you repair the door and so on and so forth oh there's still two shambles left will they stand on trees as well i haven't tried it with trees but i presume yes I presume yes. Because that was the original design, right? Okay, who's my best shooter? 13, 5, 12, 5. Equip the charge lance, please. Yep. Indeed, he is. Ah, uh, we need more. We need our dusters. Yeah. Okay, you turn that on. Took all your pawns out in a caravan yesterday, and the colony got raided because your cat was there. They raided destroyed all your buildings because they had a mega spider on the other that needed to be unalived. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you have no colonists in your colony, they can still get attacked. Hi, Mr. Wizards. How's it going? Hello. All right, uh, where is Giggly Wiggly? There you are. All right, once you're done, convert. How's it going? Good to see you. That's a legendary weapon. That's good. And that's good. Okay. I'm doing really well as well. Thank you for asking. Holy crap. Giggly Wiggly is already social level 11. Holy smokes. Hot heckin' ding. Mysterious cargo. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, Archic Archist Parker Sparky Strobeck of Northwestern Indies has an odd request. She would like you to accept some unspecified cargo. When pressed for more details, she avoids the question. I have done this event, so I know what this is. I don't really want to do it for a Silent Neuroformer though, so no thank you. That reward is crap, so no thanks. Hi Tariq, hello. Yeah, it would probably be another corpse, exactly. And I don't, I don't need a Silent Neuroformer, so screw that. Give me something that's a better reward, then we can do it. A flesh beast attack, ooh, over there. I'll oh, rip the tree. Rip the tree. All right, we have new research available. That checks out. And we can now attune to get to level two. Ah, I think I'm good. For now. So I take it flesh beasts aren't as smart. I know they are going for the walls in certain locations. Interesting. All right. They did go for it. God, the stun is so good. The stun is so good on the nerf spiker. It it just helps a lot. So we're gonna murderize these because I still don't have a containment facility set up. A blind healer is approaching the colony. She wants to talk. You can send a colonist to see what she... Okay, I've not had that. I've had a whole bunch of these like weird people want to join your colony type thing, but not a blind healer. That sounds very sus. And there's another mad guinea pig. And it's not attacking the person. 
that wants to talk to us. So does that mean they're not an actual person? Or is this a bug? Yeah, what's going on here? They've got unnatural healing. Use dark psychic influence to heal someone. The process will stop bleeding, restore blood loss, and can even heal significant injury. It may have unexpected side effects. No, 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 no. This is an angie... Uh, it's an angie guinea pig. So it's just a man hunting guinea pig. And one the man is just like, oh, you know what? It's fine. I'll just go outside. All right. So, a small, withered woman stands in front of you. Where her eyes should be, there are only scar-crusted holes in her flesh. Yet, even without eyes, she somehow looks at you with kindness. She says that she knows her skills are needed here and wants to stay for a while. She offers to use her healing power to help you. She may be very useful. There, you also sense there's something Teresa is not telling you. The problem is, Grugnir, even if you capture them from this event and then you recruit them to join your colony, they will still leave after a while if they decide, once they decide it's time for them to move on. So the question is, right, she has unnatural healing. So, Teresa, can you, oh my god, can you make Mohoris' arm come back? Holy crap, yes! Okay! Yep, Teresa, if you would like to, like, stay, you know, um... Yes, please? Okay, what the... Heck, let's go. Okay, there's also a trader. Teresa has finished her second healing. Mahoris' left arm was restored. What's the side effect? So far, nothing. What magic is this? The void. Cthulhu. The dark. So far, yeah. There might still be something. There might still be something, to be fair. Give me your jump packs. Take my ambrosia. And take the take this and that and that. Because this way we can actually get something useful for the ambrosia that's not going to uh uh rot away to be fair down the line there might still be something like you know tentacles of flesh mass lungs stomachs flesh whips etc etc yada 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 popping up like there might very well be still stuff coming. Uh, can I stay? Sure. Can you fix my arm? Yes. Oh, heck. Yeah. Uh, that definitely means we're gonna go and see if she can fix Shane's eye as well. But you have a cooldown on it, right? Yeah, six days. Also, she doesn't like trees being ravaged. Why are all the people that we're getting the ones that don't that that go bonkadonks about the trees? This is so annoying. I had to get some wood, okay? I had to rebuild my traps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the trees. Forgive me. I'm not gonna name Teresa because I presume she's gonna run like she's gonna leave eventually again. Or betray us or something. Uh, you have to get ready for work. You don't wanna? Alright. Stupid work. I can write you a note, but I don't think it's gonna... God, I don't think it's gonna help. Thank you so much for hanging out, though, Mina. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. 
and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you uh, soon. Also, silly work. We're still working away, chipping away at molds and leopards resistance, and I need more bedrooms already again. Wild. Wild, wild, wild. Can more of you kind of maybe shack up? Like, of the adults? That'd be great. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. We'll see you. As well. Have a good one. The beautiful nudist sanguine body mastery woman that bell got from the event said she just wants to join a colony. Nothing about leaving. Interesting. Hi, Zamiyoku. What are you standing lights instead of the new wall lights? Um, wall lights have uh, a shorter range of lights. Of lighting. Yeah, they have a shorter range of lighting. And let me just say it this way. Without spoiling things, certain events really do make you want to have lights in your colony. That's all I'm gonna say for now, without spoilers. But yeah, it's just because normal lights have the, the standing lights, like, that's the range of a standing light. That's... I mean, it shows that as well, but, like, when you put them down... I've noticed that over here in the corner, like if I were to put a wall light here, this corner would be dark. And uh, let me just say, light is good. Without spoilers, light is good in this, um, in this, in this DLC. Hey, microelectronics, let's go. It's being blocked by the wall. No, I've had it. No, no, no. They just have less range. They just have less range. That's why they added floodlights, yeah. They just have less range, I swear. I did wall lights all in my old colony and I needed like heckin' two lights per thingy. Also, we have a twisted obelisk that has landed. Uh, we will suppress and study it for now. Yeah, there is, there is, um, like, wall light, ra wall light range, even though it looks to be the same, is, is definitely different. Mm-hmm. You made an old mod from like beta 17 or so that turned all areas into uh, in the light utterly black dark and spawned enemies in it. There's often they entered light. Always found that they broke out of uh, your freezer that had no lights in them. That, I mean, that's basically... Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> but no, I, I, I swear that... Wall lights are less efficient at lighting. Like, let's try it. I swear there were bits in my room that were just dark. The range of there is one less radius than the wall light. It feels... Okay, so there is less range. Okay, if you overlap it. Got it. Oh, sorry. It feels like it's less once deployed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense, though, because they use less material. The wall lights, that is. And, yeah, yeah. I've just learned the, um... I've learned the value of, uh, stuff. It's wrong for the... Mm. No, I don't think so. I don't think this is wrong. I think... It's in like this because the yellow is the range where it's still light enough for it to not be kind of darkness whereas the range the white range is the growing stuff do war lights use less power too no no 30 oh the inner circle is wrong is it Oh, I don't have... Wait, do I have hydroponics unlocked? I do. I'm just double checking, because... 
No? That's right. No, that's that's the normal range. It shows the old size, but they actually increased the radius. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Gotcha. Okay. Imperial ship crash. Ooh. Uh, shell of the Empire. The commander wants to land here. Imps will attack. Shell contains the commander, a civilian, a trooper. The commander and civilian must be rescued. Ooh. That book would be nice. Intellectual and cooking. Up to max level 14 each. But also imps. Blark. Okay, that is fairly close. That helps. I see, I see, I see. I have to admit... I have not read... The new, 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 new change logs. Uh, about stuff, so I, um, I missed that sort of stuff. You mean that 100% light to the alt radius, the slow dimming that will allow growing outside? No, no, it will not allow growing outside, but it will make it not dark. Which is important for the darkness event. Yeah, it will make it not dark, but it's not strong enough for plants to know there. I'd say. Okay. The raid has spawned. Where? I should be able to click on this to see where they spawned. But... I think they might have spawned in a mountain tile or something. Because they've not actually spawned. Also, we need to fill this hole in. Um, yeah, they've not actually spawned. So I wonder if they try to spawn over here in the mountain or something. Because there are no hostiles on my map. Get a terrifying Cassie thought. Darkness and death pall. Ooh. That is terrifying. Yeah, this... I, hmm. Now I wonder if this is a bug with a mod that we're using. Because that's like the second thing today that feels kind of buggy. But it's also the first time I'm playing with mods. Sorry. Don't know about that. So, you're going to get in there? Okay. Well, thanks. That was... um. Yeah, exactly. I have a- I almost have a feeling they literally spawned in the mountain tile. Like, they spawned in the mountain tile and then died. You know what I mean? Um... Hmm. I thought I would check if... There was an error message. But there isn't. Hmm. Odd. Very odd. But I, I'll take my in cooking book 
Honestly, I'll take my int cooking book. Thank you very much. I'll take my int cooking book. You're welcome. I was glad to protect you. So uh, we just got uh, as that or as a, as ashes or as ashes memoirs masterwork. This work establishes the author's authority on the subject of quantitative analysis. The author's re uh, rhetoric in the abstract does not distract from the core concepts. According to the margins, as a child, Rackbuck's Azash was so idle that her parents despaired. This textbook is a vindication of her skill. Annoyed says that a subscription of the booksellers of Lutuni produced the first edition of this reference book. The exterior of this book is finely bound and the pages are pristine. So the masterwork, this is a masterwork book. It teaches intellectual and cooking at a rate of 273 XP per hour, up to a maximum level of 14. This is insane. Uh, do we have any large enough expenses for rocks for undiscovered areas? I mean, technically, there could be a little bit in here. Or in there. But nothing, like, super massive. Nothing super massive where you'd be like... You know, also volcanic winter, so our rice is gonna die. Which is a bit annoying because we're a little bit low on it. <gasps> Shane is pregnant! Congratulations, Shane! Aww. And CCP, welcome. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, heck. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Mm. Put them there for now. There you there. Hello. Mm. Mwah. All right. I will make this. Ew, smoochies! Get wrecked. <laughs> also, also, you might be happy to know that he came over here, gave me a kiss, went to sit down and burped. So, you know. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There's you cute with the not so cute. Such romance, yeah. But it's fine. It's fine. I get it. I'm the fart monster. Sorry, it works. It checks out. Uh, ignore roof area. I think I can mine this now because I definitely need more components. <laughs> How good are you at mining now, too? I don't think I want Ui doing this right now. Um, but Baconator definitely can do that. Holy, you just knocked that out, like, immediately. Hot oh, damn. Hot oh, damn. All right. All right. Obelisk study progress. Investigation of the obelisk has revealed some information. It is an arco-technological device that seems to interact with organic creatures at a distance. It is probably a piece of a much larger architect structure that was destroyed or broken apart long ago. The machinery at its core is inhumanly complex and frighteningly powerful. Its purpose and method of action remain totally mysterious. If not suppressed, the activity level will increase over time. You can't tell what will happen when the device fully activates. Oh, I know what happens, sorry. Uh, what do I want to reset to do? Transport pod crash. All right. Uh, it's the twisted one. So it's the one that turns um, uh, creatures into flesh beasts. Waster. <laughs> Thanks, Cardi. Fast walker, but eh. 
Um, 34 more days, walk the void. It's soon. It's sooner rather than later. Mm hmm. It's sooner rather than later. I'm just allowing in case there are any corpses on my map. We're just doing a little bit of a sweep to clear that up. You had a funny one yesterday. Did you have the duplication one? Or the labyrinth one? <laughs> Walk the void. Thank you. Thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Thank you. Soon, Burfma's Safi gift. Yes. Soon. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. 34 board days. Indeed. You have the gliding one right now. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. Uh, Mahor. Uh, Wee! Shane is my nephew's birthday. They just don't agree. They're having a social fight again. All right. Straight with Delilah. That looks fun, right? Yeah. Just don't trip or you fall into our trap. Besides that, it's quite fun. Yeah. Yep. It's not my birthday today yet. I have 34 more days. All right. Soon, but not yet. Okay. You can take the terrible weapons. I'm not saying it's not my birthday soon. It is, but not quite. It's almost also almost heckin' uh Good morning everybody and welcome to the cult. PS, it's my birthday. Yay me! It's also almost um vacation time. Uh we have fragnates and EMPs. We're good, we're good. We can we can fight off revenants. If need be. No, it's not my birthday keeper of time. Shish year. Shish year. No birthday. No FG birthday. You have on Thursday night. So like tomorrow. That's awesome. I hope you have a great time. Oh my god, we're actually it's getting research Friday, done. Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Just because you're making me lie. Just because you're making me lie. That's all. All right, Baconator. I'm going to need to have Baconator go outside. A Doomsday Launcher. That sounds like a very bad idea. That sounds like a very, very, very bad idea. <laughs> you have coffee? Where... Well, there was a tiny little bit left. Uh, hi, Brumbles. Your birthday is tomorrow. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's not It's not quite my birthday yet. I know chat. I know chat does the thing. But yeah, like, yeah. Are you doing disruptor flares? Nice. But that's awesome, Brumbles. I hope you have a great birthday tomorrow. I'm not going to say happy birthday yet because I'm German and I'm stupid because it's bad luck. But... I hope you have a great day. Uh, your coffee has all the cream and sugar. Oh, then I'll actually pass. Sorry. I don't like sweet hot uh, hot coffee. I'm very weird and picky. Sorry. You have your first mech attack? Oh, God, Goo. Oh, God. I think it's officially time to panic. Raise the sun. Yeah, the sun's coming around. You can see it. It's like, long. You can do it, Gear, I believe. I believe. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely birthday. 12? How many colonists do you have? You're celebrating tonight. Oh, are you doing... um? Are you a midnight celebrating into it? Nice. Are you German? Because <laughs> now I'm like... Rheinfeiern is such a German concept. <laughs> Because they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ten, but three are kids. Okay. Oof. Well, good luck, you. Good luck. Oh, shoot. 
I messed up these rooms. Because these are these are supposed to be fine tiles. Oh no! Oh, I'll mix there. Okay, fair, fair. Gotcha. It's just it's a very common thing for people in Germany to do like um the celebrating into a birthday type thing. Uh, so you you start the party the day before and then at midnight everybody goes bonkers and there's cake and stuff. Help! Ribgu. Ribgu. You went to the sauna? Ooh. And you didn't take us? TK. TK runs? Oh god. Yeah, TTK with anomaly. Um. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Hi, Finnan. Good to see you. Hello. I know. I know. I know. I know. A lot of Finnish people do. And I'm very jealous of it. 10 hours till more unnatural healing. What could possibly go wrong? Right? Right? <laughs> but that's awesome. I hope you have a lovely party, Brumbles. Mm-hmm. Why are we... Uh, whoop. There you go. This is your first apartment that has its own, and you're 39. Wow, your former landlords have definitely swindled you then. Makes legs give you sweaty hugs. That's the same as sauna. No, no, definitely not. A sauna is a naked sweat box. Yeah, but it, it feels so nice after. It's so good for you. Okay, you're really... Because you're studying the Void Monolith state. Yeah, why are you over there? Go eat. Why are you not doing any job? Any of your work? Yeah, you were like not cooking and stuff. Why? Because you got punched down and you got knocked up. Again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Really? You can't? H2O? Mm, gotcha. Is sauna really the same if you don't have a cool pool to jump in after? I mean, you can take a cool shower. <laughs> All right. Um, da -da 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 what could possibly go wrong? Yo. Um, Teresa do your magic to the to shane who is currently pregnant is missing a nose and an eye and has scars so we'll see what just happened World! Come on! Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Teresa has finished her psychic healing on Shane. Shane's, Shane's pregnancy mood was healed. Yeah, pregnancy mood. Um, sometimes pregnancy, like if people are pregnant in RimWorld, they sometimes just get really happy or kind of sad. It's just a thing, because you know, that's how it is IRL, because hormones and changing body and it's messy, right? So people sometimes get really happy and sometimes they have crap days. And, um, that was just fixed. Um... Um. No, so the whole pregnancy mood thing, hi top this, is actually only a temporary thing. Like it's a thing that happens for a limited amount of time during a room world day. Sometimes certain days they're just kind of sad and certain days they're kind of happy because they're pregnant. 
I really like, thank you for clipping. Sorry. It really shouldn't happen. Because it's literally just the mood thing. It really kind of shouldn't. That shouldn't have happened. Basically. It's like how um, Healer Max serums used to sometimes fix really stupid things as well. And yeah. Unnatural healing fixing that is um, kind of dumb yeah yeah not sure if that's actually supposed to happen uh let's see mm -hmm. mm. No, no, we did not heal the pregnancy. Only that she was feeling not so good about it today. Yes. So, so pregnant people, IRL and in RimWorld, sometimes just get unhappy. They get what's, what is in RimWorld called pregnancy mood. And they can either be, they are happy or they're sad. No, 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 Elmerin, because that's a moodlet. That one was technically something that was affecting her health, but like, it's weird. It should it shouldn't have been affected, basically. Yeah, it shouldn't have been affected, really, because it is. So, pregnancy mood is a bit complicated because it is a physical condition because it's caused by hormones, right? Whereas the feeling sick moodless is not a is not a mood debuff cause like that has an associated associated physical state. So yeah, that's a bit um that's a bit dumb. Mm hmm Hi Kyle, good to see you. Hello, how are you? Elphos, a fear holder of the Empire. Uh, is making a request. Three, gr three groups have been harassing his caravans. Set them a challenge match. Is attracting them attack. First group is 11 scavenger thr thrashes. We do get four cataphracts though. But they arrive in five days. That's far out. Far out. Um, hi, Kalk. I'm doing great. How are you? Okay. The cataphracts have arrived. They're not going to do any work. Far out, man. Yeah. Sorry. Also, I, I know I said hello to you twice. Just don't question me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you melt Max or take their parts? Yes, you need a... Um... Hey, Mole has joined. Let's go. Uh, yes, you can. You need... Uh, this research, machining, and then you need to build a machining table, and then you can take them apart. You can also technically smash them apart at a crafting spot, but you get much less resources from it. So, uh, I would wait until you have a machining table. Alright, Mole has joined. Mole the Dirt Mole. Who is actually a really good crafter. No. Sorry. Uh, you go over here. You are actually good at melee, but you're also trigger happy. Oh, God. But you're also a wimp delicate, so don't do melee. Actually, I'm going to have you not fight at all. Yeah, I'm going to have you not fight at all because you are not going to... You're just going to get... Actually, mm, but you're in, you got inhumanized. So you do feel less pain. So I guess that pain shock threshold down, but you, you, you feel 50% less pain. So that actually kind of just averages out to you being more, you know, average. All right, get the, get the gun then. Never mind. Not been around much this week. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing great. How? Yeah, I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well too. 
All right. Pal Palalogos? Did you just steal Mold's bed, Palalogos? That's cheeky of you. That's very cheeky of you. Uh, the smelting down, the mech stuff, that was a weekly return. So, Pete gets 30 steel and 10, 10 plus. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than, it's better than smashing them, though, or not doing it at all. But it's, yeah. Yes. Compared to the crap that you have to go through, um, it's not great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you're completely out, it's faster than drilling for it. Um, we also need kit trousers. And a kit shirt. All right, cool. You're just doing that? Yeah, because we have some of the kids running around a wee bit naked. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. I can't believe that got wasted on... Pre yeah, see, there you go. There. Brain. Because it's a brain condition. Pregnancy mood, seven hours. Collapse. This common side effect of pregnancy represents a rising and falling mood caused by unbalanced hormones. So she's right now really unhappy about it. But I can't believe that that got targeted. I bet you healer mech serums will target that too then. Ugh. Rimworld. Never change. Also exclamation mark join if you haven't yet. Because uh, Mole does need a name. We do also need to hunt a little bit because we're running out of food and we have a volcanic winter, so our, our plant growing is kind of iffy. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. To the naming thing. Hi, Abernathy. Pig or random? It's picks. All right. Picks one, two, three, four. Welcome to the colony. How much longer till we get leopards? Eleven. All right, working on it. Working on it. Mm-hmm. All right. Growth tier one, growth tier four, growth tier four. Do we need more people? Yes. A cougar is hunting pigs. You're in for a bad time, Cougar. Mahoris, don't you dare. Mm. Yep, you, you were in for a bad time there. Because we have just a few, um... Few, few people available right now. Just a few. Still can't believe the unnatural healing bit, the pregnancy thing. Ugh. I is so unfortunate. Hey, Relife, how much longer am I going for? Like half an hour ish. Unless chat is like, well, actually, though, uh, we're going to make you stay longer. 
Because sometimes chat hype drains to make me stay longer. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Plan is half an hour-ish. Mm-hmm. I was trying to decide which steel to mine next. I think I'll go for this one. I'm gonna let Baconator outside a little bit. Because right now we should be okay. We have no predator animals on the map and Baconator is our best miner. So we, we're gonna use Baconator. Mm-hmm. Growth moment for Uwe. Uwe has reached the biological age of 10 and experienced the growth moment. He has developed a new passion by doing meaningful work. Ui enjoys drawing pictures of mysterious strangers. Uh, they only hit... So we didn't have them from the start. So we couldn't get maximum growth tier. Passion. The only thing that we can choose is shooting. So we're going to do that. But we can pick from these traits. Hard worker. Ugly. Creepy breathing. Or no trait. Well, clearly we're going to go with... Uh, no, hard worker, of course. Global work speed was 20%. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. Hard worker. Kind hard worker. That's good. That's good. Creepy breathing for the win. I guess it would fit with the whole anomaly thing and being all creepy and uh, about stuff. New Rimworld challenge. Pick all of the bad traits, right? Oh, goodness. I'm going to put some heaters in there. Psychic Agony? What the heck? Teresa has involuntarily released the wave of psychic suffering. She tried to prevent it, but was unable to do so. Nearby creatures will experience intense pain. The effects will linger for several days. Okay. I mean, actually... That's okay. We're so happy it's not actually that bad. FGS sip. FGS sip, cookie, cheers. Thank you so heckin' much for your prime sub to heckin' years. Thank you so much for your prime resub. Thanks for spending that here and nowhere else on Twitch this month. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Do it for the YouTube. Sad nomads. Oh no. Uh, eight desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Popork. Popork? They say they were banished from their town due to moral disagreements. Popork bids you to stay for us for eight day for fourteen days. They can rest and regroup. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we've got three raids of eleven people at least arriving. We're gonna need all the help that we can get. So uh, let's go. You are indeed staying with us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Heck yeah, you're staying. We do also still need to convert FG's birthday and onesie man. We have done machining. We're actually getting heckin' research done. Certainty fell to 70. Very nice. Let's do fire form next. New emote additions. Like new Norman nods. They're amazing. Yeah, no worries, Cookie. No worries. Life, you know, you gotta you gotta life when you need a life. That's totally fine. Um, thank you so much for the support and enjoy. And yeah, we have 20 new animated emotes. Ghoul attacking. A vicious humanoid ghoul is attacking. It is intended in inhuman savagery and cannot feel pain. Prepare to defend. But but it's like one. And I have 19... I... You... 
Are you sure? Seymour. Seymour, but... Um, are you sure you want to do this? Okay. Nice chatting with you. All right. That was that. <clears throat> that was that. Uh, we need, like, beds for you. All right. Let's get some double beds going in here. Which is still not enough. Uh, here. Hmm. Uh, all of you that go wake up pick beds pick some beds melee of one yeah um yeah maybe not are you sleeping on the body that's being creepily grabbed by the harbinger trees scorpion yes yes you are that's creepy uh who are these pawns sorry all of these the ones with the, like, hourglass. They are temporary refugees. They're staying with us for the next 14 days. These four are here to help us with a quest. Where we'll be raided by three groups of pirates. And, um, yeah. So, we, we, we accumulated some quests, uh, people. Eddie Kabu, hi! Thank you! Hoo -hoo FG hoo -hoo chat. He actually did that pretty well! Eddie Kabu, thank you so much for your prime sub! 25 heckin' months! Q -Q. Look a train. There is a train! Walk the void! Thank you so much for the 100 bits! Thanks for... Uh, helping Ellie Kabu and Cookie kick off a hype train. Let's go. Choo choo. Thank you so much. Oh no, the train broke. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's probably time for me to log back in over there. It always breaks once a month when I need to re redo the token. My bad. I'm sorry. Let me just log in real quick. I'm going to get it fixed. I promise. I promise. It might come back now. You survived? GG. GG. Good old old, old stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, I do have to refresh it every month, unfortunately. Thank you all so much. I really heckin' appreciate it. Thanks for the hype train. All right. Imp, imp rates. All right. The imps have arrived. Uh, all right. Let's go. Uh, they're attacking immediately. All right nine of them thank you so heckin much though i really 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 appreciate it thank you all so much all right um yeah this is this is gonna be fine this is fine this is fine Okay. Uh, Vanaf, banish quick sleep a delicate body monitor. Hmm. Don't love the 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 delicate there. But yeah, thank you so much again for the hype train and the support for being here and uh, the prime subs and the bits. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's fine. This is actually fine so far. That was raid one of. Three. There will be two more. There will be more. We also need traps over here. Haven't done that yet. I am also out of wood. Oh no, that's gonna make choo choo. We are choo chewing, yes. But the choo choo isn't here because I needed to re -off. I need to re -off. Sorry, it broke a bit. Mm hmm but if somebody jumps on the train it might work potentially no promises though 
But thank you so much. I really heckin' appreciate it. Ooh, uh, you died? Okay. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to, I need to harvest some trees. I need to chop some woods. Ree! Thank you for jumping on the train. Thanks for the 100 bits. Weimer! Oh my goodness. Choo choo. Weimer! That, there you go, see? No, it broke the Avalon because I needed to re-authenticate with, um, with the service because the authentication token is only valid for about a month and then you need to like re-auth. And sometimes it breaks in the middle of the stream. So I don't realize until we have a hype train. Ree, thank you so much for the bits. Weimer, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the community to Kami. And now we are indeed... Choo -choo. Hi, Thunder. Good to see you. Thanks for the hydration reminder, Finnan. Thank you, chat. I can appreciate you. Thank you for the support. Very, very, very kind. Super duper duper much appreciated. Yeah, Teresa is going to be very unhappy now. Hooray. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. There are so many people running around now. And we're actually, oh my God, we're actually progressing our research now because we've got people who are not being slowed down by research, researching. Oh, this is, this is working out way too well. Right now. I also kind of want to open the ancient danger. So many bad ideas. So many bad ideas. Uh, garbage team. They are dropping right on top of me. How rude. Yeah, most of them are uh, visitors, though. Um, they're staying with us for a quest. Or three. Whoa, that's a lot. You're gonna run after him. Okay. There are still more. There are still more. This is fine. Yes. What are you doing? Going in there just being a menace. All right. Fair, I suppose. They destroyed my bookshelf. Wow, the Raiders hate reading! A jealous psychopath. Eh. Meanie butts. And my table. Very rude. Very, very, very rude. Who's starving? Oh, the kids. Yeah, okay. Oh. There we go. They're attacking immediately. All right, let's grab you, 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 and all of you. There is a doomsday. Yeah. There is a doomsday. And a tox bomb and some very spoopy things. Yes. I don't have any shock lances. Okay, the doomsday guy is dead. Or woman. Teresa, don't. You go tend to that person, please, over there. Okay. I'm kind of glad I put traps around the outside of my base. I'm very glad I put traps around the outside of my base. Oh, shoot. My door is still open. Giggly wiggly go. Close the door. Maybe, or maybe not. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah, traps are good. Traps are good. I don't think that was the quest rate, though. 
There's the third one. Also, thank you so heck much for the hype train. 15 seconds coming through. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Anson Spy. Choo choo. Thank you so much, chat. I really can appreciate you. How's it going? Crabs are mid. I mean, what kind of crabs are we talking about? But uh, also, yeah, I can't, I can't eat them. So I would agree with you. Okay, tox bombs. We're gonna get so many weapons out of these raids. Heck yeah. Okay, Teresa fell over because she kind of is a wimpy wimp in that regard. But fire starting spree on Condor. Okay, I mean if you're doing that outside, mate, that's fine. Okay, the uh, cataphracts are off because we did the quests, so they're gonna be off and do their thing. Unwaveringly loyal. Okay, fair. Rhino. Rhino needs rescue. Shane. Rescue. What is happening with you? Ooh. Blood loss. Save Rhino. Ooh, that's, that's close. So will you be okay? Yes, you will be. Okay. Um, let's make that a little bit bigger. We have some Belgian chocolate cake. Dang. Very nice. We just got quite a few weapons, but not that many. Box bomb launcher, heavy SMG. I saw one that was bio -carded. There we go. Another tox bomb launcher. Hellcat rifle. Tox bomb launcher. Nice. That Hellcat rifle is awesome. Molotov cocktails? Yes. Biocoded assault rifle. Oh, the Doomsday is biocoded. Oh, bummer. Another heavy SMG. Bummer. Uh, you got insta another mech rate reloaded. No spoons. That's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. All right, weapons. Only bio -coded. No persona weapons. Now we'll just put that put those over there and then they can do things with it. Uh, ooh. Alzheimer's and asthma. Oof. Rough. Okay, actually, let's just do that. What's this? Psychic suppression. No, we need to recover right now. People are starving because we are legitimately out of food. Yeah, that's the one problem with all of these people right now. We are in a volcanic winter, so food is a bit bit rough right now. Good day indeed. Yes, hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. Hunting party on the mufflers. Yeah, and the rhinos, honestly. And the mega sloth. Leo is good for the taking. Yeah. Yep. Also, we can harvest the berry bushes. No, no, no. We're not gonna... We're not gonna eat him. We're gonna recruit him. Naughty people. Are we also gonna LMG somehow? Nice. You equip the heavy SMG. You get the Hellcat rifle. 
You get the LMG. Leopard has joined. We got another LMG. All right. Can you shoot? Yes. You get the LMG. Inspired taming. All right. Uh, exclamation mark join if you haven't yet, because uh, Leopard needs a name. Okay, and we're making food now. Good. We do need to get our, our table back, though. There we go. Let's just get the table. Sorry, we don't get the... I had to eat without a table. Ba 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 You know, that sort of stuff. All right. Pick a random. It's Eddie Kabu. Hacks ring their way in. Definitely hacks ring. Hi, Vita. I get to see you. Rigged. Yeah, okay. You're binging on Smoke Leaf. That's fine. Hi, Bola Mammoth. How's it going? It's good to see you. It's been a hot minute. I hope you're doing well. Hello. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've not given them any weapons on purpose. Because actually giving weapons to kids makes them higher of a target. So I'm being I'm being a bit careful. But yes. Uh, I'm doing great. Thank you. Yes. No, I'm doing great, actually. Uh, Room World today is going much better than yesterday. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I also just jinxed it. But... So far, so good. But anyway, I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And go. That nerf spiker stun is actually so nice, though. Looking like a champion room world. Doing losing is fun. It'll be a tomorrow problem. No, we're actually probably not going to get around to playing room world tomorrow tomorrow well maybe a little bit because i don't know maybe we'll start with some rim worlds because apparently the whole frost punk um apparently frost punk 2 beta is only about three hours and i have a sponsored segment for two and three plus two means five so maybe we'll do first rim world then frost punk and then our sponsored segment Mm-hmm. We might do that. Obelisk study progress. We've learned more about it. It's an architect machine that transforms flesh creature into twisting forms. Yes. We need to suppress it and study it for now. We can also force things to mutate if we wanted to. But we shall not. We also need more power. Mm. Maybe we should do geothermal for now. Yeah, we definitely need to crank out some food. How much longer are these staying? Nine days. All right. Oof. That is rough. Yeah, we'll get those. We'll have to get those rhinos. Mm-hmm. But yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do RimWorld for a bit. Frostpunk for a bit. Until we have to stop. Frostpunk 2, that is. And then our sponsored segment. So, three different games. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who are all these people cooking? Nobody that should actually be cooking right now. Only Shane should be cooking. <laughs> Don't like taking them in because they screw you over. Oh, I see. What's the sponsored game? Kingsgrave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the sponsored game is uh, this one, which is coming out 
today. This one, bloop. If people want to know more about it, it's a pixel art uh, game, pixel art adventure game, kind of inspired by Legend of Zelda and stuff like that. Mm hmm. We have so much. Wow, we're not even like, we can't even cook enough food that we need to make. This is kind of ridiculous. But nobody right now at least is starving, so that's good. People are wearing tethered apparel though. Um, So we want to maybe do like a wild heel root harvest. Uh, I guess we got all the berry bushes as well, eh? Oh, maybe not quite. There's one down here. There we go. We'll get those. And then those rhinos eventually. And maybe eventually, eventually the boom rats. If we have to. We also need to get more wood. That's gonna make Teresa very unhappy. Oh, Teresa, on that note. Your unnatural healing is back. So I'm gonna try it with Shane again. I bet it's gonna heal the smoke leaf tolerance. I bet it's gonna heal the smoke leaf tolerance. No! Okay, it actually restored the nose. <laughs> I mean, that's good. I'm not too fussed about that. I would have liked... I would have liked the eye, but the nose is good because the nose, uh, having the nose back is good because it, um, it makes other people like them more. Right? Because they're not disfigured. So that's going to be better for social stuff. Yeah. Though apparently sh Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> she, she, Shane doesn't like anybody that's a man, but there's a whole bunch of people that she really, really likes. The eye is also giving disfigured. Yeah, that's true, it does. You're gonna go make dinner? Alright, PJR, enjoy your dinner. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for the support as well. Thanks for the, uh, for the super chat and stuff. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll need to get a bionic eye. Or, or, if Teresa stays long enough, we'll have Teresa uh, do a thing. Ooh, steak and potatoes. Let's go. You're currently sleeping on the floor. Yes, because... I forgot to switch your room back. Thank you. I forgot to switch your room. There you go. There's your room now. Thank you. I forgot to switch your room to uh, your room to non-prisoner. There we go. You're welcome. You may sleep in a bed. I guess we don't need these anymore. Because those have departed. And now we just need to keep the nomads around 7.7 .7 days. Okay. Now I think I'll keep this. Good heavy SMG. The normal charge lance. The normal Hellcat rifle. The legendary nerf spiker. The normal LMG. And the good LMG for now. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm But chat, but Lex. Yeah. No, he's right. He is right. It is... 5 o'clock. It is, it is, unfortunately, but chat time. It is indeed that time. It doesn't feel like 8 hours have passed, to be fair. It really doesn't. 
but it is that time. No, I'm hungry, Weimer. I need to go make food. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. There we go. There you go. Um, you even got a second zombie in before the end. Sorry, GG. Uh, thank you all so much for the support. So I guess tomorrow, uh, RimWorld, Frostpunk 2, Kingsgrave. That's going to be heckin' fun. I'm looking forward to it. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe uh, so you can find your way back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Very, very much appreciate it. And Twitch chat. 